Sup? Let me mute you. Trying to post this TTS before Terrasun in order to mess with him. <laughs> All hail something something. <laughs> I speak for everyone when I say got him. Man blah, whatever, thank you for the 12 months. All hail cheese and early gang. BTW, since this is the last stream before you take a break, I hope I see you tomorrow at Sawcon slash Sawcon Deets Nuts. Got him. I don't, See you in 10 I don't want to do it, but I do have to. Oh, sevens in chat for Taros Head. Wait, yeah, people can just do got him jokes for free today because I'm going to be off for like 11 days anyway. <laughs> Shit. No, guys, I'm totally going to stream next week. Goodbye, Taro. Last stream, I went from 400k to zero. Are you proud of me? I'm very proud, Purple. That's the true life of a believer, okay? And I believe that you're going to make it all back, probably. <sighs> 300k to seven. You made seven... You made 450,000 channel points? That's absurd. Fun fact, today is the anniversary of the release of Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light, marking the beginning of the Fire Emblem series. Happy birthday, Fire Emblem. Yes, I love Fire Emblem. Happy birthday. All right, I'm going to turn Texas Peach off. Until the gameplay starts. Man, this game's soundtrack is so good. Um, this sounds fantastic. Is this death equals delete? <laughs> um, I mean, I can put it in the title if you want. Everybody loves when I put death equals delete in the title. I mean, no, that's not the plan. Destroyer, thank you so much for the 12 months, man. Um, oh, what was I wasn't going to say, I don't, I don't want to do permadeath on this. The question on today's stream is, is this possible? Not if I can do it without dying. The question is what's going to happen to Skyrim? I think we know what's going to happen to Skyrim, but the question is, can you do this before the game crashes before it becomes literally broken, like completely broken and unplayable? Have you been mounted by the weather? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. If you die, you check your emails. I do, again, I do read the emails. The question is whether or not I have time to reply to any of them. Cheese equals delete. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't, that's way more confusing than death equals delete. Even though death equals delete is like a lie and that's not what's going on. Like that's still more, this is still more confusing. Thank you, Lavender Dove, for the 28 months. Death equals banned word. I don't, I'm not planning on dying much. Shiny Caterpie, thank you for the 12 months, man. The fuck is that? Get that shit out of here. Remembered to turn of donations to Doug. <laughs> thank you, I did. I literally did. I went in here and I turned them off. It says disabled. You're not supposed to be talking right now. And you're supposed to be banned. You're breaking every rule. You can't silence us. I tried, man. I gave it my best. I love sublime text. Thanks, Doug. I didn't realize there'd be people who are, like, passionate about sublime text. I mean, it's nice. It's cool. I did, by the way, pay for it. So, this is one of those things that now that I make money, I, like, try to go back and, um, you know, pay for all the things I pirated. Like, FL Studio, the music thing. I may have pirated it for the first eight years that I used it. 
But then when I got a job, I was like, alright, I'll actually buy it. Um, except WinRAR. I, I am not gonna buy WinRAR. That is the one program that does not deserve my money. Sorry, it's like an unzipping tool. It doesn't deserve $40. I'm sorry to the WinRAR stands here. The lifetime free updates for FL Studio. Yeah, it's great, dude. It's a great... Dude, comparing comparing the fact that this cost, you know, 300 bucks or whatever, and I bought it, I don't know, like eight years ago, and they're still giving me free, uh, free updates to it, then you compare that to Adobe, where they charge me $30 a month for Premiere forever. Ugh. Adobe is assholes. I do not like them. I'm currently helping with the class. Could you not mention piracy? The third graders are getting confused. Why are you playing the stream out at the children? Hey, kids. Drugs are cool. You heard it here from me, Doug. Do drugs, children. Ask where babies come from. They come from the penis. I think there's some other part, too. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't want to have kids. I, don't, I never have to learn. <laughs> I can remain ignorant forever. Ugh. Ugh, drugs are pog. Thank you, Brill. Um, yes, today, Skyrim. You can read the title. You can see it. You know what's going on. That's inappropriate around children. Guess I'm fired. I hope you were not actually playing the stream into a classroom full of third graders. Because you deserve to be fired if you were doing that. Drugs are okay, but did you hear about Missouri? Um, yeah, I think they built like a train or something. Why are you in Windows light mode? Uh, I didn't even realize Windows had dark mode. That sounds great. But yeah, I'd rather do that. YouTube I have in light mode because I think it's important for me to like know what most people's view of YouTube is like in the context of like thumbnails and stuff. Um, Cause that's like a big part of the job, right? You gotta figure out like what, what people are doing to get attention and whatnot. And this, you know, this is how most people watch YouTube like by far. It so, is true. Not knowing how to make babies is the best protection. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know why that you're still talking. It, the talking is supposed to be off, but whatever. As long as there isn't a ton of it. Birds and squirrels. Yeah, true. What is happening? It's pretty... Well, okay, the cheese equals delete is confusing. Otherwise, we're going to play Skyrim. I do need to actually figure out the rules of this with you guys. I confirmed that this worked. I tested the mod. We are good. Um... But there's a couple things to sort out. Cheese equals subs. Cheese does not equal subs. That No, you can't just say that. There's going to be a lot of cheese. So we, we're not just going to have the sight of cheese mean a sub. The equals should be equals equals. Well, there shouldn't be any equals. Yeah, we're assigning the cheese variable to the delete variable. You told us yesterday that cheese would equal subs. Don't back out. I did not say those words. I was not planning on doing this stream today. I was going to do D&D if I felt like really good, but I don't. So I'm not doing D&D. Which, and then I'm taking like a week and a half off after this. I mean off. I'm going to do, be productive, but I'm not going to be streaming. So D&D &D is now punted to like at least two weeks from now. It might never happen. It's like, it could just go on forever. This, and this is how I keep you guys engaged with my stream is I just tease the D&D &D stream forever. I also should give the, you know, a reminder. It's not going to be some crazy epic stream. It's, it's going to be like, fine. It'll be fun. It's not going to be a huge deal. So it's, <laughs> it will. I just don't think so. Um... We'll do death equals delete during the D&D &D stream. So it's not something you actually need to be like, check every day and oh my god, is today the day? It'll be, it'll be fine. And we'll probably do more of them in the future. I, I think it'll be fun enough to do more of. Uh, 
So, eventually it'll happen. It's going to be the best ever. It'll be crazy and epic. Are you the DM? Yeah, I'm going to be the DM. Um, I'll, I'll explain all the rules of it when we when it finally happens, but it's very simplified Dungeons & Dragons, where Twitch chat will play the three characters of the party, and I will be DM. Can we DM next time? I do actually have an idea where you guys would DM a Dungeons & Dragons campaign. Chalkboards are whiteboards on dark mode. That is true, <laughs> I guess. Um, I don't know if it's, that's really how you describe things in real life that are just different colors, but... Why is there only three, though? Because I think more than three would be too much of a mess. I mean, it'll, it'll, this is already, it's already gonna be a mess. Um, as is. That, that's the whole thing. It's, it's Dungeons and Dragons, but just barely, because I've simplified it so much. It's just a role-playing game, really. But I'm using D&D as a reference point, because that's what I know. That's the only, um, TRPG, is that what it's called? Able talk, no, TTRPG? That's the only one I've played. I haven't played any other, uh, games similar to D&D. Anywho, uh, hey, balls lover, thank you for the uh, message. In the future, just go ahead and type your sentence one time. You don't have to type it like 15 times in a row. Do you agree with what's happening in Argentina? I'm not, no, we're not doing that again. <laughs> I don't trust you guys to set me up with wholesome things that are going on in the world. Can, Car can Parkser play D&D? I didn't think about that. Wait, that's a good idea. Okay, hold on. I mean, I need to write that down. He's not going to play D&D, but I think I want to have I'm going to ask and see if he's down to be an NPC in Dungeons and Dragons. Like he's just an NPC in the dungeon. Think about Parkser showing up as an NPC in the dungeon. So he definitely does not know how to play Dungeons and Dragons, which would make it funnier. Like, that's, that's the goal. Let him play. I mean, he can't, he can't be a character. Look, we'll, we'll figure this shit out. We're, we're talking, the, the problem with us talking about all this now is then you guys are going to get even more hyped for Dungeons and Dragons. And then when it happens and it's just a normal ass stream, everybody will be disappointed. They'll be like, wait, why was this not the greatest thing I've ever experienced? Parkster's an NPC IRL. Is there a criminal code book? No. Thanks for getting me into Splunky. You got to 799 the other day? Oh shit. I'm jealous. All right, we should probably get going. It's been 13 minutes. Um, I will quit my job to watch the D&D stream if I have to. You went from 44,000 to 500 points. This is all part of being a believer, dude. This is the hero's journey, okay? This is this is the this is the classic story structure of how a hero returns to the homeland victorious. You gotta have you gotta be knocked down, all right, on your knees, and then you'll work your way back up. Every one of you doubter, every one of you believers are a hero going through your hero's journey, <laughs> and the and the doubters are laughing at you. They're laughing at your pain and your suffering. And that's 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 the motivation for the hero's journey, okay? Okay, cool. I went from a million to 290 points. I don't believe you had a million points. I'm picking a song. Um boom. All right, let's do it. So, today we're doing Skyrim. The the I do need to figure out the specifics. Here's what I'm thinking. First off, I'm thinking we do so you can read it. Every uh, every second, every NPC in Skyrim is going to spawn a cheese wheel, and the question is, can you beat? Can you do it? Can you beat it? Like, can I actually do the Dark Brotherhood before the game becomes completely unplayable? I don't actually know. Um, so there's two things to decide. First off, are we doing Dark Brotherhood? Or are we doing something else? I think Dark Brotherhood is the, the funniest because because it 
you have to go to a lot of different cities, um, like to kill various people. I think Dark Brotherhood is good. And then uh, we could do like Thieves Guild or something, because then you have to like you know be stealthy and whatnot. But I think I think the Dark Brotherhood going to lots of cities makes it a little more interesting. It seems like most people are on board with that. I don't want to do the full main quest because that's too long and definitely not possible. Um, do Bard's College? I feel like Bard's College is kind of boring, right? I haven't actually done it. Isn't Dark's Bar Bard's College pretty short? Let's do Dark Brotherhood. I'm going to do Dark, Bar Dark Brotherhood. I think Companions is less interesting. In Companions, you just go to a bunch of dungeons, right? It has a lot of enemies. I I think going in the cities is more interesting. Um, okay, the second question is, how much cheese spawns? So, the idea is there's one every second. Gangam, thank you for the 12 months. But I can increase the I can increase the rate at which the cheese spawns. So what I was thinking is every five or ten minutes, one more cheese gets spawned every second. <laughs> and maybe things will work. <laughs> uh, I tested this. This is like a reasonable amount of cheese. I think the game will be playable. If it's if it's like ten cheese wheels every second. I don't think most cities will survive very long. Um, so I don't want to just start at 10. I, I think only one cheese wheel a second is actually not enough. But I think starting at 10 cheese wheels a second is too much. So how about, I mean, does, does that make sense? Like every 10 minutes, it increases by one. Not exponentially. So the first 10 minutes is one cheese wheel every second. Fact of the day. The second. Since 1734, babies have been delivered by stork. Oh, T-I-L. I still don't understand why the text speech is, is on, but whatever. Um, so then, because when did I do the last Dark Brotherhood quest I did? The last Dark Brotherhood speedrun I did was the horse tilt one. And that was like two and a half hours, right? Pretty sure. They get a one in a thousand chance for a poison skeever to spawn. The instant, okay, the instant, you have to remember that, so I, I tried actually a variation of this, which is that every NPC spawns a copy of themselves every second, okay? Oh, wait, you can't see it because the TTS. As a reminder, just in general, I'm going to be having text -to speech off until we're into the middle of a game challenge going forward. Um, where the fuck is that text? Boom. Um, so what I tried was that every NPC makes a copy of themselves every second, but if you think about that, <laughs> if they make a copy of themselves, then the copies also make copies of themselves. So that gets exponentially way too big. Uh, so that crashes within like 10 seconds or whatever. It's like completely not doable. So we can't really spawn it's a NPCs. That's cash in the trash. Hi, Tatten. Thank you for the two years. Appreciate it. Right? As soon as, as soon as NPCs are spawning NPCs, it legitimately gets exponential. Um... Could you do the copy idea but make it one in a thousand chance? I mean, you can. It's just this is already going to fuck up the game. And the instant you spawn... So basically, the way the code works, Skyrim is really dumb, all right? So ideally, what I would do is I would be like, here's my main code. And I would say, on update, which is like, you know, whatever I want this to happen. Like, every 10 seconds, it's like, get all nearby enemies. Um, and then enemies dot spawn cheese, right? That's how you would think about it working, and that's how, like, GTA 5 would work. But there's no way in the Skyrim modding to know what other things are around you. There's no code and no nothing in the, in the, in the tools that allow you to be like, get the enemies nearby, right? Normally with code, you're like, there's a function to, like, get the other NPCs or the items or whatever, and that's you can't do that here. So the way you get around it of having other NPCs of being able to tell NPCs what to do is that you apply a cloaking spell to yourself. You put a spell on the player, and that player's spell applies to a huge range, basically the width of a cell, which is like 190, 82 meters or something like that, the width of a, of a, of a full loaded zone, and you have a cloaking spell that if anybody's within range of you, then, the, then your spell is cast on them. So you cast the spell, and then, um, and then, ba so basically the, you can see here, 
uh, the spell is going to have the player add the spell to them, I think. Or no, this is a toggle. I forget what this does. At any rate, so once you've added the spell onto everybody around you, you can attach a script to the spell that now tells the person that the spell is attached to what to do. So this script is a spell that is attached to a, an NPC. And then on that NPC, I can say, make a copy of myself. It's super dumb. There's no entity list. No, there's no way to reference any other entity. You have to, you have to fucking cast spells on them. It's stupid. It's the most roundabout way of coding ever. And so, anyways, I'm somewhat limited in what we can do as well. Is it's it's not like every single NPC is even going to have the spell. I have to be near enough to them that they enter my cloaking field, and I cast the cloaking spell on them, which is cast I think every like half second or something like that. So it does work, but it's it's all funky, right? Um, and so basically what it's saying is this, this script is attached to the NPC and on update, which is basically something I can say how often this happens, I'm going to spawn a cheese wheel at myself, which is the player or which is the NPC that the script is currently on. And basically if I, if this NPC spawns additional NPCs, then those additional NPCs will fall under my cloaking spell and then they will also have this and then it grows exponentially, which is bad. Monsters are considered NPCs. Yes. Anything that anything that's alive basically is an NPC. Except bees. Bees aren't real. Those are items. So I so basically we can spawn cheese without it getting exponential. We cannot spawn NPCs without it getting exponential. Maybe later. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, as a side character, do you also spawn a cheese? I do not currently have it as the player spawning a cheese. I think we don't do that because I already did a, a player cheese spawning thing. Any questions? Bees deserve human rights. Look, I'm a fan of bees, but it is simply not true that they deserve human rights. I'm sorry. Like, bees do not need freedom of speech, okay? They're gonna be fine. <laughs> um, bees cannot read. Jesus, take the wheel. Ah! Yon dear, thank you for the two gifted subs. Appreciate it. Bee lives matter. Bee lives do matter, but they do not need human rights. They don't. Uh, you got COVID yesterday. Sorry to hear that. All right. I think we're good. Here's the question. I don't, I don't think we'll, uh, gamble on this. Um, but cause there's not really anything to gamble on other than the one big question of the day. Here is, uh, your test for today. Answer this question. Yes or no. Is this doable? <laughs> I just described you what we're doing. Okay. Let me recap. Today we're going to speed run the dark brotherhood in Skyrim. The whole thing. It's like two and a half, three hours normally. But every single NPC will spawn a cheese wheel every second, which will sit in the environment permanently. And every 10 minutes, we will increase the rate of how many cheese wheels are spawned by every single NPC. After 10 minutes, we go to two cheese wheels a second. After 20 minutes, we go to three cheese wheels a second. So after an hour and a half, they'll be spawning 10 cheese wheels every second from every NPC. And they don't decompose or anything. They're just there forever. The question is, can the game handle this? Maybe. <laughs> Let's find out. Let me get the timer up. You really want to test that 4080. I don't think having a 40... Actually, it's a 4070, by the way, is what I realized. I don't think having a 4070 graphics card will change Skyrim's engine. <laughs> It took 30,000 to... Yeah, I don't... I don't remember how many it took to crash Whiterun in the cheese eating stream that I did. It was 3,200? Somebody said 300,000. 3,000 is not that much. Hold on. Let's say there's like 15 NPCs walking around Whiterun at any given time. So that's 15 cheese wheels a second. How many seconds until we hit 3,000 cheese wheels, which crashed White Run last time? Okay, we have 200. We have 200 seconds in White Run, dude. We're gonna be fine. We have plenty of time. Stop freaking out. I just have to play really fast. This is the type of speed run 
where if I'm not quick enough, the game will literally shut down and end. Horse tilt? I guess I could horse tilt, actually. I don't even remember how to. I was just gonna play normally, like glitchless. Hey, Doug, you should add a cheese counter on the stream with the code. That way we know how much cheese is in the world. We can then find the theoretical limit. I hope no one in chat is lactose intolerant. I like the concept of that. That would be hard to do. I, Cause I don't know if there's like global variables that Skyrim has, and then there would probably need to be multi-threading around that. Um, I like the idea of that a lot, but I don't know how to do that. Um, I don't. I've never done. I've never done UI elements on with Skyrim stuff. Just reference the code. I mean, we would need like a global. We would need like a global number, and ideally it gets. So I mean, yeah, we can. I don't know if Skyrim has stuff to write to text files. Probably. I mean, we could. Okay, I'm actually curious about this. This would be fun. The music's giving me a headache. Oh, dude, are you are not gonna have a good time watching my stream? <laughs> like, I would. I'm just warning you now, man. If that music was, <laughs> if that was giving you a headache, dude, this is maybe not the stream for you. I mean that, you know, in the nicest possible way, but, um, ask chat GPT to code it for you. I guarantee you chat GPT does not know how to code. I mean, maybe it does. This is papyrus. It's a 15 year old shitty scripting language. Um, I'm actually going to look into this. I think this is compelling. Hi, Mr. Chat GPT. Please, uh, how would I code hey, Doug, a global maybe variable? Also the cheese you created after a minute or so. How's the game's regular disappointing work? <laughs> Regular despawning. Good joke. That's funny. No, no, no. This is Skyrim. Things don't despawn. That is precisely the challenge. Um, I am writing a Skyrim mod using Papyrus. How would I create a global int variable that I can update via a script that is attached to different actors around the map. Then display the global int via UI. Does it actually know? Create a global variable following the data type. Is this real? Wait, does it actually know how to do this? I just wasn't expecting it to know how to do papyrus. Um... In the script, create a global variable. Uh, is this real? Hold on. Global variable, papyrus creation kit. Because this might just be wrong. Wow, it's real. Um, we would have to... The UI thing I'm less convinced about. This seems like it would take a little while. Also to do a menu, um, how to display text on screen Skyrim mod. 
See, the only thing I know how to do is pop up like a notification message, but that feels kind of uh boring. Hmm. Hmm. Skyrim was programmed by ChatGPT. It's papyr papyrus? Papyrus? Papyrus. What? What are you talking about? Papyrus pronunciation. Papyrus. There you go. Papyrus. Papyrus. It's not papyrus. Um... You have to have the text to find in the messages under the miscellaneous section. That's just message ID show. Okay. Is it worth taking like probably 30 minutes to try to, to test all and set this up? I'm down to do this. So basically the goal of this would be to have some, a line of text on screen in the game that, that is counting up the amount of cheese at any given time that, that exists in Skyrim. I think that's pretty funny. Um, and worth the time investment, but it is also uh, obviously kind of boring. And Skyrim is like, is just, it's a problematic to code and work with. It does not work well. Where do you do direct deposits? Thank you, Dylan. Um, do coding? I mean, I know everybody here is just, they're only here for coding. So, okay. Sorry to the people who don't want to watch shitty code. It's time for the real Doug Doug content. Okay, um, let's try this out. So, first off, global variable. Dude, things things just work so fucking weird with um with Skyrim. God damn. Okay. Um, so the reason I don't want to ask ChatGPT to strip write the code is because I don't think it'll it'll know how to to split up script. That looks terrible. I don't. It, it won't know how to split up the scripts. Um, the scripting. The 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 thing that's super confusing about Skyrim mods is the differentiation between what you need to do in Creation Kit versus the actual uh scripts, like the coding. So. I mean, let's boot up creation kit, I guess. Um, so here's, here's the thing with the global property. Here's the first question, getting the global property. We have two things we got to do. First is getting a global number that every single NPC will be updating when they spawn a cheese wheel, right? So that's, that's number one. It's not as simple as just adding this in, I don't think. I think we also need to have the whole creation kit open and add it to the global script, I think. But this is what I mean. It's just like, it's unclear what can exist solely in code versus needing to be used in the mod tool. So we'll test it out and see what the fuck happens. Trust chat, PGBT, just try it. Okay, thank you. For the global... For the global variable, can I just add that into my Papyrus script? Or do I need to add that variable into creation kit itself. If it knows this, that would be insane. To create a global variable, you need to find it in a script in the creation kit, compile the script, and then attach it to an object in the game world. Okay, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Because the scripts are already attached to... Could the scripts are already attached. As a stream element overlay instead of an element in Skyrim. Not sure how it works, but might be easier. Yeah, that's a that's another. In the other Papyrus script in your mod, you can now access the global variable. This line of code creates a property that can access the global variable in your script. It will not be available until the script has been compiled. Okay, maybe this just works. So. Okay, here's what I'm going to try. Uh, maybe this does not work, but fuck it. Let's see what happens. Um, let me play some coding music. I'm going to put the global variable 
on the player rather than in the NPCs. I guess it could just be in the NPCs. No, we can just put it in the NPC one, right? So we take this. So this is my script. Okay. This is for chat GPT. Thank you, Rolling Armadillo. Thank you, Accusic. Yeah, I, I am surprised. I'm impressed that chat GPT knows this stuff, seemingly. Okay, so the way this works is there's a quest script. So this is a, a this is code that is attached to a quest in the game. Then there is the player script. So the player, um, this is a script that's attached to the player only and can do stuff for the player. So most of the scripts that I've made are in this, Doug underscore player misc. Um, so this is where I can say, okay, if the player is hit, then do this random shit. If the player shoots a bow, do whatever. If they, you know, I can do all this stuff for the player. Um, and then this is basically a script that is applied to, and I'll have multiple of them um, to show that there's a lot of them. This script that we're working on is the NPC script, which is cast on them via a magical spell. Woo! And um, the NPC script, we're now saying there's going to be a global variable called balls, which all of the NPC files can utilize because it's global. Global basically means instead of each one, each one of these scripts having their own thing, all of them share a single variable, right? So let's do that. Let's put it here. We say global var- Okay, it's immediately having an issue. <laughs> Shit. Damn it, chat GPT. Global variable in- um, Okay, I won't call it balls. I'll call it cheese count. Why no work? Equals zero? Uh-oh. I told you chat GPT sucks. No viable alternative at input int. Huh? What? ChatGPT is washed. <laughs> um, it was giving you C++ code. No, I mean, it's this is Papyrus. Hold on. There's a Papyrus example that we had. Glo do, I have, oh, do I have to do auto? To access global variables must be passed into the script as a property. I mean, I, I don't know if ChatGPT is correct here because this is, this is not really what... What if we do this? Wait, what? Why is this having issues now? What? Uh-oh. Wait, why did I break everything? But no, now the script isn't working. Shit. What did I do? Why is everything broken now? Uh oh. I mean, I didn't even load anything in Creation Kit yet. This is what I mean, dude. This is this is why Skyrim stuff. It just things just do not work n normally. <laughs> they just do not work the way you think they should. Um. Want a script counting the cheese? Put the game under more stress. Yes. But counting a number shouldn't be that much. I mean, maybe if it's a global variable, uh, it won't matter that much. Cloak, spell immunity on spawned NPCs. Well, I don't. I want to focus on cheese anyways. So the spawn, the NPC spawning thing, isn't uh, a huge issue because uh, we're not. We're just not using it. Um, okay, so now in the object window, I would put Doug Doug. Hello? Oh, it's because I need to do all. Wait, where's my shit? Uh-oh, nothing's working. Everything is breaking. This is not good. Oh, I think I just put Doug. There we go. I didn't call it Doug Doug. So then in the, um... What is the name of the dynamically applied script?
I don't remember how to do all this stuff. Was there an estimated finish time for the coding? I would say 30 minutes. Um, I mean, this might not work if it's just literally the script broke. I mean, this is this is bad, though, because I can't even update the script now. Why would it just stop working? Do I need the spawner quest? Hold on. Um, I could maybe remove this. Are we cool now? Okay, what if I just delete the thing that was important? Okay, that seems to work. I mean, I'm not using this right now. Basically, this is a reference, so every NPC script would have a reference back to the player script, but I'm commenting that out. And it, because right now I'm not seeming to do anything with it. Okay, yeah, there's only one time that I was using that, so I don't actually need that reference right now. If we delete that, and now we come back into the code here, we grab the global variable, we pop this in. Are we cool now? Can we build? Okay, that works. GPT-4 seems to have more papyrus knowledge, if that helps. I should get GPT-4. Um, okay, so theoretically there's a global variable now called game, uh, cheese count. Can I set it as an int? Presumably I can. You can't set it as an int. Okay, so a global variable is just like anything, which means down here, when we spawn a cheese wheel, we're gonna say... Um... Can I set it to zero? No, it can't be on the script applying. Fuck, wait, when do you... Dude, when do you change auto to int? No, auto is saying it, you can automatically reference it. Yeah, you don't, you don't know what you're talking about. Um... Um... Shit. You failed! We need to set it to zero. I need to int it afterwards. I can't... Because it's a global variable. Fuck. I need it when it's initialized as a global variable. I need to have it be set. I guess I could manually set it when I start the game? You need to add it to the script. I... If it's a property, I do. Yeah, I think that's correct. I don't remember how to do this, though. Where do you add properties? Is it to the... Yeah, here's the script. Properties? Okay. Player ref, enemy races list, weapons list. Yeah, okay, so we add a property, which is of a type int. We call this cheese count. The initial value is zero. Okay. Boom, we're good. Papyrus errors. What, why'd you error? What happened? Cheese count's already defined. No, but we're cool, man. It's the same thing. Oh, oh, it has it down here. Okay, so this would be the line that I add. So I'll replace it up here. Instead of this global variable, we pop it there. In property, cheese count equals zero auto. How about now? Bro, are we cool now? No, I have to add it again. Add in cheese count. Oh, wait, wait I, I, I don't add this in. It'll add it in itself. We should start Initial the value zero. to get a world record on solving modding problems that no one has. Okay, cool. That got added. This is here now. We pull it back up to the top. We build. It's successfully built. Now cheese count. We should just be able to do cheese count plus equals one. I think. And then it looks like in the console we can get 
get the global value. Okay, let's try it. Maybe we did a thing. And if this works and this keeps track of how many... Um, if this keeps track of how many uh, cheeses we've spawned, then we just need to display it somewhere. No, the plus plus isn't in Papyrus. All right. Um, okay, Skyrim. Papyrus. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Okay. All right. So everybody should be dropping a cheese wheel behind them every out every one second. Cool. And now, if we do, what was the code? Show cheese count. The fuck? Yeah. Please work, please work, please work. Oh, come on. Cheese count show? Cheese count not found. What? Oh, come on, bro. Okay. This code doesn't seem to be very Gouda. Look, all right? This is a good... This is... My code is Gouda. It's great. Uh. Um, all right. So it doesn't know where cheese count is. We can just test in a really janky way to see if the cheese count's working, which is that... Um, we just post... I love when you play Xenoblade or Persona music. Have you done streams on either of those series before? Nope. Um, I don't like either of those games, personally. But their music is fantastic. So good. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Every time we spawn a cheese, then we're gonna debug message box the, the cheese count. Alright, let's try this. So now, every single time a cheese spawns, it should pop up a window that Douglas says... Douglas, you made it a property, not a global variable anymore. Oh, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right, 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 right. Um, okay. In Papyrus for Skyrim, you cannot set directly set a global variable as an int because global variables only store floating point values. You can work around this by setting the global variable to a floating point value that represents the integer. You can then round the value to the nearest integer when needed. My global var dot set value val as float return. Okay. Wait, so in the declaration for this. Wait, so I don't, I don't, what you're saying is uh, Skyrim, shh, I don't want it as a property at all? Oh, because the property would be on a per script basis. Yeah, no, that's not good. We don't need it as a property. So we can, right? We don't want it as a property at all. Because the property is not inherently global. The property is on a per script basis. So right now what we've defined is that in every individual hey, Chad, NPC script, it has its own, I am sorry I derailed right? the Skyrim stream with a coding stream with my idea that you took seriously. I hope you are able to use this knowledge or tech in the future for other fun ideas. Hell yeah. Getting derailed is what the stream is all about. I mean, it's been almost an hour and we've done no Skyrim. Technically, we played like two seconds of Skyrim a minute ago. Um... That was all you get. All right, so we need to do a global ver right? So I can delete the property. I don't think we need the property. We delete this. Get out of here. Edit? Uh, no, no, no. How do I get rid of it? Am I stuck with it? Cheese count. There's no delete. <laughs> How do I get rid of it? Um, just delete from your script. Oh, and then there's auto updates? Okay, yeah, I know. We'll deal with cheese count later. Bro, calm down. Is it gone now? It's still here. What do I do? I'm scared. I, death equals delete, but it's not deleting. What do I do? Set the property type to global variable in the kit? I don't think you can, right? Add property. Type. 
There's no global variable in here. There's literally a global variable. Okay, we're doing this. Wait, can I edit cheese count to be clear value? How do I get rid of it? You literally can't get rid of the property? Hey, Doug, Am I insane? What program do you use for sound alerts on stream? Um, uh, Streamlabs. Just use count cheese and ignore it. I mean, we could just bail. We just name it something different. <laughs> That's just so absurdly janky. This is what I mean, though. Coding in Skyrim is awful. Global is bad practice. No, global is fine in this case. This is this is the actual use case for global. Global as a concept is fine when it's used correctly. You don't just have to be scared of global. Um, restart the UI. Let's just add a new property called count cheese, okay? And count cheese is like a cool vampire. And he'll be the global variable. And just remember, remind me to never code cheese count. We always need to code count cheese. And the initial value for... Count cheese. So you're saying, somebody said in chat that global variables, variables are always floats. For people who don't know what a float is, it's not like a root beer float. Uh, an int means it's a, a whole number, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 15, or 20, but it can't be 1.5 or 1.7. So that's what an int is. It stands for integer. Uh, float is, it, it can represent any number. So with float, it can be like 0 0.01, right? You can have decimals, basically, is what a float is. A float is when a number floats above the line. Float, yeah, floats are decimals, basically. Integers are lame numbers. <laughs> In integers aren't like less cool, bro. I would still invite integers to like my to my like housewarming party, but the floats would be a lot cooler. Yeah, and they're way hotter. The problem with floats is they take more computing power because you have to like you know reserve a large amount of your bit space to cover all the possible. In a thirty-two bit variable you can store a much higher number of integers can you buy the numbers of whole foods huh yeah you can look you can get organically raised integers at whole foods okay so the initial value will be zero point zero can streamlabs handle such a rapid redemption of sound alerts like when you did the sea shanty or when people spam laughter um i don't know for that i use trigger fire Fire spelled F Y R E. That's how I do the channel point sounds. Text to speech is off, by the way. Um, I don't. I don't know why some of them are. It's supposed to be off. Why can't I? It says you can't initialize a global variable to 0, 0.0. Why not? It's a fucking float. Global variable name is count cheese. Zero? Can it be zero? Is that cool? Count cheese already has a get function defined. But it but the compilation failed. What? Oh, it already added count cheese. Hold on. This is a fucking mess, dude. Okay, we try this again. We add a property. It's a global variable. It's called count cheese. The initial value is zero. Still failed. You can't initialize a global variable to zero. Do I have to do zero dot F? Fuck, I, Skyrim is the worst. <laughs> it, yeah, okay. Uh, let's try it again. We add a property. The property is a global variable. It is called count cheese. And instead of 0, 0.0, which is clearly a fucking float, it's 0, 0.0 F. Does that work? Still failed. Extraneous input F, expecting auto. Can we just not, I don't. It fails, but still adds the code. Yeah, it's a mess, dude. Skyrim, Skyrim modding is a mess. Um, initial value auto. Well, auto, I forget what auto means. It's gonna put that in there anyways. See, it, it's automatically putting an auto. Start from one. I mean, there's no way that would be the difference. Um, use chat GPT to fix it. All it said to do was do global variable int my global variable. And that didn't work. We could try it. If we go back up here. Maybe we don't need it as a property. Yeah, this is not happy. 
Why are you not happy? No viable alternative as input int. Because right, it doesn't have to be a property, I don't think. What if I put auto? I forget what that does. Now are we cool? If I say auto, does that fix everything? No, it doesn't fix everything. <sighs> oh, try it. As, right, it has to be a float. Or it doesn't even need... Hold on. One node flag F. Uh, the wiki said short, long, and float. My global variable isn't defined in the code anywhere. PayPal donations are separate. You have to turn them off somewhere else. So, as you can see here, text-to-speech settings for donations are disabled. They should be disabled. I don't know why they aren't. Um, why not use int instead of float? It's literally... <laughs> This is why Skyrim coding sucks. It's like, we're just trying to create a global variable. This should not be hard. In most programming languages, you would do this. Global int my variable. <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> we don't have to do all this crazy weird shit with, with fucking... You try 0.0f. There's no way that's it. I will I will dis gift a thousand subs if this fixes it. <laughs> no, it didn't fix it. Copy an existing global variable. I haven't done any existing global variables. Bro, it's super upset and won't let me add the global variable. Can you show me an example of instantiating a global variable with a value of zero? Tell it the error. Okay, the error we're getting is... It's giving me this error. What might be wrong? The error message you're seeing suggests you're trying to initialize a global variable with a floating point value of 0.0. .0. However, Papyrus global variables can only be in initialized with integer or boolean value values. To fix this, you should initialize your global variable to an integer or boolean like this. If you need to use floating point values for your global variable, you can create a property in your script that handles a conversion from a float to an integer like this. So it should be this then, right? Is what he's saying? But this doesn't work. That says no viable alternative at input int. I want to set it as an int, but this is the error like you suggested, but this is the error message that I'm getting. If you're getting the no viable alternative at input int error message when trying to find a global variable, it's possible you may have a syntax error. Here's an example of how to define a global variable. It's, it's just wrong. Doug's voice is getting real agitated. No, I mean, it's just, it's just fun to talk shit. I'm not, like, pissed off or anything. It's just a goofy situation is all. Um... Skyrim, this has been my experience with Skyrim modding. It's like, it, things should be simple, and then it and then it just isn't a lot of the time. I can ask ChatGPT4 if you want. Um, I doubt ChatGPT4 would have more information on Papyrus scripting than ChatGPT3. <laughs> it thinks you were programming in Arduino. Well, I mean, that's fine, right? It's still just... It, it keeps mentioning Papyrus. It knows I am... I am coding... In Papyrus, not with an Arduino. Does that change anything? You can't initialize a global variable to a specific value in the script directly. You should set the initial variable value for it in Creation Kit. But the problem is that when we look, we can't create it in Creation Kit. 
both like it's not letting me create the global variable in the script or in creation kit. Both of them are having issues. So the global, look, if we're doing a property, then it needs to be created in here, and we need to go in creation kit. We go global variable. The name is count cheese. Maybe I just don't do an initial value. It's still throwing an error. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> what? Why would, is it because I still had this in here? Dude, this is absurd. This is just, just goofy. Okay. Um, it's saved. I don't have count cheese anywhere. We add the property. Global variable. Count cheese. Initial value is, I don't give it anything. Okay. I tried to learn papyrus once. That worked. I still haven't recovered. Okay. We have a global variable. But how do I initialize it? How do I initialize it to zero? I mean, you can pog, I guess, but with the... the okay, because the whole thing, what we are trying to do is make a variable that counts the number of total cheeses that have been spawned. Okay, that's it, right? It should initialize to zero by default. Event on init, set value 42. So... I would have to... The problem is it's a global variable, so I can only do that once. So I would have to, I would have to set it to zero. Maybe it defaults to zero when it's created. If it defaults to zero, then we're fine. Otherwise, I need to, when the mod itself initializes, then it's set to zero. I can't do that in here because again, this is a script that is attached to every NPC. If every NPC is setting it to zero, then um, then it's constantly gonna be reset every time a new NPC gets the script added. It should default to zero. Okay, so theoretically, we have the fucking thing that defaults to zero and then we have a global variable and then this thing we do this, right? So at this point we can say float Current cheese, cheeses equals uh, count cheese dot get value, and then count cheese dot set value is current cheeses plus one, right? This would add one to it. Hey, Doug, I was hoping to see some cheese in Skyrim. Now I'm hoping to even see Skyrim this stream. We're going to do Skyrim, okay? I don't know why people are here while I just yell at Papyrus. Although, do I need to? Well, it's a float. The global variables are floats, apparently. So I have to... Um, yeah, we're gonna... This is... Okay, and then we debug the cheese count. Dot get value. Why don't you work? What are you talking about, debug box? What is your problem? Compilation failed. Why? None is not a known user defined type. On line 46? What are you talking about? Cheese count dot get value. How... What? Oh, count cheese. Okay. <laughs> count cheese, dog get value. Right, right, right. Of course, of course. Okay. Um, cool. So theoretically, <clears throat> what we have done is we have created a global variable that all of the NPC scripts share called count cheese. And each individual script will be pointing at the global one and updating it every single time they spawn a cheese thing. And then we update the number. And then we'll print it out. And this is probably going to work. Let's, uh, it builds. And we run Skyrim. Okay, quick bet in chat. Does this work? First try. Doug, for the love of God, it's pronounced Papyrus, not Papyrust. It's pronounced Papyrus. It's gonna work, all right? Trust me. I went to college. Okay. It starts and it's telling us it's zero. Uh-oh. It's still saying it's zero. Okay. It's... Pr <laughs> it's just... It's saying it's zero all the time. 
The, that cow is shit out three Chia's wheels, and it's still zero. <sighs> you have to map it to a property. It is a property! Hey, I think you need to create the global variable through creation git first, and initialize it there, not through the property. But that's... That's what I did! You failed. Look, in creation kit, we have this property... Okay, stop, stop the music! We have this property in... Global, we created count cheese. This is a global variable that everything should have access to. I guess I could, wait, hold on. Edit value. Pick object, none. Wait, what the fuck? Property type, huh? It's initializing to an object? Just a quick coding side quest in and out 20 minutes. Literally, we have not even made a single global variable. This is supposed to be one line of code that you learn in like the first couple weeks of introductory programming classes and Skyrim has made it impossible. <sighs> Doug, I know the problem. Sorry, hold on. You declared the float in a form that is inaccessible to other parts of the code. You need to declare a public float. It'll fix the problem. Did I, is it... This should be public, though. And it's within its own script. Unless this is the stupidest programming language ever. I don't even know if they have public and private in... In Papyrus. It's saying that int seems to be unexpected. Are you sure the data type is int? Well, it says the glo people are global variables apparently can only be floats. I, can you even set things as public in Papyrus? I don't even know if you can do that. That's not really how it works. I think you're. You need to create a global object under miscellaneous slash global. Global. Are you saying here we... You're saying these are all global variables? I don't remember how to make new things. New. Global. ID. Count cheese. Two. <laughs> okay, and then... Wait, this can just be a short, right? Or a long. It doesn't need to be a float, does it? Wouldn't it? It would be less expensive for it to be a short, right? Unless... How, okay, does anybody know what's the biggest number that a short can be? For people wondering, this is like... It's different ways of specifying a certain amount of numbers. 65,000. Oh, that's actually not that many. We might get above 65,000 shorts. Alright, I think we should do a long. What's the max number on a long? <laughs> long pog! The idea is like... You have like 32 bits to represent a number. And so a short, what is a short? It's like eight bytes or 16 bits or what is it? I don't remember what a short is. Anyway, long is a lot more. Okay, long is like many, 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 many more. Long is four bytes. Okay, let's do long, dude. Wait, come on. I just upgraded my PC. We can spend a little extra money and get a long instead of a short. Come on. Short is not long. 65,000 is 8.2 hours, though. Well, there's a cheese wheel spawned by every person. Or, sorry, 18.2 hours. There's a cheese wheel spawned by every NPC, and we're going to increase the speed of the cheese Just spawning. Just joined, and Doug is already messing up, as per usual. <sighs> Anyways, what are we doing today, chat? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You, you, you've, you tell them. All right. Cheese count two is going to be a long, and it's going to start. There we go. Wait, actually, for my own... Hold on. We, no, we need to delete cheese count, too. Where is it? Okay, get... Sorry, we're deleting cheese count, too. And then we're going to create a new one called Doug underscore cheese count, too. It'll be just be cheese count, actually. Okay. 
Okay, because that way, if I go here into all and Flights search and longs are Doug, cool, but doubles are the best. Yeah, can I get a pog for doubles? Because now in here, my variable will pop up if I search Doug. This way, I can I can easily find all the things that I've made. Um. By by just putting in the word Doug. Okay, so we have a cheese count. Now what do we do? <laughs> We've made a global... I guess let's get a couple pogs in chat. I made a global thing. Now you need to assign it to the script variable that you made previously. Uh, okay. I used to know how to do this, but I didn't... I haven't done Skyrim stuff in a while. Um... The name of the global variable you make here and the property you declare in the script has to be the same name. You pass the global variable in as a property, so it needs to be the same name. Okay, so what you're saying is we go over. Oh my god, I get it. I fucking get it. We go over to the dynamically applied uh, spell, which you can tell is a spell because if you look very closely, there's a little rabbit that comes out of a hat when you click it. Yes, that's real. Here's the hat, you click it, and then a, a little hat rabbit comes out. And then if we double click that, this has my script attached to it. We go to the papyrus script, we go to properties, we say count cheese. Get the fuck out of your count cheese. We don't need you anymore. We're moving on. We moved on to a cooler global variable. Now we add the property, which is uh, a global variable, and it's Doug underscore cheese count. Wait, is this what? Is this right? So I'm adding it as a property here, right? This is so unintuitive, man. Why wouldn't I just be able to reference it from the script without needing to add it as a property? But then you need to assign it as an initial value? Because it's already set as an initial value in its... where I set it earlier. Have you started the game yet? Does it look like I've started the game yet? We're, we're Look, this is really important. <laughs> um, you have to import it as a property, read the Wikipedia page. Okay. A global variable is a numeric variable stored by the game. They're used to pass data between scripts and condition functions. Cool. Um, globals can be found in the object under... Okay. ID, variable type. Accessing the global variable. To access the global variables in Papyrus scripts, the global variable must be passed into that script as a property. Then one needs to use... Yeah, okay. So we do add it as a property, right? So we say Doug Cheese Count. We add it as a property. It gets added in. Cool. It should automate. Yeah, it's. You can see here the value is referencing the global variable um, that we created earlier. So now this has global variable property Doug Cheese Count. We put this here. We go Doug Cheese Count current cheeses equals Doug Cheese Count dot get value. But it should be a long now, right? And then we do set value current cheeses plus one, and then we're good, right? Remove the other one. I'm leaving it in for now. I'm scared to change anything. It doesn't like this. Why not? Bro. Is it because it's not a long? Cannot add a long to an int. Huh? Wrong name in the setter. Oh, that yeah, you're right. Um... Oh, and here. Yeah, everything was wrong. Okay, but why is this why is this line having an issue? Um, presumably because this Doug Cheese Count dot get value is supposed to return a long. Replace long with int? I mean I guess. The fuck? It's supposed to be a long. Why can't it be a long? It's supposed to be a long, not an not an int. What the fuck? This doesn't make any goddamn sense. A long is an int? Int is a long. Longs are type of types of ints. The fuck? All right. <laughs> um, okay, now it's not working. Um, type mismatch while assigning Jesus, an int. take the wheel. Yeah, see? I told you. It is expecting a long. I was correct. I'm the main character. Yandir, thank you for the five gifted subs to celebrate me knowing more than chat does. Um, so we probably need to... I don't know. Do we convert it? Can we just cast it as an int? Can you do that? Um, you might have to... As int? I forget how you cast in this. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that works. <laughs> All right, get your prediction in chat. Does this do does this work? Uh, so basically, I told it to get the long and then pretend it's an int, jamming it into this int hole, and then it adds the int to another int, sets that as the value of the cheese count. It didn't even make me set this as a long. Maybe I need to set this as a long. 
Because then I could be like long, current cheeses long equals current cheeses plus one as long. And then current cheeses long is what we set the value. I think this is going to work for sure, dude. Okay, it doesn't like that. Never mind. We're going back to what I had. Maybe it'll work. Okay. This is definitely going to work the first try. You can't add one to a long. It'll be fine. Look. Okay, it's not working. It's still zero. Also, it's a float. Why is it still a float? Huh? Oh, I need to say, hold on. That actually makes sense. I need to update everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That didn't count. I'm still great. We hey, have a chance for this to be one shot. Programmers in chat. Just so you know, this is exactly how long it always takes to declare a single variable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this and is normal. And Doug is a pretty experienced programmer too, so you'll probably need another hour or two for a hello world. Yeah, very- this- <laughs> I just want to again reiterate, it has been like an hour of this. The way- Congratulations, The way Doug. that you would do you this in normal coding job, is amazing. like this. Like wow! Doug, that was so cool! What an amazing He's gamer the best. person! He's Doug the best Doug is. gamer! Wow! Oh my god, you're incredible, Doug! Wow! This is how you would do everything that has happened in the past hour. <laughs> but we're not doing normal code, we're doing Skyrim. Which is very fun and creative with how they decided to make this work. Okay, so the reason that that didn't work is not because I did anything wrong, okay? It is because I need to, if you make changes in Creation Kit, well, then you have to save the mod. Um, you have to clo close the dialog box? What the fuck? You have to save the mod, and then we have to go back into Skyrim and reload the mod. It's not enough to just boot up Skyrim and run it because it's running off an old version of the mod that has already been initialized. So what we have to do is we continue... Wait, no, no, no. Hold on. We have to... Uh, we, this is really straightforward. This is how it, how long it normally takes to declare a variable. We have to go into the data files, turn off my spawner uh, mod, right? Load the game. It's saying, oh, it's missing the mod. Where's the... Oh, no, dog, the mod that you had. It, why is the mod still running? That's not good. I turned it off. I regret making the nut Oh, oh there we go. I have no stake in this, but I'm still screaming at my screen. Why I literally it's... made uh -oh. a PayPal just to say go to the creationkit.com variables and properties page, and it shows how to do this. Anyway, back to silence. Why is this? Why is the mod still running? I turned the mod off. Variables and properties page. Okay. There's no global here. The, the word global isn't on this page. Or were you talking about get property? Or hold on, let me continue with this first. Um, what? I nearly shit my pants at work today. Thank you, Marfil Mill. A again, as a reminder, text to speech is muted until I get into the game. Um, why was the mod? Why was the mod still running when I? I had it turned off, right? Why was the mod still running? Huh? Why is my mod still running on this game? Huh? Hey Doug. Are you sure you quit your job at EA, or was it more of an ask to leave kind of situation? <laughs> they loved me at EA. <laughs> Look, this maybe it might explain why EA was not doing very well when I worked there. 
Scripts stay in the stave file. That's not correct. They should be out. They're attached to the, the mod. Oh, it might just be backed up. So if I just go for a while, will it turn off? I mean, they're not making cheeses. If they're not making cheeses, that means the script is not on it. Okay, I think it was just actually really backed up. So the save file had like 15 debug messages just sitting in it. Okay, so now we have a save file that doesn't have my mod attached to it. Now, because the mod is updated and we've compiled the scripts and shit. Wait, wrong thing. We've compiled the scripts and shit. Is this the right one? Yeah, we've compiled the scripts and shit. We go back into Skyrim. We start it up again. This time we turn it back on. Uh, Doug spawner request. Where is it? Doug? Wait, Doug spawner request. We add it back in. We wait for it to load it. And then when we load it, it'll actually have the updated variable that we added in creation kit. It seems to imply it's always giving you a float. Yeah. Check that the names are correct. Doug underscore cheese count get value. Doug cheese count set value. Current cheese is plus one. Yeah, this, I mean, the variables are correct. The question is, is it going to be thinking it's a float when it's supposed to be a long? It needs to be Doug underscore cheese count as the value. What are you, what are you talking about? It is. It, it, it is. It is here. I saw a count cheese. Not the wiki. I meant www.creationkit.com. Greater than variables and properties. Greater than declaring properties for making and using script properties. Anyway, can you give me an in for a job at EA? I don't know if they would uh, take my advice anymore. Creationkit.com. This is what I was in though, right? Is this not the same? This is the same thing. I, I, I don't understand what you're referencing. Um, anyway, I mean, let's just try this first. So this will now have... This is my favorite stream ever. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't think it's that compelling. Hi, Twitch. Okay, so this is my mod initializing. Theoretically, what is going to happen is that it's all going to work perfectly now. <clears throat> it should... Sp every single NPC, NPC should spawn one cheese wheel every second and should pop up a message that says the current count of the total number of cheeses. Playing the victory music. Nothing is happening. And it's okay. It's not working. Why is it still afloat? Congratulations, Doug! You did it! You're incredible! Great job, Doug! Doug. You're I amazing! Be like, wow! Doug, that was so what it's a, Why is it still afloat? He's the best Doug is. gamer! Wow! Oh my God! You're incredible! I can't Doug. even exit wow. the game because it's stuck in the. Okay. <laughs> All right, hold on. It's resetting for every cheese. It's a global variable. That's what a global variable is. That's the whole point. Um, I mean, this this page should be... I mean, we're doing exactly what it says, man. How is it this... How is it this hard? How the fuck is it this hard to have a global variable? Like, come on. <laughs> uh... Internally, they're all stored as 32-bit floating. So we just, do we just need to... There's links to the get and set, set method docs in there. Get. Auto properties. Getting properties of a quest script. That's not what we're using. Getting properties from any other script. That's not what we're doing. 
It's the global property within. You can use get value int. Does that work? Why doesn't it seem to be setting it though? Is I'm using set value. Why isn't that working? Use it for the message box though. Um It's set value int? Is that real? Okay. Hello. Fuck it. This is EA. We would like to have your salary money back. Or else we will be forced to take legal action and engage Parkser to create a case against you. Look, EA. Just because I had you guys pay me a lot of money to learn how to program at your job and then I left to go become a YouTuber doesn't mean I owe you anything. All right? Check this shit out. Okay? This right here is what EA Coding taught me. Build the script. Open up Skyrim. There's no global variable because Earth is flat. Yeah, EA. Okay, it's taking three seconds to apply the cloaking script on everybody. This is fine. Oh, 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 oh. It's, it's not a decimal. It's a, oh, this might work. Uh, it's all zero. Fuck. No. Why? Why is this so hard? <laughs> it's a fucking variable. It's one number. I don't get it. Uh, okay. What am I possibly doing wrong? That the global variable isn't updating. The code clearly is setting the value. I'm not sure you actually worked at EA. There's not a single loot box in this mullet. <laughs> Are you using the right type of method to look set Doug cheese count on set value int? It says right here the way you set a global to access global variables, it must be patented. Then use then one uses the function get value and set value. I mean, I could just look at the the API for this. Sets the value will print an error if you do whatever. It's supposed to be a float. Oh, but well, we're doing set value int. Here we go. Set value int sets the current variable of the global variable object taking int as a parameter. Why is this not working, man? Oh, but it sets it as a float in here anyways. Okay, so it... it Look, this is all it's doing. Int new time, time of day global property dot set value int new time. Why is this not working? The code isn't counting the cheese, it's just giving it a stern talking to. Check the name in Papyrus. The name is fine. Reference it in your script. It is referenced in the script. You can see it here. Global variable property Doug Cheese Count Auto. It's it's referenced here. You can see in Creation Kit on my magic spell the pap the papyrus script has a property called Doug Cheese Count, which is not going to the hold on. Edit value, pick object. God damn it. What? Wasn't it set to Doug Cheese Count earlier? Why did it stop? Huh? What? Click OK Try to save. Try to just some number and see if it ever sets without doing plus one. Now go back to properties. It's set to Cheese Count. Why did it just not, why did it just undo it? Okay. Does exiting out of this, like, cancel it? Now it's gone again. <laughs> what? Um. If I click autofill, does it just, okay, it autofills if I click autofill. And then I click okay. Oh, there's an okay button down here. I didn't, there's no fucking way. Okay. This window, you have to press this OK button. You can't just exit out or everything you did doesn't work. Jesus Christ, Todd Howard. <sighs> OK. <laughs> we This is going to work. I click OK. Now when we go back in, 
if we click the script, it's actually connected to the cheese count variable. All right, so again, I just want to clarify what's going on here. What we want to do is do global int cheese count equals zero, and then add to it. And to accomplish that line of code, we go into creation kit. We went to the miscellaneous world global objects and created a new global object there that was a long called Doug cheese count. Then in the spell that gets attached to the actors because you can't just reference the other people, in the spell that gets attached to the actors by the player in the cell wide radius, when that spell gets cast on them, that spell has a script attached to it. That script has properties to it with that property Doug cheese count as a global variable referencing the global variable in miscellaneous global variables back in the global variable list of objects. Now, because they're connected in the script itself, when we go and we reference Doug cheese count, it should connect to the global variable and actually update correctly. Yeah? Are we good now? And this is all to have a one global variable. You still haven't fixed line 12. This is fine. We can leave cheese count. Count cheese can hang out. He's like a cool guy. Um, hi, I'm a cool guy. I'm allowed to hang out. You guys smoking weed? Can I have some? Like, nobody really likes Count Cheese. Everybody's like, oh, dude, he's gonna come. Like, he always comes to the party and doesn't bring any booze or anything and keeps trying to ask for a... We don't like Count Cheese, but he is gonna hang out. He's still invited. He's fine. As long as he's not doing anything, it's not gonna fuck up anything else. Okay, so we need to now save again in Creation Kit. Okay, we save here. Oh, right, right, I have to close the game. Uh-oh, shit, hold on. <laughs> no, 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 uh... We cancel out of that. We, I try to close the game, but I can't because it's stuck in the dialogue window. I quit out. We come back here. We go into creation kit. I save the mod. The mod is saved. We go back here. Uh, the mod is built. Yes. We open up Skyrim. As long as we see the initialization dialog box, we should be fine. Here, let me test it. Let me just uh, make sure it's updating. Um, we'll do... Uh, hi, Twitch chat. It's me. Count Cheese. Oh, you guys smoking some some grass? Can I can I have some? You guys are chill, right? Okay, cool. We build that. I just want to make sure. So if we see this message, we know that it's running off the new version of the mod. Actually, technically we don't, but probably we do. Okay. Hey, Chad, it's me. Oh, by the way, do you guys have some extra weed for Count Grass? He's, oh, he's trying to hang. <clears throat> oh my god! Wait, it could back to zero! No! Why? Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> what? You failed. I think it's going up. It's just why is where are the zeros coming from? I know that it's multi-threaded, but like It's a concurrency bug, but then where are the zeros coming from? Where are the zeros coming from? Why would it ever be zero? I, I know it's they're running out of order, but why would it ever be zero? Different NPCs. It's a global variable. That's the whole point, is that everybody's referencing the same thing. So why would it ever be going back to zero? Even, if there's, Park, even if there's a race it's condition, a lawyer, police it officer, shouldn't be going back to zero. Enthusiast main character plastic surgeon judge professional rifle owner he definitively jolly, knows how jolly to fix a code made by someone who worked at ea fun fact skyrim modding is a fucking joke
You seriously think that this spaghetti code is even remotely worth messing with? I'm waiting until Skyrim 2 releases and has an actually usable modding API. Slash testicle. Uh, Still need to display it on screen without using the pop-up though. No, I know, I know. Well, we're not, we're clearly not done. Um... Because it keeps going to zero. It looks like it's counting up correctly. So where the fuck is the zero coming from? I feel like it must be returning an error at some point. Um, like, I think it's counting correctly, but where are all the zeros coming from? It's not the old script. If you don't know what you're talking about, please don't yell out what you think is going on in all caps. It is profoundly dumb to be like... <laughs> THE OLD SCRIPTS ARE STILL SAVED! No, they're not. I created a new save file and they weren't running. It's just not correct. Just, I, if you want to be, like, an idiot, that's fine. But, like, don't be loud and confident about it. Like, what are you doing? I just, okay. Um, please check the global... You're taking so long, I'm literally watching Point Crow while I wait. You say that as though, like, I've, I've relegated you to some horrible fate. Point Crow is great. Perhaps the race condition may lock the variable from being red, so being undefined is represented as a zero. That's what I'm guessing, is like you have a whole bunch of NPCs all running this line at the same time. Wait, where is it? This line at the same time. And then if another if another thread currently is using the variable, then it just uh then it just defaults to zero, is what I'm guessing. <laughs> Why are there ten thousand people here? What is wrong with all of you? <laughs> I, I did actual, like, fun gameplay yesterday. <laughs> no, there was, like, 7,000 people. Um, uh, so we need a mutex. I don't want to get into multi-threading in Skyrim. I don't even know if that's doable. And that would actually slow down the game a lot. I feel like, okay, hear me out. What if, instead of dealing with this problem correctly, we bail? And we just say, if the count is zero... No, but that's not going to work, because then a bunch of the threads think it's zero. Fuck, we do need a mutex. For people who don't know very much coding, the idea is that this is a variable where you have a bunch of different NPCs that are all trying to access and update this, this number at the same time, right? And because they're accessing and updating at the same time, they're, what seems to be happening is that if one of the, th like, it's multi-threaded, so if one of the threads, i.e. one of the Douglas, NPCs the page is tells currently- you how to check it via the console, have a look and see what it actually is. Oh, that's a good idea. If one of the NPCs is currently like changing the number or accessing it, the other guys, if they try to access the number, it gets it just defaults to zero. Um, don't Another mutex to scatter gather. Help. I don't know what that I'll is. I'll mark it on your cheese. Thank you, Preston Cheesy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I can't believe how hard this is to make a global variable. This is unreal. I mean, we could say, yeah, like, you could do, like, while it's not zero, then you keep asking for it. But the problem is there's not even that much cheese right now. Once we get to, like, ten cheeses a second, this is, needs to work so much better. Yeah, I don't think Atomic works in this. Um, Point Crow's computer died, so we're back here. Cool. We'll just we'll just toss people back and forth between me and Point Crow as we have tech problems. <laughs> oh, God, Doug, stinky cheese, your code, stinky cheese. It worked a little too well, stinky cheese. I'm spawning too much cheese. And I do want to remind everybody, the actual mod to make cheese spawning, that took me three seconds this morning, and that works. All of this is to try to have a number displayed on screen to count how many cheeses have been spawned in total. But I want to. I want to do it. It's funny. This stream will probably end up being one of your highest used streams and you haven't played a second of Skyrim. I just... <laughs> it's such a cool idea that the cheese count is going up the whole time. Just count them manually. No, that's not where... And the amount of NPCs is going to vary. So we can't just, like, calculate it. Because we don't know... The whole thing with Skyrim is you don't know how many NPCs are currently loaded in. You you have no information. This the only thing you can Alan do is Turing cast a spell the on them. Code in World War II. <laughs> this is very similar to Alan Turing. Um, Doug, how come my short and nondescript messages don't make sense to you? I meant you can reference that properties and buzz page to make a property for the script in code and all instances of that script should share the same property. This works too. But this, it seems like it's not going to work well with a bunch of actors all modifying it. 
I mean, is there any other way? Can we like skip if the count equals zero? Literally but then we're solving just... a problem nobody has. <laughs> this, is, this is true. Yeah. I mean, what we could do is we could say it like while we could do while the get value int is not zero. No, you would do this, right? Wait, how do you do a fucking... I'm going insane. Uh, while in she... What am I doing? My brain is breaking. While current cheeses is not... Is hey, equal to zero. Musty Argonian made cheese, global variable, or heavy armored tank? Is there not a while loop in this? Is Are there not while loops in Papyrus? Am I fucking insane? There has to be a while loop. Is there a way to modify a Skyrim global value without grabbing that value? Is there a way to just throw the modification over? Doesn't, Love the coding BTW. Doesn't Very seem like entertaining. it. According to this page, no. Um, Can we have a prediction on whether it takes longer to make a number appear or beat the Dark Brotherhood? I mean... There's, there isn't a while? Maybe I'm missing something, which wouldn't be surprising considering it's fucking papyrus, but couldn't you update the counter, or show the alert box, only if the cheese count is greater than zero? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do now. There's no while loop. <sighs> hey, chat. If you're enjoying this riveting, action-packed Skyrim programming stream, Consider using your Twitch Prime on this poor, unemployable programmer. <laughs> Keep Resper Cheese Spawn. The key map to increase the counter. That is how we should do it. We ditch global variables altogether. Oh, I have to do end while. Oh, thank you, ChatGPT. Hey, Doug, can I get a shout out to my friend Crash Doom? It's his birthday today and would like a happy birthday for him. Uh, shout out birthday, uh, Crash Man. Was that correct? <laughs> I wasn't, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Um,. Happy birthday. I wrote cheese cheeses. This is how good I am at programming. I <laughs> my brain is breaking, dude. Um Okay, so theoretically what we're doing is we're saying the current number of cheeses equals zero. As long as it's zero, we keep asking the global variable, hey, what are you currently at? The problem with this. Yeah, I might crash the game now, because then every NPC is gonna be looping this infinitely. The, the problem with this is that it starts at zero. It needs to start at one. How do I start it at one? It's I, I, I know, I know, I know. It's it's going to start at zero. So I wish there was an easy way. Uh, what if I go back into creation kit and I open up the rabbit and I go into the script? No, I have to go back out here. To the Considering the physics of items in the world, one. could you kill people with cheese buckshot by walking through a big pile of it? So if I just... I set it to one, then we're good, right? Oh yeah, this or... This is or, not a good stream. On. Yeah, just negative one. We set it to negative one. And while it equals negative one. There we go. Easy. That's way, way more simple. Um, negative zero. That's not how numbers work. This is fine, right? We say we started to, we're saying the current number of cheeses is negative one. As long as it's negative one, we know we haven't gotten the real value yet. Until we get the real value 
of the global variable, we're just stuck in a loop. <laughs> Needs to be greater than zero. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Ints can be negative. Right? It's an int. No, because it's going to hit zero and you're trying to avoid zero. As long as it's zero, that's fine. That's the very first one. You don't get a new value after the while loop. Yeah, I do. It's set to the thing here, and then I set it to current cheese is plus one. I feel like this is Minus fine, zero right? does exist in floats, actually. What? I think you guys are all high. You're getting false zeros. No, I think what was happening... Right, the false zeros would mean... Oh, yeah, you're right. Now it'll give me false zeros. Fuck. Wait. You have to increase the value before the loop. But then it would be equal to zero. Because of the multi-threading problems. That's why I did it to zero, right? I think I set it, if I do this, doesn't that work? So if I set the global variables initial value as zero, or sorry, as one, so the number of cheeses is one when we start, then when all of the variables try to access it, it seems to give it zero only if there's basically a concurrency problem, right? This should work. Can we get some coding music? Yeah, sorry. Set it to a thousand, then subtract every time. If you get zero, you lose the speed run. No, that's hey, way more dog. complex. Just got back from my programophobia therapy, fear of coding, and noticed you streaming. What are you up to? Wait a second, Dash. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I got so excited when we started and it said one. Man, we were so close, kind of. It's unreal how <laughs> hard this is. <sighs> okay. Um... You save, you save, and we go again. All right, this could be the one. Check out the mod, global variable method. It is supposed to be thread safe. Mod global variable, okay. Sorry, that's really loud. That's what we'll do next when this inevitably doesn't work. Hey Chad, it's me, Count Cheese. Are you guys smoking? Can I have some? You guys are chill, right? Okay, it'll start in like three seconds once my magic spells have been applied to all of like the cows and shit. Okay, the cow pooped a cheese, so that's one, two, oh, 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 chat! It's maybe working in what is one of the worst ever implementations of multi-threading code. Okay, it's only going up by three. I feel like there, it should be going up a lot more. Why aren't... Congratulations, Doug! You did it! No, I don't You're think I did incredible. it. What a great job, Doug! You're amazing! I want to be like you. Wow! Doug, that was so cool! What an amazing He's gamer the in best. person! He's Doug the best guy's gamer! Wow! Oh my god! You're incredible! Incredible, Doug. Yeah, the guard should be pooping Watching cheese. This has helped me understand why EA's products are the way they are. <laughs> I was good at my job, kind of, not really. Um, the cow stopped poop. Everybody stopped wee pooping cheese. Wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. It's only counting the first instance. No, I mean the code just stopped. Look, if I if I just turn off all this shit that I've been working on, guys, I don't know if we're gonna have a cheese count. If we just turn all that off. And we just have it spawn cheese. Everybody will spawn cheese. The core mod works. And that seem whatever we did seems to have broken it, which is dumb. Okay, see, this should actually work. Now the cows will poop cheese every second. See, so like this works, and then this just stopped working once, once all the threads were. Disruptions 
while we'll stop the updates. Yeah, I think it's getting frozen. Is there a way to do count cheese? I don't think we're, we can do global variables. I don't think any of this is going to work. I think this is literally all a waste of time. Can you count the number uh, console commands to count number of objects? I should probably say Skyrim. Um, it, I don't think it does have a way to do that. Try the mod thing. Yeah. Um, global Skyrim global variable mod. Was it in here? Oh, the modded thing that somebody suggested. Where? What was that? Doug, does the player's script note a amount of NPCs that are currently affected by the spell? Nope. If that is the case, you could count from the player's script instead of the spell scripts. Nope, you don't have that information. That's why Skyrim kind of sucks. I created an empty faction, used its bounty to hold a global variable that made certain actions increase or decrease the bounty. I think the problem is, is multi-threading, though. Not about having the global variable at this point. Um, okay. Check out global var the mod global variable method. That's what I I tried. Where I can't find it. Mod global variable mod global variable method Skyrim papyrus. Tell me, please. This is the last thing we can try. Dude, why is this code for ants? Player ref get item count. I'm trying to find this. Somebody is saying that there's like another function we can use that is thread safe. Can you retrieve the count from a player script? Well, the the threads need to add to it still. Which means they need to get it. Hey, do this music there's mod no need to fit about this. Quest script and have the actor send mod events to the local variable. I'm losing interest in figuring all this out. We could have mod events. Um, oh, God. Question about the mod event papyrus function, and there's no answers. Great. All right, hold on. We need uh, coding music. Skyrim. I mean... Uh, There's also the mod function for global variables. Okay. Somebody said to do this. In a thread safe way. Okay. This is our best chance. We do mod. I know nothing about coding, but I'm happy to be here as demoral support. Slash boo, you suck. So just be... It'll just be that, right? It's still an issue if we don't know when... Cheese only spawns on actively loaded NPCs, right? If so, can't you fetch the number of loaded NPCs, then add that number to the cheese counter every second? Uh... I guess... There's a way of doing that. Um... But I still would need a global variable for people to basically say that they're loaded or not. So that would be a different approach. We math it. <laughs> This could theoretically work. We're using the mod function now. Mod returns the new value. It does? 
Oh shit, you're right. Okay, so we do float new value equals Doug cheese count dot mod, and then we print new value. Okay, this is a chance of working. So basically, this function, mod, is thread safe, meaning that Skyrim will now handle it to make sure that when they're not all touching it at the YouTube, same time. You should put a warning that the first three to four hours is just confused coding. Okay, can everybody, when this comes out on the VOD channel, drop comments that say, gameplay starts at, um, at like, and then just pick a random time during the first two hours of the stream, so then nobody can find when the coding stops and they have to watch it, just like you. Make them suffer, just like you have. Okay, I mean, this could be it. Oh, hey, Count Cheese wants some more weed, if that's cool with you guys. All right. Is the cow gonna poop? Two. Three. Back to zero. <laughs> it's still, it's clearly not thread safe. Could be that the debug boxes aren't thread safe. Well, that shouldn't matter because they should have the correct number. I must say, this is by far the fastest oh. Skyrim speedrun I have ever watched. <laughs> this the whole challenge is probably gonna last like 30 minutes. <laughs> You're setting it to zero. No, I'm not. That's not what mod does. Does papyrus have error handling? Well, I don't it's not throwing an error, I don't think. And if it is, that means that means the numbers aren't correct anyway. So like why are we New doing any of this? Idea, coding a Skyrim mod, but every second one of Doug's brain cells is replaced with cheese. Why is coding so stupid? Coding is generally a lot less stupid than when you make Skyrim mods. GTA 5 mods are great to make. They are super fun and they work well and it's everything is just oh, it's great. You can add a script to the cheese item. Why would we do that, though? Also, I don't think you can. I don't think you can add scripts to objects. You can add them to actors. Uh, maybe you can't add them to objects. That's just going to make things more complex. Are you passing the Doug underscore cheese count to the method specifying how many cheese to spawn? And if so, are you making sure Doug underscore cheese count isn't locked by another thread when you pass it? So the only time we're updating it is with the mod thing now. With the At mod function. At this point, couldn't you simply have it print if it is not zero? It is just checking the float value already being retrieved. Should not be too hard. So, with this code, the only time it's reading the the value is when it's changing it. So if it gets back that the value is zero, that means that, that it isn't successfully adding a number to it, right? I think a bunch of cheeses are getting lost then in the count. So another option is theoretically we do... Oh my sweet god. We do... We do a global variable about how many NPCs are currently loaded, and then we multiply that by a certain number. But then as we update the cheese count, that will get out of sync anyways. Oh. I'm think we might have to give up. Print it to the console. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, how to print to the console papyrus. I don't want to give up after two hours. That feels so dumb. This, this is a looking a little hopeless. As a reminder again, text to speech is I'm having it off until we start with the game, which is going to be any minute now. Someone suggested this. Wait, what? But aren't they spawning cheese? The cheese works. The actual core thing that we're doing today has worked from the very beginning. All I'm trying to do 
is have a number that keeps track of the total amount of cheeses that have been spawned because it'd be fun to see that number on the screen. And the uh, the fact that it is this hard to track that is outrageous and it's, I don't want to give up. Point Girl, aren't you supposed to be streaming? <laughs> you know how to fix this, Point Girl? <laughs> it's so, I can't believe. Point Girl, even you know enough code, right? I've spent two hours trying to create a global variable that sets a number up. That's it. That's all. That's it's literally it. The code works. And it's just a fucking global variable. And it doesn't I all I want to do is have global cheese count equals zero and it goes up by one. And that is impossible. It's impossible. I crashed your stream. The mod they were talking about before. I have Papyrus Util. That's that's like scripting extension that I have. Papyrus Util um APIs. Let's let's dive into the fucking APIs, all right? This is we're about to get hype. Okay. Where's the API? Wait, I probably have, have you the tried API. Just manually counting the cheese. You guys could do that. You could you could give me the uh source I don't even know where Papyrus Util is. Where the fuck is Papyrus Util? Have you tried just making the cheese scream loudly? Util. Where we can count even if we don't see them. Utility. Spawned and then chat can just count the screams. Convert. What the fuck is all this? Okay. None of this is. None of this has to do with. How do we write something to a console? Ah. <sighs> uh, chat. Chat GBT! I'm scared and I don't get it! How do I write a number to the console in Skyrim using Papyrus code? Don't worry, I'm here to help. Okay, I feel calmer. To write a number to the console using Papyrus code, use the debug object and its notification. Okay, that's really simple. Thank you, Chat GPT. Oh, okay. You could also use debug trace. Wait, what it what it, what should I use? Uh bro! Bro, I'm scared! Which one? Tell me! They both the okay, the difference. Why is it cut off? The difference is that debug notification is used for general debugging. Well, is used for more detailed debugging, it's only used a log. Okay, we're using debug notification. We're doing this. All right, so what people are suggesting is that my code worked perfectly, but the part of the code that was displaying the number was wrong. I don't think that that's probably correct, but let's see what happens. I mean, it's possible that this this value this is working correctly to update the cheese count, but then when we try to display it, that code was getting backed up and having uh, threading issues. That sounds about right. Maybe. I still don't know why it would pop up as zero. It shouldn't have popped up at zero. I don't think that makes any sense. That implies that this is returning zero, which would mean the, the cheese count is wrong. I don't think it's going to work, but I mean, we can try it real quick. And if we don't do this, we probably have to give up and do the thing that was ready at the very beginning of the stream. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, Count Cheese wants some more grass. It does not look like a multi-threading issue because it would repeat slash skip values, for example, 113345, but not show zero. It looks more like some instantiations of the script are not referencing the correct global variable. There is a function called update current instance global that you apparently need to use before getting the global value. What? Update, why? That's the whole point of a global variable. Why would you need to do that? What Easy. the fuck? Just make the NPCs cast a no spell whenever they spawn a cheese, and if that spell affects you, you count up by one. I don't know how to do that. It's probably doable. Yo, what's this do? Is this real? 
Oh, sorry, I didn't say it. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what you're referring to. This, debug notification. That's a valid Papyrus code line. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I just copy and pasted his thing. No, 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 hold on. Update global instance variable. Sorry, I meant this. Yes, it's a valid Papyrus function to be used to update the value. Why would you need to do this, though? The code crate. Why is it cut off? What is going on? This is... This is the worst. Doug, it worked. I mean, it does seem like it's working. Did I do it? Am I great? Okay, I will say this is... Oh, yeah, I mean, the cow is shitting a lot of cheese. The number is working, or it seems to be like working, but it's counting way too slow. And we're theoretically going to be having like tens of thousands of cheeses. So it clearly Skyrim... I mean... Oh yeah, I can do show Doug Doug cheese count. 139. Wait, holy shit. We did it? Wait, it went back to zero. When did it go to I zero? JavaScript was terrible, but watching you struggle with Papyrus really vindicates it. This is awful design. Thanks, Dodd. Uh Papyrus and uh Skyrim coding is by far the worst and least intuitive and least functional coding I've ever done in my life. It is kind of fun, but it's it's wild how much shit just doesn't work the way you think it should. Um, and just the insanely roundabout things you have to do to get it. Okay, we might... It might be working. The notifications are really, really slow, which is an issue. Um... Yeah, I mean, this is like, it is a little interesting of watching everything I've done, and then, okay, there was one zero in there. So it seems like there's a couple zeros, but it's getting the majority of them, at least. Um, but it does make me appreciate the people working on these games, of like, god damn, this must be a mess to work with. Yeah, we only we could print modulo 100, something like that, if that makes sense. I mean, every NPC is trying to print it right now. Um, we could do modulo, like, 50 even. Modulo meaning um, it'll only show the cheese count every 50 cheeses rather than every single update. Yeah, okay, so there's another zero. So it looks like it's dropping some of them, but enough that we are probably okay um, to just run it. Like, it, we ba basically, it'll be slightly undercounted. <laughs> Uh, but it seems like there's most, for the most part, it's counting correctly. You've gained like 6k viewers since I started coding. I mean, this is certainly the dumbest stream to ever have hit 10k. Um, so the question is, how do we display it? Best. Thank you, Abby. This is why I pay you the big bucks. Or are you my boss? I forget. Whatever makes sense. Um, I can't print every second because there's like 15 threads all printing at the same time. I think we do... There's got to... Okay. All right. So, we, I think, have the cheese count. Can we borrow your graphics card? How does having a fish <laughs> play Elden Ring break your graphics card? That doesn't make any sense. What are you guys doing over there? Your code sounds worse than my Skyrim code that has taken me two hours to make a global variable. <laughs> what are you guys doing? If cheese count is greater than zero, or, or yeah, modulo zero equals zero. Uh, so I'm just wondering, is there a way to update the thing faster? Um, watch the clip. Oh, you're right. The player could up. The player. The player's the one printing. And then he prints it every 
five seconds or whatever. Instead of all the threads printing it. Right now, every one of the individual NPCs is printing, the, is trying to update and tell us what the current number is. We don't want that. Instead, we'll have the player look over here at the balls variable, and then the player prints it out to the debug thing by himself, and we'll do every five seconds. Of course! But that means that we need to figure out the fuck the player talks to the global variable, because that means we probably got to put in a goddamn property again, because this is stupid, because it's not a global variable in the way that global means. It's global in the stupid bullshit way. All right, so... So we quit. We're going to add a property. We go to... I don't even know which one it is. How about the sp the quest itself? Do you have a Doug, your diagrams are terrible. Fuck. I'm afraid we need to let you go. Scripts? Doug spawner script. Okay, so now we add a property to the spawner script. And this property is going to be a global variable. And that global variable will be Doug underscore cheese count. Skyrim was bad, but damn. Modding Morrowind was easier than this. And it's the same engine. And the cheese count autofills to the correct global variable, which we made elsewhere. We okay that. I click okay. I don't exit out. The spawner quest now. Chat GPT says about you from what I gather. He fancies himself quite the entertainer, relying on gimmicks and tricks to keep his audience engaged. Me coding unsuccessfully for two hours, not a gimmick or a trick. Okay, so now in spawner script, it should have popped a global variable at the bottom called Doug Cheese Count. This goes up here. We pop it. Bam. Now global Doug Cheese Count on the update. This happens every five seconds and it's going to debug notification with Doug Cheese Count dot get value int. Yeah? But then this could return zero. So do I want to do like a while loop where we go while and then end um, while loop and say we, we do int cheese count equals zero and then while cheese count is not equal to zero, yeah? Why wouldn't we while loop it? Loop is bad. But if it's only one thread, the, the while loops were causing issues before when every single NPC thread was looping. I think it'll be fine if it's only the quest. So so now, th now we're adding code that is on the main mod versus each one of the individual NPCs, right? Use if. Like we just skip it? <sighs> All right, fine. So we'll just we'll just miss some. If it's only the quest looping, it's probably fine, dude. It's going to loop infinitely. Well, right now, the code... Yeah, yeah, hold on. It's not ready. Uh, so we do... This goes outside of the while loop. And then we do... Cheese count... Equals that. And then this is cheese count. So basically saying our cheese count is zero. While... Oh, sorry. While it is zero... Um, we keep asking for a new, we keep asking for the global variable until we get a number that isn't zero, which means we got the actual number and then we print it. Yeah. What if you did mod zero? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. is this what people mean when they complain about Doug throwing for content? <laughs> Do people complain about that? I don't throw for content. We can just mod it with zero. So it doesn't change. That's brilliant. And then this is a thread safe function and it doesn't work. Oh, right, because this needs to be a float. Okay. Is that cool? That should work. <sighs> it's not here. We got to save it. We go back. Um, and then in this script, we'll be like, hi, Twitch chat. I will bet you 
10 gifted subs that my viewership goes down within 30 minutes of the game starting. It's currently at 10,600 viewers. I will bet you money that the viewership is going to go down once we start playing video games. <laughs> Within 30 minutes. It has to drop whatever the number is when, when the game starts, when I hit start game. 30 minutes later, if it's, if it's, if it's, uh, if it's lower. I, wait, when am I gifting? I'm gifting 30 subs if it's the same I've or higher. I'm betting 30 gift, 10 gifted subs if it's streaming less. And you're still coding. Uh, it's this has been riveting content. Okay, everybody loves it. Um, I'm ready to start a single update. This is uh, do five, um, and then on update we set this to five. This maybe maybe all works. Remember to remove the debug from the NPC script. Also, print yes, an int you. so it looks nicer. Print an int. Oh yeah, good call. Um, cool. Build that in the spawner script. Can we? As int, can we do that? Is that cool? We cool with that? Cool. I think we're good. Is this going to work perfectly? So the idea now is every five seconds we're going to print out the cheese count. If it says, can I get a pog, that means the mod was reinstantiated. Okay, perfect. So the question is, does this work? It should have, everybody should poop cheese once every second. He's not pooping cheese. Oh. And it said one up there. 13. Oh my god, it might actually be working. 28. Oh god. <laughs> Um, 40, I think it's working. Jesus Christ. In two hours and 17 minutes, we got a variable to go up and print it. <laughs> Congratulations, Doug. Congratulations. You did it. You're incredible. Uh, You're amazing. Like, wow. Doug, that was so good. Thank you, Crash Doom. Person, the the best 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 gamer. Wow. Oh my God. You're incredible. Doug. Congratulations, Doug. You did it. You're Thank you, Rolling Armadillo, for the 20 gifted like, sub. Wow. Wow. That was so Oh my god. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. Okay. I'm getting a lot of Twitch primes. This is truly a huge moment for the channel. Um, Now, I hate to be the one to say this, but that number is tiny and barely visible. I feel like we should... <laughs> I feel like we should look into a way to make it bigger. I can barely see that. Right? It's it's perfect. Next is it? time my boss asks me why I'm taking so long to implement a seemingly simple feature, I'll link him this VOD. It is true, though. This is coding in a nutshell. It's like, oh, that'll take five minutes. Two hours later. Jesus Christ. So glad we could finally complete code that I literally made in elementary school. No. Congratulations, Doug. Skyrim mods are a mess. Fire sword, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. That is a lot. Thank you, thank you. Rolls this. Thank At you for the we all know five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Six are taking so long, lol. Uh, they, okay, they said, I am, so let's real talk for a sec. I am excited to do modding for Starfield, which is their giant new game. The team that made this is finally coming out with a new game. Jesus, and, take the wheel. Um, it is coming out in September, I believe, of this year. It's taken forever. It's their first so this is our major new game. Stream. Right. <laughs> okay, we, whatever the peak is, I bet money that it's going to go down when we start playing. Um, I feel like the global variable is going to crash. What if I hold on? If I go in a building, let me make sure the variable still works. The cheese almost killed me. Um, they so for Starfield, they said they are gonna. They still want the modding tools to be there, and they want people to be able to mod, which is great. And that um, they've made a ton of updates to the creation kit. And they basically said this is like the biggest jump of the creation kit that has happened um, in a long, 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 long time. So, I... Why is it still going up? Feels like it should not be going up. Uh-oh. Rondrio, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you, Billy D. Um, why is it still going up? Why would it be catching up? That doesn't make sense. God damn it. Check the console. Yeah, good good call. Okay. It 
So it's printing that there's 660 cheese wheels. Okay, so it's not printing. Show Doug cheese count. Anyways, to, to, to finish that thought, they said they've updated the creation kit a lot for Starfield. So I'm hoping that when the game comes out in six months or whatever, that making mods is a lot easier for the game um, because I'd love to do modding for it, but these mods are a mess. They're, they're very tedious. Wait, it's saying the mod count is 666. So it is correct. Why is it going up in here? Huh? Now it's 670. Why are the cheeses still going up? Now it's 692. Why are cheeses spawning in... Are there people in here? There shouldn't... You failed! So it's, it's not necessarily that my code is wrong. It might be that they're still spawning cheese outside, but that they shouldn't be loaded. They should unload when you go into a, a place. Are they, like, have they been spawning cheese this whole time? Because that's... Okay, there's a lot more cheese. Was this how much cheese was here out... No, because it jumped... Wait, it jumped up to seven... It jumped up to 800. Skyrim keeps the adjacent area loaded. Other buildings with people in it are going to spawn? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's not good. That was like the... That was the one hope that we had, was that... The spawning stops when I go into a building. Okay, hold on. What's the number? 957. And in the console, the number is 968. So this, it's... The printing is basically working. Probably some characters are kept... Okay. Is everybody still pooping cheese? Let me just double check the script itself works. There might be a limit on how many it can load in, but I don't think there will be. Okay, yeah, you're dumping a lot of cheese. Okay. Well, I think it's working. And we now have at the top left what appears to be an accurate counter of the amount of cheese that has been spawned, which is currently 1,000. 100. I feel like this is more than 1,200 cheese. Yeah. Right? This seems like a shitload. Maybe it is. I don't know. This does seem like it'd be a couple thousand cheese. Maybe not, though. Dude, this is so... I don't know, man. I feel like this is like 5,000 cheese. Fast travel somewhere. Well, so it's a global variable, which means it's not just the amount of cheese that's around me currently. If I travel somewhere else, the number will still be 1,200. So the number is going to reflect the total number of cheeses that have been spawned into Skyrim during the game. Your game broke at 3,000. Yeah, it must... I mean, it must be correct. This just seems... Dude, I don't know. Only 1,300? Look at how much cheese is here. This has to be more than 1,300. Stay out of trouble, Kaji. That looks right. Are you guys insane? This does not seem correct. It's saying there's 1,500. Spawn 1300 with console to compare. Yeah, that's a good idea. Player dot... Oh, I forgot if I press the Y button. I have that setting to spawn cheese. <laughs> uh, help cheese... What is even the very... What is the number? Uh, player dot place at me... Zero, 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 six, four, B, three, three. Three, three? Three, three. Three, three, and then 1,300. So the question is, is the amount of cheese that is about to spawn into the game look about equivalent to what is already inside of Whiterun? And will the game crash? Hmm. 
Well... I mean, I guess the worst case is the number's wrong, and fuck it. <laughs> I think it's roughly correct. It makes so sense to keep some NPCs loaded. It tracks their schedules and stuff, but it doesn't have all NPCs loaded at all times. Uh, clearly it has some loaded, I guess. Um, okay. You know what? We're ready. Let us begin. <laughs> the best Skyrim challenge of my life. Why is there a skeleton? I think I have... I set it up so if I press the Y button, it spawns 10 cheese wheels and a skeleton, but I don't remember why. Okay, there are 11,070 viewers now. My prediction is that within 30 minutes, we will have less people watching. <laughs> we'll have less people watching. Cool. We're going to trust that the number works. The game crashed. Make a prediction? Well, then everybody's going to stay to fuck me over. We can't predict. You know, we can't do a prediction. Okay. So here's the plan. Um, <clears throat> Now that it's working. The plan is brand new game of Skyrim. But every 10 seconds, every single nearby NPC will spawn a cheese wheel. But after 10 minutes, we increase the amount, right? So after 10 minutes, it's going to be two cheese wheels a second. 10 more seconds, it's three cheese... 10 more minutes, it's three cheese wheels a second. We'll keep updating it. Why are you copying Ludwig? I don't think Ludwig did this. <laughs> um... This is not YouTube. I'm recapping it because we've spent two and a half hours coding. I'm just explaining what we're doing again. <laughs> Whatever. Um, we're going to try to beat the Dark Brotherhood quest. That is the goal. Beat the entire Dark Brotherhood quest line. And my question is... Can it? Can we? Can I? It, I feel... I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like this might all work. <laughs> I, okay. Okay. What we could do is we could gamble on does Doug, um... Does Doug get to the Dark Brotherhood without it crashing? I mean, think about it like this, though. Here, here's something to keep in mind. Actually, I'll talk about it once we get into the intro, okay? I'm gonna do a prediction. Does Doug start the Dark... Okay. When I say start, I mean get into the abandoned shack, okay? That, like... Or I will say, does Doug meet the Dark Brotherhood before crashing? Yes, no. That would be like, I don't know, 20 minutes of gameplay maybe? I think this is probably fine. I don't think it's going to crash early on. Is TTS off? Um, I'll turn it on now. I'm still going to pause it occasionally, though. Don't disappoint, Doug. I don't know if I'll really influence this at all. Okay. Let's run it. The cow and cheese are illustrating the coding process perfectly. Simple things become more complicated and unstable the more layers you add. Then the cow falls down. Wait, hold on. Are we counting the intro? Are we? I I don't know if the hey, Doug, I don't know if the cart ride is going to work. Thank you for entertaining us with your content. You never fail to make me laugh when I'm feeling low. Hey, thanks, Twist. Hold on. I actually don't think we should. I don't think the intro is going to work. Actually, it did work. I think it will. Hey Doug, when are you doing another if I say dragon then it spawns 10 dragons type of video? Uh... Dragon D's nuts got him. Chat remember me. Mods ban him for a million seconds. Hold on, I'm Could gonna delete this. just be backed up severely? It seems like it's good now because we're spacing out the, the printing. Okay. I have watched your streams for a bit now and have gained interest in this witchcraft, but I have no idea where to start learning coding. 
Should I rob multiple banks to afford college or can I teach myself? I do not know, unfortunately. I don't know what options are like nowadays for learning to code. Other people in the community probably could give you good advice. Um, because yeah, all I just did the college route, so that's the only one I know. Um, does Doug Meet the Dark Brotherhood before the game crashes? Okay? Before, like, I'll say, does Doug, does Doug meet DB before game crashes? Um, or softlocks? But that includes the intro. That includes the intro. So that means if the intro gets fucked up of the cart ride, that doesn't count. If you remember, three years ago I did a video of 10 cheese wheels spawn every second from me, the player, and the intro actually worked fine. The question is, will it work? And the entire rest of the intro, and the next 20 minutes of gameplay, without soft locking if all of the NPCs are spawning cheese wheels. Yes, you think I'm going to make it all the way to the Dark Brotherhood. No, you think I won't. Starfield is going to be a cheap ripoff of Outer Worlds. Bethesda could never beat an Obsidian Entertainment game ever. I will die on this hill. I strongly disagree with that sentiment, but I'm glad you like Obsidian games. Well, now we will never know if it was the same amount of cheese. The parts I like about Bethesda games are not the parts that Obsidian really focuses on. And Outer Wilds was pretty boring. I didn't play it, but I watched a friend play it, and it looked pretty boring. Hey, Doug. Just wanted to thank you. If for you the like that style, though, I think gameplay. Obsidian does a great job. It's, been really it's just not really for me. Since I've been depressed. Depressed both for these nuts in your mouth. Okay, mods, take him out back. Did I say wilds? Outer worlds this stream was really boring. Starting to drag on stinky Outer cheese, stinky wilds cheese, stinky is cheese. one of my favorite games of all time, and it is one of the absolute greatest. Outer wilds is phenomenal, but it's completely different genre. Doug. I'm going to bed, but I'm scared of the cheese. Could you tell me a bedtime story to help me sleep? Yes. One Once upon a time, there was a Doug. And the Doug was murdered by a rogue cheese wheel. The end. Sorry, I'm two hours late, Doug. I'm unspeakably high right now. Thank you, the cheese count. <laughs> that took me a sec. All right, let's send it. Zipper Donut, thank you for the one year. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, Doug. My life is abject misery. The darkness is closing in, suffocation, no breathing. I'm staking it all on the D&D &D stream being the greatest single event in my life. How are the alerts? fix all my problems, fix my job, revive my dog, get me Oh, hey, Doug, Thank didn't you. see you there. What a surprise. When are you going to let the main character chat run the stream? That's what I'm here for. Okay, we're running it. <clears throat> let us begin. Come for the Skyrim state for the coding. Come on, oh, goth, work. I love hours of coding work, over work, gameplay. Work. I'm hearing a lot of weapons being dropped on the ground. Oh my god! Was that from the cheese? Okay, the, the count at the top left says that there are already 285 cheese wheels in the game. I don't know who'd kill that horse, but it seems like it's working otherwise. Like, the cheese wheels are spawning, like, outside of the cart on the ground. Okay, it's a little bumpy, but we're fine. Okay, we're up to 500 cheese wheels. It seems like everything's working, though. Okay, that horse over there is having issues. As long as no other horses die, we're fine. You trying to cross the border, right? Walk right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Okay, the last time I did something like this, it took 3,200 cheese wheels to crash Skyrim. That was when they were all concentrated in Whiterun. We are already at 1,000, and we're like 30 seconds into the game. But maybe if we're spread out far enough, we can get through the intro? Will Alduin spawn cheese? Yeah, no, he's an NPC, dude. It's jumping by 100 every time. Well, there's like... Oh, God. I mean, there's a shitload of NPCs here. And there's gonna be even more when we get to- Okay, wait. What's going on with Pinkie Pie up there? Okay, the front- Is the front soldier, uh, necessary for the quest? Because I feel like he's gonna leave at some point. Okay, our cart is fine. Like, we seem to be good. Theoretically, we're the back. We should be having the most issue with cheese, but it's been fine. 
Okay. Hey Diablo the Cheetah, I would have helped with the coding, but I don't know Pap Smear. I'll stick to sensible languages. Thanks. Okay. So here's where now the guards are gonna be here. You can see them spawning cheese on the little rafters. I have no mouth and I must scream. Also, Ramadan is over, so that means I can bang my GF again. Now that's a pog moment. Okay, we are up to 2,170 cheeses. That guy is being pushed up into the roof add of his guard of building. Cheese next to the <laughs> counter. No more coding, please. Just add the picture. Uh, okay, all the Thalmor are also cheesing. Okay, we are... We're already at 2,500. Hey, Duke Duck. The cheese is too tasty to ignore the intro. Okay. Everybody's being bounced around on the horses, but I... They're... Nothing seems to be broken. Dude, I... Hey, Don Dong, love the content. When is the tennis stream you promised like a year ago? Duke Duck Any day now. Okay, we're officially at 3,000 cheese wheels. This is about what crashed in Whiterun. 3,200. This is what crashed Whiterun. Nice job getting the code to work first try. Even though the gameplay hasn't started yet. 3,300. It's been fun so far. We're... I did just update my PC. It's a very powerful Watching PC. Maybe this will go better. Watching the made me glad that I'm pursuing a career in pharmacy instead of a development career at Bethesda. <laughs> uh... Okay. It seems like everything's working. As long as none of the essential NPCs get, like, blasted into oblivion with cheese, we should be okay. Okay, the horse, I think, died. But we're already here, so we're probably okay. The fact that we're already at 4,300 cheeses is a little scary, because we just have to sit here for the next, like, five minutes. <laughs> Ulfric, you good? Empire loves their damn <laughs> Okay, okay, hold on. I gotta save it. It Jesus Christ. An honor, Jarl Everybody's just bouncing up and down. Wait, where's... Where's Rayloff? Or where's Hadvar? Oh, Hadvar's up there on the cheese. Okay. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! You're not gonna kill me. I can't even see him running. Okay, they got him. Wait, where's Hadvar? Where's the guy... Okay, I guess Hadvar's gone. It's, it seems to still be working. Um, What's a good cheese pun? We already did Jesus Christ in the last cheese video. Did he die from fall damage? I mean, so far, it seems like we're it's working. Count cheese. Ugh. Okay, character's made. Forget the list. He goes to the block. She's saying the lines even though the character is not here. I think it's working. We're at 5500 cheese wheels. Alfred Stormcloak. <laughs> I like the trails that people have walked. You can just <laughs> Oh wait, okay. Cuz anybody does anybody know the record? This might be the record right here. That was like a 15 stacker, right? Okay, who gets highest up on their cheese stack? <laughs> okay, so somebody's got to count. Somebody's got to count. Uh, go. Wait, I think it's going to get harder as they're on more cheese. Okay, oh, that's that's looking good. Four, five, six. Seven. Okay, no, that was only like eight. I think our cheese record is like 15 tower. Oh, that, that one's looking good right there. That's Rayloff. Go, Rayloff! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's on ten. Eleven. Twelve! I don't think he got there. Oh, General Tolius is... Dude! Ulfric's going super high! That might be a record! Did anybody see Ulfric's... What was the count? What was the count? Ulfric might have the Cheese Tower record. But Tolius is going for it right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Tolius is going to break it! Fifteen, sixteen! Okay, sixteen is the current record. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot somebody's dying. Oh, dude, you have a good tower. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hold on. 11, 12, 13, 14, 5th. That tied. I think that's tied, right? 
Okay, hold on. I gotta go get killed or whatever. I said next prisoner. Oh, I'm not going the right direction. What? Oh, we're getting executed over here, I guess. <laughs> Is it still gonna work, or? I, I, I'm i not moving, this is the part of the... Uh-oh. I'm supposed to be walking to get executed. Guys, I'm not sure if Skyrim's gonna be able to recover from this one. I'm not seeing a lot of paths out of this situation. Just give it a sec. I just, that's the thing. I just, I'm not sure if, even if it, even if it unfreezes, we have another like full minute of being in this area. We might have to play through the intro before turning off the mod. I'm trying. I'm letting the game cook. It's just the, the cooking is going quite bad. Well, time to pause Don't alerts. Worry, boys, I bought Twitch viewer bots to keep the numbers up. <laughs> Thank you, Twitch bots. I will say, this is a strong. I should send this to Intel to try to get a sponsorship. I just got here and voted believe, having no idea what's happening. But I must always believe. With the Intel processor, you can spawn up to 8,000 cheese wheels in the beginning of Skyrim before the game crashes. As okay. someone currently working for Obsidian, it's not oh, really shit, nice. reasonable to compare the work we do to Bethesda's stuff. Yeah. Open world sandboxes versus linear narrative action RPGs are really different. See. Yeah. I, so I agree with that. I'm less of a linear RPG person, so they're not as much my style of game. I really like the openness of these games. But Obsidian is great. Obsidian makes great stuff. Well, um, that's not shots fired. That's it's two different types of games. Is the whole point? This that started because somebody was like, Obsidian games are better than Starfield or, or whatever the the thing was. <laughs> Drama. Okay, I am sad to announce that Skyrim cannot get through the intro if a cheese wheel will spawn every second. Hello? I can't even close the game. It's not, it's not responding to anything. Normally if I minimize... I can't, my mouse is gone. What is happening? What did this do to my computer? The mouse is not anywhere on screen. Dude, I have to control it, delete. <sighs> Sad wee woos. The doubters win. Congratulations, doubters. Okay. Wait! No, you're not getting a. No, you're not getting a refund. You lost. What do you mean? That's <laughs> not how it works. It's not how refunds work. Hey, Doug, my YouTube's finally came in. Nice. As soon as I opened it, it started talking about olive oil and murder. I had to lock it in my closet. At night, I hear him claw at the door and whisper, "Even your dog." I fear for my life. Ironically, my best sleep yet. That's part of your. Outer Worlds all did part a terrible contract. job of building an interconnected world, and everything felt so empty. I will die on this hill. Well, okay. Apparently, there's Obsidian devs in the chat, so you need to shit on it too much. So you're saying that Fallout New Vegas, God bless its divine soul, isn't the best game ever released? I haven't played. I haven't played any of these games. I, I don't know. I don't have an opinion. Um. My only opinion is that they are a genre of game that I tend not to be interested in. Whereas the open world uh, stuff like Skyrim, I think the openness of it um, and the flexibility with the systems, I think, are, are interesting to me. 
I, I have an opinion on the genres, not on the specific games. Because I haven't played them. Um... Okay, here's what we're going to do. New Vegas is open world. Uh, fair enough, I haven't played it. I, what I've been told is that it is much more, like, story-driven? But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. I, I haven't played New Vegas. The number printing for the cheese count is so small, can't we make it bigger? No. All right, we are going to start a new game uh, with the mod off. And then once we get control Doug, of the character, that's where it'll about begin. The description of this stream. What does death equals delete mean? Also, I am looking forward to seeing you finish the coding for the mod. You are so good at programming. Thank you. Man, the, I thought the alerts weren't behind. Or are you just behind? Are you Doug, just like watching? I'm the... ironically having a horrible fucking month. Your streams have been the only thing I look forward to. Also, uh, you owe me several imaginary monies after I gambled it away betting on a doctor's versus teacher's death match. I bet 285 bits for each cheese. Um, what am I doing? Oh, right, I have to turn the mod off. So, I will justify this shortly. It's not gonna work, the Imperial starting sous chef died. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, hold on. I will explain it. Okay, we're going to play through the intro without the mod activated. And this is actually what speedrunners do. The speedrun time for an actual speedrun starts when you get control of your character. So given that this is a speedrun, I think it is legitimate to get through the intro first. And the instant we have control of the character, the mod is turned on. And the timer starts. That is the description. That is the the justification. I would love to have it on during the intro, but clearly that's not going to happen. The next person who does a these nuts joke will be exterminated. The mods aren't joking. They broke my friend's kneecaps. Exterminated for one million seconds. Somebody said My Little Pony. No, no, no. This is Skyrim. And this is unmodded Skyrim. And that thief over there. Damn you, Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came. Good job, Doug. I hope my two hours and thirty minute coding derailment was worth it. <laughs> Good luck and I Are you hope the one who suggested it? the cheese and aren't lactose intolerant. You did send us way off course. Although I will admit that the cheese count is very fun. At least Twitran has enough food now, not a very diet though. Oh, another thing that's important to note is that the cheese counter is going to be for all of the cheese that we've ever created, right? Not all of the cheese that's currently loaded into the game. Every Jesus, take cheese the wheel. wheel spawns an NPC every second. <laughs> Borg, Borg, thank you for the five gifted subs. That's a funny and very stupid idea. Um, so the the cheese count will ho I, we should be able to get into like the tens of thousands because it'll only be loading like five thousand at a time. Balls in chat. Why is that? Love you. Because we've established a new policy. Thank you, Bork Bork, for the five gifted. We've established a new policy that if you make a D's Nuts joke, you get banned for one million seconds. Hopefully you can cheese the intro sequence before the game crashes. Eh? Yeah. Um, because that way, if you're going to make the effort to make a crappy D's Nuts joke, you have to fall on your own sword for it. That way it's way funnier. Don't worry, boys bought some Twitch viewer bots to keep the numbers high. Please help me. What if it was a godly joke? No. Hey, all must Doug, die. When are you moving to Texas to become a beef farmer? I bet they had something to do with this. I'm waiting for it. Farm bees nuts in your mouth. Got him. Get him, mods! Get him! There are no gods. There are storm cloaks, nor an empire. There is no life or death now. There is only the cheese. Your watch has ended. They're not some sort of. Martyr, okay. <laughs> a hero and a martyr. <laughs> I think it will be fine because rigid bodies sleep once static. Memory may be an issue. Not sure if they ever fixed their memory limits. I don't think Skyrim has recently fixed the memory limits. Maybe. I, it, dude, we did We did handle 8,000 cheese Doug, wheels. This stream has inducted you into the official sort of good programmer title. Our creed is we do things not because they are easy, but because we thought they were gonna be easy. Someone make a someone made a cheese nuts do joke. Do we ban? 
First yeah. time catching a live stream. Sorry. Looks like I got a good one. Keep it up and thanks. Thanks, secondary. I would describe this as maybe the worst stream of all time, but people seem to be enjoying themselves. Rest well, my warriors. Witness the people of Skyrim as they ascend to Godhood, riding to the skies on wheels of cheese. You, our brethren will uh, will sing songs your PC. All right, please. in the halls of Valhalla. Valhalla, my nuts in their mouth. I bet my PC will be okay. Get him! Always meant to be. <laughs> so true, dude. Uh, okay. Doug, you need to eat the cheese. It is the only way out of this scenario. <laughs> I guess if I eat enough cheese while the mod is happening, then I can offset how quickly it all crashes. Crashed plus locked plus L plus ratio. Bad time to come home to sky. All right, once I get control of the character, that Maybe is when start with a cheese we start every two seconds. No, 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 no. They killed Lo Lokir of Rorkstead. I did love Lokir of Rorkstead. This is sure, what we happens can do. when you get distracted with Cheese Tower counting instead of going to get executed. Okay, the question is, do I meet the Dark Brotherhood before the game crashes or soft locks? This means I meet Astrid. If you hey, don't Doug, know what that means, then don't thank bet. thank you for making your content. It's always great for a good laugh. Hey, Kinda you're welcome. need it after wrapping up my academic year. You're welcome, Asmo. Anyway, divorce for the gigantic beef dad. Got him. Thanks, man. Hey, Doug. What do you think about No Man's Sky? I know the launch was heavily misleading, but they've been releasing free updates since then, and now it's even better than the launch promised. Uh, I tried it. I thought it was neat, but it didn't really keep my attention. Very pretty, very fun to look at. Um, I bet if I smoked a lot of weed, I would really enjoy it. But I don't. <laughs> so, I, I need games with a little more structure. As you might have noticed, I am a little bit goal-oriented. I need to, like, chase after a thing. And all I want to do is chase after stuff. Um, yo, Juve, thank you so much for the raid, man. Um, I don't know what your name is. Yo, can we get uh, a pog in chat for the Juvelets? The Juvelings? What are you? The, the, the Juve holes? All right, I know you guys were playing. Yeah, that works. All right. Um, Jew Nation. Sorry, <laughs> Jew Nation. Um, welcome to what is certainly to be a good, a good uh, Skyrim, probably. You're just in time, because after three hours, uh, we got a variable working. And the variable is that it counts the number of cheese wheels. So we are three hours into the stream, but the challenge is going to start in like 10 seconds. So you're actually here at the perfect time. The challenge is, we're going to beat the whole, try to, beat the whole Dark Brotherhood, but every NPC is going to spawn an M uh, a, a cheese wheel every second. And the question is, does this work? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Uh, okay. Hey, Dougie, what if you collect and eat the cheese as you see it? Reduce the cheese by snacking continuously. I will try. It's been 30 minutes. What's the viewership at right now? I'm not looking. Well, hold- no, Juve raided. That's hey, cheating. Hey, Woogly, who do you hate more poor people or obsidian employees? Okay, all right. Shit, it's higher. Hold on, hold on. Are we counting starting from now, though? Because right now is kind of when the game is starting, eh? How awful Skyrim modding is why Bethesda has just been releasing the same game over and over the last 10 years. <sighs> I guess I did start the game. Wait, is there, have I really been playing the game for 30 minutes? I'm when Doug, I stopped coding. You're crippling my bank account. Okay, fine. That's fair. Anyways, got to get back to believing. Uh, per my promise, I will give 10 subs because viewership did not go down after coding. I promise that I, 
as the single monolithic representative of Obsidian in this chat who clearly speaks for the entire company, is prepared to say that Jesus, we're okay with people having opinions. <gasps> Thank you, me, for the 10 gifted the subs. Game Very crashed. cool. I want a refund, Doug. That is... Not how refunds work. Okay. You said 30 gifted. No, I said 10, and then I said 30 later because I mixed up my brain because it's I'm a stupid, dumb idiot. Hey, Doug. I was gonna make a silly joke with this, but damn. For the love of Jesus, play Fallout Juve, New Vegas. Juve, back me up. Fallout games suck ass, right? And they're not worth playing. Uh, nobody likes them, and they're not good, and we should only play Skyrim for the rest of the time, right? Juve, back me up here. <laughs> no, I just don't... I don't... I don't like Fallout that much because it makes me feel bad because I don't like post-apocalyptic settings and I don't really like FPSs that much. And But I like Skyrim because I like mountains and cold stuff. You know what I mean? Fallout New Vegas is a good one. I should try it at some point. Um, I will put it on my long list of things to do eventually that I never get to and it'll be on the list for the next five years. That is my offer to you. Like the D&D stream. No, the D&D stream will happen eventually, probably. All right, uh, here we go. We're getting into it. Once I have control hey, is when this, this starts. This is my first time checking out your stream. Just got done firing Welcome. for divorce. My wife left me due to my crippling fear of dairy. Anyways, what are we doing? Okay, the speed run starts in three, two, one, now! Let me save. And quit. I gotta turn on the mod. This is the worst fucking stream. <laughs> All right, here we go. I guess I should probably restart the timer. I think I will easily be able to get to the Dark Brotherhood. And go. I can't move. What? Huh? Hello? What? What is it? What? Come on, man! The fuck? Do we really have to rewatch the whole in dude? Come on, man! Why? When it, this has never happened. Why? Why is it just frozen here? Look, I can't look. Nothing is working. It's just completely frozen. Save and load. I mean, nope. It's totally broken. I mean, I could no clip. I guess. I don't think that'll. No, I can't. I can't move. Um. Okay, cool. We get to rewatch from here. Very exciting. <laughs> uh. Oh no, the, the the mod is on. Now I have to. Oh god damn it! All right, no, I'm not giving that to the doubters. That's that's not the mod crashing or anything. That's just Skyrim having a random unrelated bug. I'm not paying for that. I mean, that has not happened to me before. Which doesn't mean it's my mod's fault. Cool, we get to watch this again! <laughs> wow, I can't believe Doug hates New Vegas and all of the Fallout games and also poor people and probably America. Sad, Doug. Rigged but fair. It's a vanilla bug. It's not rigged, the game didn't crash. Um, geez to meet you. Thank you. Look, I'm a hot-blooded, God-fearing American, alright? 
This is why it hurts my my patriotic soul to look at post-apocalyptic America. Would love to see you try similar mods in Fallout 4. See if newer creation kit is worse or better. Fallout 4 is the same creation kit. So I would actually be able to create mods quite easily because I already know how it would work. Um, Fallout 4 was basically the exact same Don't modding. In yourself and you can be in this cheese run. Uh, the jump from Fallout 4 up to Starfield is where the giant, because it's been like 10 years or something between between those two, or 8 or something crazy. Um, that Doug, That's going to be the big my change. My wife left me for someone who was able to stack on 19 cheeses. Now I got PTSD from the stream. Fallout 4 is not the same creation kit. It's very, very, very similar. All the code's the same, all the... I mean, extremely hey Doug, similar. Where is the best cheese made and why is it Wisconsin? I don't know. Idaho, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I'm glad you're finally playing, but coding was starting to drag on. I haven't been to Wisconsin because there's no reason to do that if you grew up in California. Was debating playing Skyrim Let me and, rephrase that. and lost all hope of matching any streams in Skyrim. There's no reason to go to Wisconsin if you weren't born in Wisconsin. Actually, let me rephrase that. There's no reason to go to Wisconsin. So no, I haven't had their cheese. Jesus fuck my mother is absolutely wild. One minute she doing the dishes and the next she's fingering the president and throwing her shit at the Chinese. What, man? When are you going to collab with Jim again? Okay, it's working. Save. We have a save file that is working. This is my first time catching a programming stream. Why are we playing Skyrim now? <laughs> I'm telling you, viewership is going to drop once we start playing Skyrim. People are only here for the code. Now we restart the game. And we put, turn on Speaking the dog of cheese, mod. We actually made some from milk in my bio class today. Milk these nuts. Oh, take okay, them but take we them actually did make cheese. Doesn't I matter. You're still banned. Punishment. Okay, you're still banned for uh, a thousand I'm a million, God. whatever. I call myself Diablo the Cheater. As far as I know, I'm the only person who writes a list of cheating cheats using ChatGPT and uses it in game. Take three. It's frozen. Dude, what? Why is my mod not letting me walk? What is happening? Huh? I'm not paying for this. Uh, even if it's my mod causing it, I, I don't care. Um, I, I how do I, this is weird. This has never happened with any mod I've done. Um, try enable player controls. Okay, there we go. Should be good. Ugh. I'm not salty, I just want to tone down the amount of people screaming about every single thing with the predictions. People are got, getting a little too frothy with the predictions. Alright. This, we should just be good. I'm not sure why it did that. Um... I don't know, that's never happened to me before. So something with the initialization of the mod, but I didn't change anything with the mod initialization. So I have no clue what was causing that. Now the real question is, does everything work correctly from here on out? Um, assuming the gameplay gets started and uh, works correctly, then we're good. The spirit of the prediction is about does the cheese crash stuff? Not if Skyrim and has some sort of general modding problem. With that being said, ready, set, 
Go! Okay. Cheeses are coming in. Rayloff, please move. So I think this whole area should be fairly safe. Because it's spread out enough. Heal? Oh, wait. I just need to pick up cheese. Oh, that's a good cheese tower right there. Wait, that might beat the record. Oh, come on. That's weak. Weak shit. Okay, the cheese for healing is actually going to be huge. I think I should be picking up cheese as often as possible. Oh, that's a big one! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I think that was tied for record. <laughs> I love cheese just falling off of the rafters. Oh, Alduin is spawning cheese too. That's why some are dropping from the sky. <laughs> you can see him. He's just like taking a dump on everybody as he flies over. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I need to save frequently. Remind me to save frequently. He's dropping cheese meteors. Cheesiers! Cheesiters? Okay, Halgen Keep is probably going to be a little bit harder. Oh, that could be a record. The, the, the problem is that there's very small rooms. That could be record. Hold on, what's the count on that? Holy shit, Rayloff, you're doing it! Whoa! What was the count on that? Somebody clip that, that was a new record! That was 17? Holy shit, dude, Pog! This whole area might be scary because if it, like a whole tunnel is filled with cheese, I don't know if we can get through it. Rayloff, can you open the door? <laughs> if he ever starts to talk to me, he just starts like flying away. Do you get to the dog district? Very Drew, thank you again, man. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Or oh, I should have been a cat. That was dumb of me. My Wait, this could, joke oh, got dude, you had it. To cheese, can I still get Scott? Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna just take all the. Oh, sorry, dude. I'm gonna take you on your tower. Wait, let me just kind of get down and. What's my crouch button? Welcome all right, let me just get down in here. Cheese. Let me dig around for some of your cheese. <laughs> yeah, just deliver it right to me, Rayloff. I'm ready. I'm ready to receive, Rayloff. You can take care of the enemies. Just. Hey, don't keep do delivering. Like Wendy's? When these nuts hit your chin bottom. Take him out, mods. All right, cool. Thanks, Rayloff. How are we already at 1,400 cheeses? Doug, please let me out. Dude, Don't fuck! my fucking eyes and let me out in the garden as Wait. a truck because I couldn't see to run away. Okay, hold on. The fact that there are 1,500 cheese wheels already means that all of the NPCs have been spawning. They must be loaded in. All right, we gotta go quick. I'm leaving Rayloff. We have to move way faster. Oh, no, that just includes all the ones that have been spawned already. No, 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 it's actually fine. Wait, are you guys even? Okay. No, never mind. We're okay, okay. Yeah, okay, there's going to be some cheeses. Remember, the count is the total number of cheeses that have been spawned into Skyrim in general. Okay, this area. Let me just eat some of these. Because unless somebody's loaded in, they're not going to spawn cheeses. But you guys are loaded. Ow. Dude, he's blocking with the path. Actually, here, let me let me get down behind you. One sec. Let me dig out in there for some from some delivery. Alright, cool. Thank you. Wait, can I grab that? Yeah, thanks. Ow. Okay, I need to eat cheese. So I'll pick up as much cheese as I can, not only for food, like for my health, but also to help delay the time of it crashing. We're at 2,000 cheese wheels. No, no, I'll save at the end of the zone. I just mean in general. <laughs> A 
Let me out, let me out, let me out. I'll do it like when I escape a dungeon or whatever. Okay, actually going pretty smooth now. Don Don the algae. What about one cheese wheel in all of Skyrim? And you have to find it. Also, if you oh, don't right, do you guys this, are Spider-Man. I will shamingly curl into a ball and cry. Hey Doug, love the stream. Each one really brightens my day. Have you ever considered doing Terraria related challenges slash runs? Just uh, curious. Ah, uh, maybe. Wait, shh. The bear is sleeping. Be quiet. Wait, he could get the record. Oh, I woke him up. Fuck! Sorry, bear. Well, let's cheese it. Dude, the bear literally would have gotten the record. Reload it? I can't. We're in a speed run. That was 20? Wait, that was 19? People are saying the bear got 20. Dude, does bear have record? People are saying no way that was 20. Okay. There's a big fight breaking out in chat. This, hold on. Does Bear have record? 1920 when it collapsed. Hold on. Are we counting it when it collapses? If, is, if it, does it count when it's still collapsing? The cheese tower is by far the thing I'm most interested in in this entire run. I think it's like while it's collapsing until, let's say while the line is straight. If the line breaks... That's when the count's done, right? I think that makes sense. It has to be... So even if it's falling, but it maintains its structure, right? That's good. What have you been doing this whole time? Oh, there was so much cool stuff happening this stream. You missed a lot. Oh, so it's 19. Okay. No way to know if anyone Bear currently has the... T uh, wait, what is it? Yeah, Bear currently has the Cheese Tower record at 19. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> I forget. Runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd Windhelm? Do I go to Windhelm first? It's probably best if we split up. Or do I go to Riften first? Do I have to go to Windhelm first? Yeah, there's orphans. We gotta go. Alright, so... You have to talk to the kid first? Can't you just go and kill Grelud first? Do you, I don't, do you have to talk to the kid? I guess I can just go. I'll go to White Run. I'll just go to both. You don't need to talk to the kid. I don't think you need to talk to the kid. Okay, cool. Alright, first up, we're going to Riften to kill some old lady. She's new. I mean, she's new. I meant you still to have say to talk she's to in. I'm trying so hard yeah, but after. not to say it. Oh, I guess the order doesn't matter. Got it. Because... Okay, okay. When the VOD drops... Can I put that the game starts at 4.44 and 44 seconds to confuse people? Yeah, dude. Whatever your heart desires. You have to talk to the kid. Okay. Cool. I'll go kill Grelid first. Hey, Dodo. John Obsidian here. Fuck you for having opinions. Pick a side. The employee who said it's okay to have opinions was taken out backhand. Let's say. Fired. I... Why would you kick the... It's so unnecessary. Cheese wheels, you can bind cheese wheels to a number in the favorite menu. You can then both pick up cheese and eat it without manually. That's a good call really to get to catch your streams. The favorite. Appreciate it. you. Anyways, look out for the hey, dragon how do you slash dragon D's nuts on your face. Got him. Get him mods. How do you how do you set it to a number? I don't know. Doug Lightroff died. Oh, roll off, roll off is fine. What are you talking about? Oh, right. I forgot there's Sonic. Wait, what's Sonic's table tower look, or cheese tower look like? Perhaps it would be easier to mod Skyrim into a cheese-based counting game. Go. 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 Go, man. Go. Oh, no. That was weak. You're weak, Sonic. Oh, wait, the chicken could have the highest. No, the chicken kind of sucks. Wait, that, that one's looking good. The children. The children. Oh. Crashing. Not because I think your mod will break it. Dog? I just don't think Skyrim is capable of running properly. It wasn't me, honest. <gasps> oh, he's using his old he's using his old cheese tower. Does that count? Hey, Doug. That's all. Just wanted to say, hey. Dude, this kid is nuts. That's not fair, man. 
Where I come from, kids get turned into Gouda soup if they cheat on the cheese reels. All right. Hey, Doug. Thanks Let's again move. for helping me get the job at the daycare yesterday. Oh, I can just get arrested. Still can't believe how great your reference was. Anyway, hey, you're the welcome. kids are loving the stream so far. Can you just keep them company while I take my smoke break? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Okay, we'll save out here though. Okay, I was not. I did not hit that kid just for the fun of it. It's so that I can get. Wait, he is actually setting the record. Holy shit! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, was that record? That was nuts. It was 18. Oh, close. Wait, aren't there- are there no guards here? Oh, okay. I gotta run. Never mind. Okay. Come on, chicken. You can do better. You can beat six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my god, chicken can go all the way. Go, man. Go, go, go. How many sets? Ah. Oh! Fuck, dude. Cheese Tower is so much more hype than the actual game. Fourteen for a chicken is really good, though. Damn it, now we're back to the boring part of just playing Skyrim. <laughs> hey Doug, thanks for prepping for this stream. We really appreciate the work you put in on and off stream. Would really hate to watch 2.5 hours of coding and 30 minutes of the <laughs> intro to Skyrim. To be fair to me, I Again. made the actual mod off stream. I did do that work. The rabbit just looks like it's taking a dump as it runs around. I did learn how to make Skyrim mods off stream. What is going on here? Oh, there's a wolf. <laughs> Why? This just... feels unnecessary. Okay, during our Skyrim adventure, we have gotten a total of 7,057 cheeses into the game. Doug, how dare you? I am in Wisconsin. Who am I kidding? It's us here. <laughs> Crashed at 8k last time. So an important thing to remember, we're at 7,300. Do you think could carry all of the cheeses spawned? Backslash lid these nuts. It's important to remember that the cheese count is going to be all the cheese that we've spawned at any point throughout the challenge. Not necessarily everything that's currently loaded in. So... Some of the, like, the Helgen Keep zone, that's not loaded right now, and so it shouldn't be having to calculate that cheese, I think. All right, let's get arrested. We go, we warp to the jail in Whiterun. And then I can run to the carriage driver who is right next to where I was. That was stupid. Guys, I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional gamer. Um, Okay. So the cities are what I'm a little concerned about, because this is just going to be building up a lot of cheese real fast. You literally look like you were taking a shit in the park. <laughs> You've got to move, man. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is all fine right now. Oh, we're past 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't know if we need to increase the amount every 10 minutes, dude. What about every 20? Let's do every 20. I'm a little concerned about... Oh, dude, you're crushing it right now. Hold on. Ah. Oh. Okay, I had said... I had said we would increase the amount of cheeses spawned every 10 minutes. That feels too aggressive to me. I think 20 is good. So after 20 minutes, it goes to two cheese wheels every second. That does mean I lied to the doubters, but... I think 20's fair. Let's see if I even get there first. Alright. Go. 
Okay, now we find the carriage driver. We take that to Riften. Dog Dog I have the idea. One cheese wheel in all of Skyrim. You have to find it through an expansive adventure with us. You have no true choice, for cheese is at stake. L0L. We go to My Riften. Wife said she would leave me if I make another video game reference. What a stupid thing to fall out for. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Hello? Where do you want to go? Drifton, please. I don't do charity. No oh, gold, damn it. No rides. I thought I had money. Good day. Uh. <laughs> All right. How do I make money? Do you sell stuff? Okay, he doesn't buy cheese. Who does anybody here buy cheese? Okay, we'll take all the we'll take all the No 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 I didn't mean no 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 I'm not trying to steal it. I'm not trying to steal it. No, dude, I'm sorry, man. Looking to shatter records or bones. No no no, I'm trying ah oh, shit, I'm trying to get the cheese, man. I am not trying to steal Pinkie Pie. Or Apple Bottom or whatever this guy's name is. How much money do I have? Zero. Where the fuck? <sighs> We're almost at the full carry weight because how much cheese I have. Applejack. Oh, sorry. Um, who bought? Who buys cheese? What the fuck, guys? Are we not cool? Jesus Christ! All right, hold on. Okay, this is all part of the speedrun strat. Congratulations, Doug. You did it, you're incredible, Doug I wanna be. Wow. Like you, you're an amazing gamer and person. He's so cool, he's the best oh, gamer. Oh shit, I got, okay, I gotta eat some cheese. Wow. I can't run. Wow. Okay, Maybe I, it's just a bad save. I assume this is reference to it crashing. All right, I gotta find somebody to sell cheese to. Ow. Okay, do you buy cheese? What have we got for sale? Fallout New Vegas is the one Fallout game made by Obsidian Entertainment. <gasps> it's also the best How many? game All of them. to the Bethesda name. Obsidian games are godly. Okay, cool. She got a super good deal on my cheese. This is the first time someone cheesing things in Skyrim actually results in a slower time than most normal speedruns. Look, this speedrun is gonna be good. Look at how fast I'm moving. Man, is it just me? Or is this gameplay kinda cheesy? No, it's epic and pog. You sold 370 cheese for 70 gold. L whatever, dude. I have more where that came cheese, from. Cheese, dragon, so many relevant words for these news joke. Must resist the temptation. Don't do it. Okay. Bro, bro, take me to win home. How do I go po or po upside down or right side of my adder is sour help I've sent these bits upside down. What? Alright cool, to off to Riften. Sure to We're gonna go kill a woman. Hi Doug, this is actually the first stream I've watched on my computer. I can't wait to start watching more, so please acknowledge okay. me and fill me with dopamine. Before I let you into Riften, I wanna fill you with something. It's cheese. For the privilege of entering... Hey chat, this is the part of the stream where a random TTS message asks random people to use their prime sub because we like to try to break his stream with free money. But, chat, you can break his stream with real money too. Let's get TTS backed up, Pog. No, don't do that. Um... Alright, 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 alright. Right. I, I think we need to hurry in Riften because there are a lot of NPCs. I feel like this has actual danger of crashing if we hang out here too long. Where are the children? Children. Boom. These children are gonna have enough cheese to eat for months after I kill their grandma. Oh my god! Okay. You're welcome, kids! Jesus, take the wheel. 
Okay. I'll hang out here so you can have food for the winter. <laughs> then I'm gonna head out. Oh shit, you might get the record! That's looking good, dude! Go, 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 go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, close, close, close. Oh! Oh shit. He's fist pumping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Hey, fells. These kids suck at cheese towering. I remember back in high school, all the kids used to cheese tower behind the bathroom in between classes. When Aventus took off, when he said those things, five, killing Grilla, six, and seven, seven. All right, let's bail. Later, kids. Okay, 20 minutes are up. So here's what we do. We open up the mod, we change the... spawn time from 1 second to 0.5 seconds. Make it 0.25. No, no, no. So this is double, right? It's now... Uh, right, well, I'm going to add one more cheese every second. Every 20 minutes. So now that it's 0.5, it's two cheeses a second. I feel like this is fairly, fairly straightforward, right? So next time we'll bump it to 0.33. And then 0.25. But that's a float. That's fine. Floats are fine. This is different. This is registering for a single update. You're basically... On update is basically a function that it happens, and then you can say, run this whole thing again in this amount of time. And so this is just... It loops. But at it loops at an interval that I want it to, which is 0.5 seconds. All right, cool. I need to save. We quit out. Hey Doug, I heard you were a composer. I'm working on my composition homework. In the key of G major. What is the secondary dominant of four? Four? Uh, F sharp. Just play C and F sharp at the same time really loud repeatedly and your teacher will love it. Hey, Doug, do you like the New York Yankees? Okay. So it's updated. Actually, let's check with on let's check on the kids. Yank on these nuts. Got him. Hot diggity dug on the roll. Three okay. in a row. Okay, so it should be two cheeses a second now. I can't really tell. Can anybody, there's too much cheese here already. Are they having nightmares about cheese? These kids are asleep. Why are they screaming? I think they're, I think them producing this much cheese is uncomfortable. Mercy. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, you're dead. You're fine. Okay. I think it's fine. I cannot test you. Oh, it was the woman. It wasn't the kids. Okay, Jesus. I, I just want to look at a person and make sure it's spawning twice as fast. Thieves guild used to run this city. This still feels like it's one now second. Nothing but one, two, three. It's definitely faster, really? You think so? It feels like two a second. Okay, maybe I'm just bad at time. One, two. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think you're right. I think it is fine. I think I'm just dumb. Um, which is very out of character for me. Normally, I'm a really smart. It still feels like every second, dude. That doesn't feel that many. It's the same? I do. I don't know. 
It seems like it's one per second. I mean, let me make sure I have my code updated. Because I tested this before, and you can do like 0.1 and it works. Did I, did I build it? Does anybody know if I built it? Did I do this down here? Did this update? Maybe I didn't build. Look at the timer. Oh yeah, that's probably a smart way to do it. If I didn't build, that would explain it. Otherwise, uh, maybe we get to have another fun debug session. Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> it definitely, it can update a lot more. That dude is having a horrific diarrhea. He's like floating, <laughs> it's like a hovercraft. So that's what we're gonna get to <laughs> if we don't beat it quickly. I think I just didn't build for 0.5. Okay. You did. I did? Well then, I don't know why it's not increasing more. That's a perfect speed. That's not a that's not what I would call a perfect speed. Uh wait. What was the save I did? Uh where is a human? No lollygagging. That, that feels like the right amount of time. That's definitely faster. I think I didn't build it the first time, right? I just didn't compile. Yeah. Okay. Now we're good. Now we're good. All right. We back in, and then we load. Uh, let me boot up some gosh darn Skyrim. Hey, Doug. Have you ever played Jedi Fallen Order? Nope. All right. Ready? Go. So now it should be two cheese wheels every second. This is the first stream, so this is the third message I sent trying to figure out the TTS and Twitch on how to do things with my big, small, smooth brain. Don't listen to them, Doug. That bear bears the record of 20 straight cheese in a row. Wait. God damn it, I just realized something. Ah. I don't know how Skyrim works. I don't know if it'll override... As representative of the Cheese Tower World League Rules Council, I can confirm that in standard rules, the tower counts until it actually breaks. But that's what we're saying, right? I think these people are one a second. Oh, okay, so here's what's going on. When I have the mod, it's going to apply the script to the people around me, right? It's faster, you think so? I think it's still stuck on the old version of the script. So the old, like, anybody who already got the script applied to them that that spawns the cheese, I think they're on the old one. And then I would have to check with the timer. Okay, well, I can't look at both simultaneously. You guys check. Is she faster? One, two. Stop, please, just stop running for one second. Let me box you in. Oh, she is faster. Okay, cool, we're good. Yeah, no, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, that was a quick test. Mercy. Okay. These kids will definitely have enough food for winter. Or maybe not. Why don't we give it a couple more minutes? Does this mean we can now change your gifted sub sound to cheeses take the wheels? Um Oh, that's a good idea. Look, here's the thing. The orphanage is its own loaded zone. So it doesn't really matter how much cheese we put in here. In the backyard, some cheese. Because I have no we intention of coming back ducks. ever. So we can like really let the kids store up cheese for the winter and then come back later and hang out. <laughs> no more. I yield. I yield. You're gonna have a little more cheese. Come on. You're gonna be fine. No in order to set the cheese count, you can use set dug underscore cheese count to zero in the console. Chat only cares about the predictions, but Doug is enamored with the NPCs getting the cheese stairs to heaven. Doug Doug stream, the only place where I can joke about divorce and hear a man say that 14 cheese wheels is great for a chicken and it makes sense. I feel like I'm burying them alive and they're fighting to escape. 
to buy in cheese wheels. I was trying remember, to like do a nice gift for the children. In inventory. Back out and press Q, then press one while over cheese. Guys, back me up. This is a nice thing to do for the orphans, right? I'm trying to be a good guy here. <laughs> You should play Fallout New Vegas. It's both open world and has cheese towers. I promise. They're not being suffocated. There's air holes. <laughs> um, here, let me get, let me get the woman. Hey, Doug. If you lose, will you eat a quarter pound of cheeseburger from McDonald's in the Princess Bunny Museum costume? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. How many, how many cheese wheels do we have in here? You think? When the game starts to lag a little bit, I'll, I'll head out. I just want to make sure the that they're set for winter. And nuts, it's going to be cold. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Your legacy will live on and your smell will linger in that chat for all eternity. God bless you and your spirit. Ooh, what, dude, you need to calm down. It's okay. I'm giving hey, Doug, you a, a Christmas gift. D &D stream? Are we going to fight a dragon? Backslash dragon D&D's nuts across your face. Got him. Get a mod. Slash also, can we get a dice roll? Sure. While we're waiting for this, we'll get one dice roll. If this is, if hey Doug, this dice YouTube roll has been shoveling me your content 15 recently, or above, so I was curious about we your leave. Twitch. My first stream was the Beef Dad stream. <laughs> Thanks, Needless Ultimate. to say, I am sold. All hail the flesh father. All right. 15 or above, and we leave. You failed. Okay, these kids are getting a lot more cheese. He hates believers. It looks like some sort of organism. Stay by the door. Okay, it's starting to get a little chunky. Once we get up to, um, looks like we're at 19,000 cheese wheels. Once we get up to 20 grand, we'll leave. I just am trying to take care of these keys. This is a good advertisement for Intel. And remember, you too can spawn 5,000 cheese wheels into an orphanage with the new Intel 2900 or whatever the, I have. I have bad news, believers. <laughs> um. I thought it would start, like, lagging before it crashed. Okay. That's a crash. Ah, oh, doubters win. It was lagging quite a bit. I thought I feel like it was fine. I might have been distracted by like the the cheese mound and wasn't really paying attention to the rest of the game. All right, fine. Save. Hold on. Leave here. Leave us alone. Oh, this is before I gave them You're all the cheese. Failed. All right, let's continue. All right, I'm rough. Goodbye, kids. We go back to the carriage, and we take a ride to Windhelm. I'm going to pick up some cheese. OK, 
carriage driver. Wait, do I have enough money? Where do you want to go? Windhelm. All right, cool. All right, we're at 13,600 cheese wheels. Oh. Okay, we're at Windhelm. We go talk to the kid. We let her know. We let him know we killed the lady, and then that should start the quest. Uh, no, I'm hey, not going to do another prediction. Body, dang, 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 diggy, diggy. I really appreciate the respect you give to the art of cheese stacking. Unless there's a prediction that has nothing to do with how I'm playing. Wait. Hold up. Apple bottom that is cheese, looking good. Boots oh, with the that wasn't record, was it? Uh, unless you have a, some suggestion for a prediction that has nothing to do with how much I'm playing. Because it's really fucking annoying for you guys to, like, freak out at everything I do, so... Whereas, like, if I'm just playing a game, like, that's cool, but we need you to all the predictions to are too... Talk about the code for this challenge, today. it's too intertwined with what I'm doing. On what's going on. Does somebody get a cheese tower of 20? <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> that's stupid. Yeah, okay. Is it a good deal when there's free cheese all over the place? <laughs> You should instead have sold to cheese nuts. Got him. Uh, uh, take him out back mods. Okay, wait, what are we saying? Like, does anyone beat the 19, uh, the 19 record on cheese tower? For a joke. You guys do realize this How is going to cause... How on these nuts? Got him. Remember me, Zed crew. Get him mods. You guys do realize this is going to cause even more f fighting amongst everybody, because we're going to have to, like, analyze the footage if anybody actually beats a 19 cheese tower. This is going to be more contentious. This is a terrible idea. Get your bets in. Will anybody beat 19? You have to have 20 cheese wheels in a contiguous tower that has no breaks. But this fighting is a lot funnier to me, so I'm okay with it. Burgermeister, thank you for the 12 months, man. Appreciate it. Just have people send clips. Doug, have you visited Jarl Galon in this speedrun yet? Gargle on these testicles, got him. You didn't even say gargle. That's the word. Ban take him out back, mods. Um, fighting is fun. Yeah, I just want less oh, fighting shit, that's about the first what I'm doing specifically. Now you're going to get my second message slash show. Wait, now I'm sending a third. What am I doing? Uh, you guys really need to learn how the slashes work. The alerts seem to be very far behind, by the way, so I would not recommend giving me money. Dude, the more cheese goes into the economy, the less it's worth. You are literally gonna crash the Skyrim economy with cheese. I hope you're happy. As long as I sell the cheese before people realize how much money, how much hey cheese Douglas, money I've been printing, Douglas. then My name I can is scam them. Bang. What's your name? I'm excited to see so many believers in the chat. Love you. You're asking what my bye name bye. is. Your, your, your message was, hey Doug, what is your name? Alright. I will, regarding this, I'm not just going to sit around looking at people, but if I see somebody who has a decent looking cheese tower, I will follow it through, and we'll see if anybody beats the record. Um, I'm sure people will complain about this too, but whatever. Okay. Why? Why does it do that? Okay, we're into the city. We go up here. This should be safe. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Because we only have to be in Windhelm for a really short period of time. Yo. Oh, wait, wait. No, he's in here, right? Wait, I have to break in? Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. Yo, child! Where you at? Children! That looks bad. Oh! <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, you got so close, dude. All right, yo, I helped you. I killed a person. I knew you'd come. I just knew it. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Yep, 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 yep. Contract. Yep, yep. All right, cool. So now I just need to sleep, right? And they'll come arrest me. Talk, wait, I have to talk to the kid more? I don't think I have to. You need a note. Oh, okay.
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats on the twins, Doug. I saw your Facebook post. Adorable. They both have your eyes. Thank you. Might be talking to the wrong person, but thank you. Okay, now I go sleep Hi, Doug. somewhere. Finally checking out a stream after binging through VODs. It appears the Leaning Towers of Chise in the intro were too much for your CPU to handle. Which is really weird. I have the newest uh, Intel 80 Blob 100. Point two five is a root bear float. Understood. Bog. There's actually a lot of cheese in Windhelm. This is a little scary. I'm gonna go into the inn. Do I have to come back to this place ever? For the Dark Brotherhood? I, knew I was looking up the wrong game online. Yo! Thank you for correcting me that it is Cheese Tower, not Pizza Tower. I'd like to run a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Can you hurry, please? This is my first time watching the stream. I'm gonna say I wanted to say hello to all the chatters and tell you that you are beautiful people. Love, a YouTube simpleton. PS down with Zed Crew. Uh, I'm good. I'm I get to be in here. Thank you very hey, much. Doug, oh, glad oh. I could catch the stream while on vacation. Oh, she's stuck. Hello from the West Indies. Yo, what up? West Indies nuts. Get him. Get him. Okay, thank you very much. I would like to go to bed now. Goodbye. Extra challenge. Become a vampire so you can be the real Count Cheese himself. We sleep. And now... Nothing happens. Do I sleep more? Hi, Doug. Back at the daycare after my smoke break. Quick question. Yeah, why sleep are 24 all the hours. kids crying? And why is there cheese and blood everywhere? <laughs> What's Look, happened? Uh, that was part of our uh, orphan festival. They love it. I have to sleep have for three ever days? Have cheese-induced night terrors? There are special cheeses that if you eat a lot of it before sleeping, okay. your dreams will be vivid horrors of the unimaginable. You need the note. Okay. Note from the guy, but not in Windhelm? Hey, Doug. Uh-oh, it's not just loading. Just got here. What's going on? Are these people lactose intolerant? Dude, is it already unable to load the city? <laughs> um, Doug, at the end of this, can we please go to the most crowded place and set the timer back to 0 0.1 seconds, please, please, please? You say end of this as though we will be completing the whole challenge. I, the question is still, is this possible? Not hey, really. Doug, how what long do you will think it take? About the show, the Flash with Barry Allen in it. Um. Barry D's nuts in your mouth. Got him. Hot diggity duke. Four in a row. Get him, mods. Uh. Okay. Have you found the issue with the TTS yet? It's an intriguing issue. Maybe if I reload the file, it'll be good this time. Hey Doug, didn't see you there. Just passing by and thought you might have wanted thoughts for your brain. Think fun, think cheese. Okay, hey, okay, all right, I it works. It works. Remember 32nd and 5th Street. So this is just gonna. Be, okay, the cities are just gonna be a, a a gamble every time. Cool. Are you drowning orphans with cheese? No, oh, feeding, feeding. Okay, we just leave here, right? We go somewhere else? Go back to White Run. Cheese is Doug. Leave them alone. They yield. Slash, just kidding. You're doing great, honey. What the fuck? There should be a courier, right? Where do I get the courier? You need to, you need to sleep for three days. I can just go to Falkreath, I guess. The free pepper you sent with the U2s was terrible in my omelette. My wife is divorcing me because of it. Need a ride? He will find you. Just walk around. Right. He can take three days to appear. So I should go back to the save and take a nap. I should go take Give a sleepy nap. Paycheck. Uh oh, I already lost it. I should go take a sleepy nap and then... Right? Yo, Linny, thank you so much for the 264 person raid. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you had a good raid. Good stream <laughs> and good raid. Hey, you don't need the note. You. I have the note. Thanks for all. Oh, the just cheese. wait. Yeah, yeah. Is good it call. a bad time to mention him lactose intolerant? We are doing a challenge where every single 
Second, every NPC will spawn two wheels of cheese, including the horses. Both the, the question is, can you beat the Dark Brotherhood? Power. We are now at 20,000 wheels of cheese uh, spawned into this game in various places. Where is the courier? I am trying to start the Dark Brotherhood quest. Where the fuck is the courier, dude? You need a bed. I don't... Do I? So the limit is 742,000 pounds of cheese before it crashes. Well, dude, is the, the, where's the courier? You got the note. I got the note. Go inside the town. I feel like the town is gonna break, dude. I'm scared of going back into a town. 0 0.1 the orphanage. Cheese. I have the note. Yeah, but I went to sleep and it didn't work. Uh, let's try again. The problem with believing is you're not just betting on the difficulty of the challenge, you're also betting on whether Doug will get distracted trying to murder orphans with cheese. <laughs> this is true. Okay. I'll buy a bed. Uh-oh. I don't have money. Can I sell you cheese? Equals delete. What happened to that? Okay, here. Uh, I'll sell you all of my cheese for 100 gold. Now can I rent a room? No, no, no. I want to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Doug, I'm back from my eight-month break. Had a very rough divorce with my with anyway. Why the hell isn't the title in italics anymore? You better change it okay. back for real. The game is getting a little bit laggy, and she it didn't help me to my room. Where the hell is my room? Hey, Doug, the, okay, the game is getting really laggy. Celebrate 420. Where, where is my? Is it upstairs? <laughs> the room. The game is starting to struggle a lot. Is this where I? Okay, I can sleep here. How long do I sleep? Hey, slug bug. If you really want to spice up oh, the here stream, we go. you should make the code so a wheel spawns every Okay, thing. okay, this is the start of the Dark Brotherhood. Also, TTS delay check. I sent this at 4.56 okay. Pacific. This is the start. We have 22,000 wheels of cheese in Skyrim. Okay, so we start by talking to, like, the three prisoners, right? Half of Skyrim. Oh, but don't misunderstand. But there is a slide. A problem. I'm a little worried about how much cheese is going to be here when I turn around. Alright, I'll kill him. Okay, I was like, I thought I couldn't move. What is she holding? Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> okay. Chat. Who do you want? One, two, or three. Kill them all? You guys are psychopaths. Okay, I missed. I almost died from the cheese. I am going to kill Santa Claus. He gave me cheese for Christmas last year. Astrid, yo. The timid warrior in the sly Kaji. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong, of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. That was a good cheese tower. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. The Dark Brotherhood. It looks like I'm getting an erection made out of cheese. In the pine forest, you'll find the entrance to our city. I actually, I regret saying that. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, I'm joining the Dark Brotherhood, great. When questioned by the black door, answer with the correct passphrase. Silence, my brother. Then you're in. And your new light. I'll see you at home. Okay, we're good. And we're out. Speedrun is going beautifully. We warp back to the stables. It won't let me. It says there's enemies. Huh? Can I go now? It says there's, it says there's enemies.
Look for the cheese. Oh, yeah. Whoever's here will be making... Oh, there it is. There it is. You can see cheese popping out of the water. Come here. <laughs> the worst fish. You guys don't even stay in the water. Where is the... Where's the fish? Are they dead? Okay, they're dead. Now I should be able to go. Okay, Have we take a carriage to Falkreath. With kettles, those things are physics menaces. Oh, that would be funny. Cheese is just too funny to me, though. It's hard to not pick cheese. Let's go to Falkreath. As a representative of the Cheese Tower World League, I think that the Deventus kid should consider going pro. Seventeen at that age is the sign of a prodigy. Okay. We're at Falkreath. We're gonna go to the Dark Brotherhood, but it's been 40 minutes. Have you thought about doing this, but Which means kettles? more cheese. Those things are physics menaces. Oh, sorry, you got... Uh, scammed. <laughs> I have two messages. Cool. So now, every person will spawn three this cheese wheels in a second. Cheesy stream. I don't think we should make more. Look. Um... Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Casper, thank you for the 12 months. Please rewrite the famous... Doug, you modern day Icarus flying on your wings of cheese, but now they have melted and where are you now? Falling into the ocean covered in fondue. Please rewrite the famous man in the arena quote by Teddy Roosevelt. Do you get to the Doug. district very often? Thank you again, Lee. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. But rewritten so it's all about spawning cheese. Hey, Doug. This should After convince all the doubters. Hard work, I have finally achieved my PhDs. This is going to be... A my PhDs in porking your mom ha ha got him. Get him, mods. I'll do my best. Not the critic who counts, not the cheesemaker who points out how the cheese could have been spawned, nor the connoisseur who tastes how the cheese is made. The credit belongs wait, the credit belongs to the cheese spawner, who's actually in the arena, whose hands are dirty with curdled milk, who strives valiantly to spawn cheese, who errs and comes up with a smelly batch, because there's no effort without error and shortcomings, but who actually spawns the cheese, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of cheesy success, and at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those timid souls who know neither victory or defeat. And now you ask me, do we think this is too much cheese? No! No, I do not, sir! We compile the script, and we go back in. Also, we save, and then close. Is this what Wisconsin is like? I've never been, but I probably, yeah. More cheese, no. <laughs> in 20 minutes. I am concerned hey, about the Dark Brotherhood. Tell your mods to like, get me. the hovel that they're in. What, what are they in? What's it called? The hideout? Get them, mods. What's the name of the place that we're going into? Sanctuary. Yeah, I'm not... It will be a sanctuary of death. I, if you were in Wisconsin, you would be able to buy stuff with cheese. You wouldn't need gold. Okay, that's pretty fast. <laughs> it's okay, this is gonna be a lot of cheese. And we book it! We're off to the Dark Brotherhood! Doug, these challenges are getting more and more outlandish. Please come home, your family misses you. I have to do this, Mom! Why don't you ever believe in me, Mom? Oops, timer. Hey, Doug Slash, have you seen there is a type of cheese called Inseed made from the last two pails of milk from Irish cows? Slash Inseed these notes salutes. That was... Poorly constructed, but yes, a bantam. Hey, Doug. Okay, we're at the sanctuary. If erection lasts more than eight hours, you gouge ahead to the hospital. Wait, where is it? What? This is just not correct. Hold on. Where the fuck is the... Oh, here, here. 
the cheesemaker profession is going to be destroyed with this much cheese suddenly appearing. Or it'll explode with popularity. Okay, here is the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I am a little concerned hey, that this will literally fill up with cheese and some CDs be well unusable. Cheese, but then I decided to focus on fitness instead. I caught my favorite Pokemon, Slugma, and named him Goblin. If only it was Dragon type. So, anyways, I. Okay, all right, all right. We got. I have to move quick in here. We gotta go quick, 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 quick. Astrid. Yes, 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 yes. We gotta move. We gotta move. What happens now is you start your oh, God. life in the Dark Brotherhood. Yes, yes. This, as you can see, is I, I'm, I'm honored. Yup. But you might. Ah, uh, but one last thing. Uh, with friends, I gotta talk to a person, right? What, what is next? I don't even remember. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. Uh. Oh, cool. You well in okay, well that's actually kind of sick. Oops, wrong armor. Okay, I got new. Why did I dump all the clothes in here? That's gonna make it whatever. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract. Oh god, there's gonna be so much cheese. Holy shit, that's a big tower! Whoa! Clip that! What was that? What was that? That was hype! Dude! You need somebody clip that! That has to be new record, right? B fucking bro, dude. Bro, bro, that was huge! Okay, somebody clip it. That's gotta be record. Okay, 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 okay. This is- what, what are you doing? <laughs> Why'd you link this? So, dude, somebody's got to have clipped it, right? How are you guys not clipping that immediately? That was the hypest shit of all time. Okay, 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 okay. We're- we're- we're about to watch history. Okay, this. okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Okay, this is still connected. One, there's a, there's probably one under here too. One, two, do we count the one under here? Do we, do we count the one? I think we do, right? I think there's one here, or is that the bottom one? We'll, okay, we'll be conservative. We have to see it. One, two, three, four, five, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty! New record! That's bending. No, it's connected. Dude, that's legit. That hasn't that hasn't cracked. Congratulations, Fuck yeah. Doug. I was you here! Did it. You're incredibly Doug. Job, Doug. You're amazing. I want to be like you. Wow. Doug, that was so what cool. an amazing he came in person. He's that's still stable, here. dude. Wow. Oh my god. And sometimes, for older Argonians, it's normal to have a bend. Oh, dude. Oh, fucking dude. Best stream of the year. But only that, like, 10 second block. Okay. Do we do another bet? There's no way somebody gets 21, right? I mean, we'll we'll do the bet. Does someone beat Does someone beat the 20 record cheese tower? And we need confirmation that So for me, let's define some rules. For me, this is still intact because there's no, like, clear break anywhere. Like, this to me, I mean, it's clearly about to break. So, like, right there is when it's losing contact, I would say, and there. That's just you, before you bet, just so you get my understanding of how I'm going to count this. He are, he maybe even got to 21. I'm going to count it as 20, though. I, I don't think. No, 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 no. It's breaking by the time the 21st comes out. Yeah, no, I, I said this is broken then. It's not connected enough. So it needs to basically look like one contiguous tower, even if it's bent. Uh, and this, to me, is broken right there and right there. So that's a break. Um, so that's how I'm going to be judging it. Also, I think it needs... To, we have to see the cheese. 
Because if it, if the whole like bottom half is buried in a pile of cheese, we can't legitimately count it. Unless it's like way over the record. If somebody gets like 30, then yeah, they'll just win. Even though we don't know exactly the number. Um... Oh. It's impossible. Oh, wait, did I set that as 30 seconds? 20 seconds. Two minutes. Oh, man, that was so sick. All right, all right, all right, all right. We gotta get back to the actual video game. Um, oh, the timer's been going. Ah, eh, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> Guy, I, I, the thing is, I don't know if the speedrun moderators are going to accept my run. Um, given that I've already turned the timer on and off and that this is not a real category and that it's... <laughs> if they look very carefully, might notice that I'm playing with mods on, which is not allowed. And even if you don't think anybody's going to beat the 20 cheese tower, don't you want to hope that miracles can happen? You know? Like, do you want to live in a world where you think the human race is capped at a 20 record cheese tower. I want to believe that we can aspire to more, right? I want my fake money. 100k on yes. See, that's the kind of life I want to live. I want to believe that it's possible. I never would have thought we'd hit 20. That was wild. Okay. With all that said, what do I do? I forget. All my key bindings are changed. Uh, How do... Okay, okay. Speaking with Nazir, okay. Uh, are you... I, Nazir, yo. I need quests. Yo, we are losing a lot of time here, man. <laughs> you gotta hurry up. Dude, I have been in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary for, like, one minute, and this place is almost... <sighs> It's like a quarter full. I don't know if this is... <laughs> I don't know if this whole quest line is finishable. These aren't particularly glamorous, Assassin. But they'll... You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group. I'm ready. Well, then. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytil, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Okay, okay. We got the three contracts. We gotta go kill three people. Uh, now I'm out. Okay, it's starting to lag already. <laughs> There's so much cheese in here. I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm not super confident that this is going to be doable. We have to come to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary like 15 times. That was just the first trip. Okay. Uh, here we go. Doesn't the cheese despawn? No. No, it doesn't. This is Skyrim. That number at the top left? Uh, wait, how do I get to Iverstead? T oh, technically I could pick up and eat all the cheese. That's true. Wait, what's the fastest way to Iverstead? I mean, horse tilting is actually the fastest way, but I... Wait, I can't horse tilt because... The cheese will fuck up the horse. I actually can't horse tilt. Um, what is the fastest way to get there? It's on the way to the set. I, I don't know. I guess I could just walk around. It might be faster from Riften. What's faster? I, I can't tilt. At least I don't think. And I missed the setup anyway. Um, is it Helgen? Can I climb through the... Can I climb through the, the hills? Go from Helgen. Alright, cool. Let's go. Okay, we're going to Helgen. We're going to run to Iverstead. Where did this one come from? Okay, got it. Oh wait, I actually could Doctor, horse tilt, maybe. But she's not a boat. What?
Yeah, so the cheese does not despawn. It's not necessarily I loaded into the game I simultaneously. The cheese, and I stayed for the cheese. Slash cheese. But there, we have loaded a total of 33,800 cheese wheels into the game. But as this long as there isn't cool more than idea, like 8,000 in any specific location, we should be noise. okay. I feel like the kettles would break this so fast. Hey, Although, I don't know if the physics are actually about? different. Okay. Me either. Thank you. Hello, Doug. This is Aventasa Atino. I wanted to thank you for providing us with all this cheese. I haven't seen Rina or Samuel since you were here, so they were probably adopted. It's weird though. Sometimes I swear I hear muffled screams in the cheese. <laughs> hey, <laughs> My Doug, God! Have you ever they been love to the Lugia? cheese. All right. The orphans had a great time. Love you so much. Got him. I'll allow that one. Dude, you gotta pick up after your horse. Hey, Doug, if you need tips on Skyrim speedruns, you should check out the YouTuber Harva. Have a nice day, got him. Fucking got me, dude. I. It's so annoying when. I don't know, for, for people who, like, run on trails where people also ride horses, they just leave gigantic piles of horse shit everywhere. Like this rabbit. This is actually super annoying. This does remind me of that. It really brings me back to running. Having to dodge huge dump piles. Oh shit! Bro! No, no, it's too angled, right? That's not. Yeah, no, no, no. I got excited for a second. He seemed to, like he had potential. Go kill those cheesy sons of bitches, Doug. Am I going in the right direction? Yeah. That's why I don't run. The reason you don't run is because of piles of horse manure. Hey, Doug, you seem to have a problem with It's not with that big of a deal. Erections. Please promise me that this money will go to curing your dairy dysfunction. I need cheese aggro for that. I hate to doubt, but remember there's a scene where the sanctuary is full of the Brotherhood and Guards. At the end of the quest too. Oh, yikes. yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, we're not really doing an official bet for it, but you can get your prediction into chat just for the record. Tower, I believe. Like, just out of principle, I should probably kill this so he's not spawning cheese. God, dude, that's unnecessary. Get your prediction in now, in the Does chat. Does it spawn cheese or is it made of cheese? It doesn't appear to be spawning cheese. Do you think the Dark Brotherhood is beatable with this, this mod or not? There's actually an old argument about why you should bet against what you hope will happen. Either you get the outcome you want, and thus you don't mind not being able to feed your family, or you don't, and the money is a consolation. That was my rationale in this prediction. There you go. Everybody Hi, wins. Doug. Just randomly found you through YouTube, but love the cheese. Thank you, man. Welcome. Uh, where's Iverstead? Iverstead. Bro, okay. It's 2.25 a.m. when I'm writing this message, and I will stay up for as long as it takes to see that glorious 21 cheese tall cheese tower. The cheese tower is gonna be fucking hype, dude. So sad to see my favorite streamer relapsing on horse tilt. I literally can't. This mod makes it impossible. Hold on. It's gonna wait 12 hours. Hey Doug, oh, make this mod but in GTA 5 Wait. since you said it was easier to program mods for. Let's see here. Oh, there's a new lady in charge. There's no way the courier does it. Does no way. No way. No, that wasn't it, right? That was like 17. That wasn't Hello, it. Hello, Douglas. No, no, no. Douglas, I am back. So we finally figured out the absolute disaster called Skyrim modding. Well done. We did. We finally have a global variable. That was not 20. There's no way. I was freaking out over the lizard, and that was exactly Doug, 20. Doug, Doug, what is D's? I'm confused. Why does everyone keep saying it to you? Please advise my head. Can't figure it out. Uh, uh where do I go? I gotta kill a guy, right? Yeah, what up? Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. Oh, I'm about to respect your tower. Why'd you leave, bro? Will literally block everything in the DB at the end. 
This guy, right? Narfi? Narfi, let's hang out! Doug, how, how do I donate? Okay, alright. You are done. Easy. Uh, nobody saw me? Cool. Did they? Who's left? I was at work, or where else? so I just got here. How goes the cheese run? I counted set. Okay, the courier had 17. There's a thousand gold bounty. Okay, all right, we'll go get arrested. That's fine. Hey, that guy had to step away, but I caught the first tower under half of your stream. My favorite part was where you played two seconds of Skyrim. Let's see if you can top those two seconds of Wait, Epic Wait, why are you arresting play. me? I see you figured out the counter as uh, well. Uh oh, Good job. okay, we have to run. Hi, Donut. Do the fish spawn fish cheese? Uh, if it's an NPC, then yes. Wait, where's all my cheese? Hi, Doug. Long time, Doug. I have First no cheese to heal? Hope uh oh. Old Doug is Doug to Doug. Doug, you for dodging your Doug. You killed a man, that's why. Well, normally they're cool if you just... Oh, I sold all the cheese. All right, all right. Okay, we're gonna go down the river. I dream of a day when they may rise above the billows to drag down in their reeking talons the remnants of puny, war-exhausted <laughs> mankind. Of a day when the land shall sink in the cheese, and the dark ocean floor shall ascend amidst universal pandemonium within its remnants. The end is near. I hear an- Thank you. Um, let's- Uh-oh. Is this safe? Oh my god. Cool, we're good. Okay, who do we kill next? What are, who are the other two? I'm blanking. I haven't done this in a little while. Um. Uh. K? K's? No, what's my. I don't remember what my. F? J. J is what I do. Go to Dawnstar and kill the mine boss. Okay. Dawnstar, we could take a carriage to. Oh, there's still enemies nearby. And a guy near Win- Oh, the Windhelm guy, I remember that. Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember now. Yo, what up? You know if you think about it, there's probably a 21 cheese tower out there somewhere, statistically. I choose I to believe in that world. To to win for believers greater than. I choose to believe. Dude, the rabbits are a real issue. Oh my god! What the fuck? My dog is confused Who are you? what is happening. I, I need cheese to heal. These guys are actually killing me. Hold on, hold on, get out of the way. I'm going back in the river. We're eating cheese and we're bailing. If there's too much cheese, you could just take a shit ton in your inventory, though maybe you can't take them fast enough. No, because then I, I can't move because of carry weight. And they literally spawn faster than I can pick them up. Okay, I need to save. Just be safe. You say NPCs spawn cheese, but I thought they were called actors in the code. Are they different? Uh, it's actors in the code. Um, NPCs is easier for... It's more. It's a layman term. But if you if you know Skyrim coding, it's every actor um, has a script that spawns a cheese wheel. Okay, can I leave, please? There we go. Uh, music. Okay, we're back here. Dude, no, wh why do we have an issue? Dude, let... I want to hang... Why... Do they just ne so they're never gonna they're never gonna let me go? Wait, so can I just n never go back to Riften? They're always going to attack me. You killed somebody. Yeah, I know that, but I can't. You normally give up. They're never gonna give you up. Okay, well, you need to wait two weeks. Okay, we can do that. Why are there guards over there? Sheathe your weapon. That's what I did. I kept sheathing and unsheathing. Normally that works. I mean, I when we did the Jarl speedrun, I murdered all the Jarls and they were fine with that. But I guess killing Narfi is like a, a fucking huge deal. Alright, are we good? Am I safe? 
So if I just wait a long time... How long do I need to wait? Dude, it's almost an hour! <laughs> this is taking too long! I'm going somewhere else. I'm going to Whiterun. Okay, carriage driver. Where do you want to go? Okay, next up is Dawnstar. We're gonna kill the miner. But the cheese is gonna increase soon. Okay, we have five seconds. How many total cheese? We're almost at 50 grand. <laughs> That's... <clears throat> Skyrim is never going to go hungry. Wait, where's the guy I need to... Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Whoa. No, 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 no. Close. Okay, quick pause. We're now up to four cheese wheels a second. I just realized I could have my... um. I can have my web app code thing. Oh wait, no, it's in text to speech manager. I can have this yell. Dear diary, today. Doug learned that murder carries a two-week statute of limitations, and his reaction was that that was too long. Wait, where's my init? Huh? Hold on. Hold on, I wanted to have my thing say, say Mr. Roosevelt's speech. Hey, Donut, how many cheese can you fit in the donut hole? Is there a well we can punch someone in and they have to cheese out of? Oh, it's in here. It's in here. It's the in it in here. Got it. It is not the critic who counts, not the cheese maker who points out how the cheese could be spawned, nor the connoisseur who tastes how the cheese is made. The credit belongs to the cheese spawner, who is actually in the arena, whose hands are dirty with curdled milk, who strives valiantly to spawn cheese, who airs and comes up with a smelly batch, because there is no effort without error and shortcomings, but who actually spawns the cheese, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself on. in a worthy cause? I'm gonna shout who at it. the best knows in the end the triumph of cheesy success, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while. All Dude. right, hold on. Let's make him shout. It is not the critic who counts, <laughs> not the cheese maker who points out how the cheese could be spawned, nor the connoisseur who tastes how the cheese is made. The credit belongs to the cheese spawner, who is actually in the arena. Whose hands are dirty with curdled milk, who strives valiantly to spawn cheese, who airs and comes up with a smelly batch, because there is no effort without error and shortcomings, but who actually spawns the cheese, who knows great enthusiasms, did I update the code? Emotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of cheesy success, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while. Daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those timid souls who neither know victory nor oh, yeah, defeat. I did. Okay, build. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for four cheeses a second.
with that being said, I don't know if we're going to get uh, through another. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to go in and out of the sanctum sanctuary again with the game actually working. Okay. Yeah, that that's a lot of cheese. <laughs> okay. Well, um Oh my god. Okay, I don't think that was 20. Uh, where's the Your guy? Stream was recommended to me on Twitch. <laughs> and now I'm happy to know I'm not the only player that has a cheese problem. Hey, Twitch's recommendation algorithm. Okay, this is bad, dude. I've been in Dawnstar for like 10 seconds. This is getting bad. Where's the guy? Okay, I have to activate the quest, right? Um this dude. No, no, no. This guy. Oh, it's you. Okay, the game is already lagging. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill her. The game is really slow already. What? Thank you, very cool. That guy, I... I thought he was gonna break the record for a second. Okay, so... I have another chance. I have to go way faster this time. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. Come on. We gotta go. We gotta go. There's no time. Hurry, 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 hurry. Belted, we do not have time for this. Please hurry. Okay. That's the next one down. Next one down. We run. We run. We need to get the hell out of here. This is gonna start to crash the game. Yo, can I take your boat? Four cheeses a second. You're a madman. Oh, Nobody has ever cheesed that hard before. Okay. I me just eating the cheese is, is not helpful. I can't fast travel because there's enemies. Me just trying to eat the cheese isn't gonna work, because now they're spawning too fast. As long as we never have to come back to Darnstar for the rest of the game, I think we're okay. Wait, don't we literally end the storyline right there? <laughs> Shit. Okay. We're probably okay with the Dawnstar. Can I leave? Therapist, poor cheese a second can't hurt you. Went home. It's not real Dug Dug stream. Okay, that's two out of three people. I want the motivational speech back. I'm freaking out a little bit. This Not the cheese maker who points out how the cheese could be strong, to stop nor the connoisseur who tastes how the cheese time. is made. They were helping the world. The credit belongs to the cheese spawner, who is actually in the arena, whose hands are dirty with curdled milk, who strives valiantly to Make spawn cheese, that allows you who to airs and comes like up with Kirby. a smelly <laughs> batch, because there is no effort without error and shortcomings, but who actually spawns the cheese. Why are the wolves so powerful? Great enthusiasm, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause? Who at the hey, best knows in the end the triumph just of cheesy success? You know cult and who at the worst, just if he fails, good at idea least fails wild. Darren greatly, a good word. so that his what place is shall never be with those again. timid souls Other who neither know victory him. nor defeat. Will, Doug, will. Hey Doug, if you could act like I said something funny that would make me feel pretty good. <laughs> Classic Rescue Ranger. What is your problem, dude? We are cool. Dude, you're making the cheese... We're at 55,000 cheese wheels. Wait, I can change it so he's whispering at us. That'll be epic. Confusing motivational speech of all time. We're watching a goat shit out cheese while a dude whispers some sort of cheese speech. 
without error and shortcomings, but all actually spawns the cheese who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself that sounds in a like worthy the cause, with the best knows the at the end speech. the triumph of cheesy success, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Uh oh. Am I even going the right direction? Where the fuck am I going? Huh? Oh, damn it! Cheese nuts. Get him, mods. Okay. Um, is he here? Oh, he, he's gotta be that guy. The cheese is actually really helpful for finding assassination targets. Ah, you thought this red herring would let you hide. As the Dutch guy, I approve. Come here! Dude, you have so much health. Okay, Mr. Krabs is is also running over. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not feeling very motivated or inspired by the motivational, inspirational speech. What are you talking about? That was very motivational. Okay, we should be good. I gotta get away from Mr. Krabs, but... Oh, that chicken's doing pretty good. Whoa! Oh. Are we cool? Are there no more enemies? Yeah. All right, sick. All right, that's everybody dead. Doug, two days ago. I don't know. Skyrim feels sucked dry of ideas slash Doug now. He he cheese. Okay, this, the the first kind of round of quests are done. This is now trip number two into the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I just ideally do not fill up all the walls and rooms. Let's go. Go quick, go quick. It's already lagging. <laughs> oh no! Okay, wait, hold on. First off, that might be a record. That no, 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 no. That was like 19. Who, who do I talk to? Where's Narfi? Where the fuck is Narfi? Ah! Uh, is he like in the back? This is too much cheese. This is too much cheese. Narfi! 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 Narfi. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta talk. Haven't you talked to Astrid? I have to talk to Astrid? Oh my God! Okay, Astrid, where are you? That's Cicero. I'm sorry, I'm breaking the towers. Astrid! Do I have to wait for them to finish the whole conversation? Astrid! No, de dude, nobody has beaten 20. Oh, I have to- yeah, I just need to eat cheese this whole time. I have to eat everything that Astrid poops. Food? I, I, I gotta eat all the cheese wheels, too. Wait, somebody said, how do I do the key binding? How do I do the key binding to eat and pick up at the same time? Somebody, somebody was suggesting that. That pile of cheese looks like Scrooge F McDuck's favorite. money pit. I feel like singing it's, the it's opening not even... theme to DuckTales, but I don't want to get Duck copyright stuff. Favorites, then click number. Understood. I'm pressing F. Do I not have that as my favorites? Favorites is F. I'm pressing F and it's not like right now I'm pressing F. Hold F? I'm F in inventory. I'm pressing F. I'm currently pressing F. Thank goodness you have the timer up top. I was beginning to worry this wouldn't be a world record. <laughs> but make no mistake. <laughs> Look, I the <laughs> this cutscene is words. really bad. This is really really bad. We've added like 4000 Press Q. No, Q for me is different. Okay, wait, that's a pretty... I we couldn't see the end of the t tower. <laughs> Astrid, I can't look at you. Okay, Astrid's leaving. <laughs> you have a contract. Yes. Wait. Wait. Okay, I have bad news. Game's crashed. Run into characters to skip the dialogue. They are standing atop a, an Empire State Building of cheese. I cannot reach them. I can't bump into them.
You need to eat faster. Is there a way to do the... Look, even... There's like... 10 NPCs in here. That's 40 cheese wheels a second. Make a macro? I could... Get an auto clicker. Get a cheese vacuum. Walk in, activate. I think use the mouse wheel. Hold on. All right, hold on. We got we got to reset. We got to reset Skyrim. All right, that's another crash. Okay, we got to rerun that. But I go in and then I wait for the cutscene to be over, right? I don't think I just have to sit there and watch it all. Auto clickers are full of malware. You got to write one. I, mean, I can write a script that auto clicks. Um, that's our backup. We're going to try to just skip through the cutscene. Did I save? Okay. You can skip dialogue by clicking. I was. Oh yeah, I can quick save, quick load. That's another one. Yeah. Um, okay. We're going again. This time... Doing everything possible to skip the cutscene. Okay, they're all here. If I wait an hour, is that enough? Mother to all. No, no, they're still talking. Do doubters uh, win because of restart? Well, right now the prediction is on... Uh, no, I'm allowed to restart. I think when it's like totally and completely locked and done, then we're okay. Uh, then then it's like the run's over. But I can clearly still do this. Just spawn two crackers for each cheese I mean, to I can make quick it save, more quick load. But don't you have to bump them to quick save, quick load? E binding instructions from aligned. To put what you wanted hotkeyed into your favorite menu. F, you pull up your favorite menu, Q, highlight it, and hit the desired key one through. My key bindings are all different, which is uh frustrating. I think let me look at my controls. So I've I've changed these all to Okay, quick save and quick loads. Controls control You could spawn one rat every four seconds to eat the keys. Wait, look. Okay, quick saving and quick loading seems to really have helped. <laughs> Keep talking, little man. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. Okay, quick saving and quick loading seems like it's skipping their lines of dialogue. So maybe this is our strat. It's, it's just taking a really long time to quick load. You and the night mother are of course. Like, it's skipping a line, right? You're my hotkey. Doug oh, one man 39, daddy one man 39, loud. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Uh, okay, it's it's... Struggling with the quick loading, but I think this is getting through the conversation with way fewer cheeses spawned. But make no mistake, I every quick load is getting longer. Okay, that worked. We got through the cutscene. We have a contract. Go, 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 go. You must go. The girl's been... Her name is Moon. Just do... Since it's your first... Okay, cool, cool. I we started the quest. I gotta go talk to... Wait, wait. Do I even need to talk to Narfi? Do I have to talk to Narfi? Or can I just leave right now? Because that's a shitload of time. Or sorry, not Narfi. Uh, Nazir. Wait. Donut. I don't, don't need the reward. To go to the blue palace to assassin someone. Those are low ceilings D. Uh, quests.
Yeah, we just go to we just go to Markarth. Okay. We leave, we leave, we leave, we leave. Okay, this, the sanctuary is bad, but still playable. It's actually good work. And now we go to Markarth. It's so much less laggy out here. The Sanctum is really struggling. Okay, back to the stables. Take him out back, mods. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Uh, Markarth. I don't do charity. Am I out of money again? Right. Shit. Okay, uh, pick up some wares. I think I have to go back into White Run and sell more. Wait, are, are the Khajiit out there? Yeah, we only have five minutes until it's five cheeses a second. It's taking a lot longer to load everything. <laughs> We've added 62,000 cheese wheels into the game. Is it going to become impossible? I mean, the question from the beginning has been, is this challenge possible? Not really how fast is it? Dude, White Run didn't even have that much cheese. Why is this one crashing? Like, I am basically on the best computer that you can buy right now. Okay. All right, I got to reset it. I don't know if we can go higher than five cheese wheels a second, dude. <laughs> this is already looking a little bit dire. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we don't do it, but I'm saying it's looking real bad. I would like to get farther into the game. You got 128 gigs of RAM? Yeah. And I think that's why we've been able to handle eight to 9,000 wheels of cheese in one area. Okay, we need money for the carriage. Will it load? White run. Dude, we might be locked out of white run. White run might not be playable anymore. <laughs> okay. So we gotta go to another city to sell stuff Doug, now. I know nothing about computers, but would turning the graphics way down help at all? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. The run isn't dead, dude. We just have to go to a different city. We're gonna be it okay. It used to be the best computer you could buy, but then you decided it was a great day to burn your processor by having it compute the physics of one million wheels of cheese. Okay, dotty. we're gonna... <laughs> let's try it. You may have more RAM, but it's all made of cheese. We could go to River Run. Hold on, let's try lower graphics. Hey, Doug, crazy running into you at the circus. I need to run to the restroom. Can you these peanuts for me? Okay. I'm back. Thanks, Stingling. I have the best. Almost the best computer that money can buy. And we're going to play Skyrim on low quality. Texture. No, let's get this down to low, please. Reflex Sky. No, 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 no. We do not have the space for that. Object fade. No, let's turn that down. Act yeah, no, let's get all this down. Object detail fade. Let's turn that off. Would playing at a lower resolution help? <laughs> we could play it 800 by 450. We'll use that as a last resort. I don't think that'll change anything. Okay, the textures already look worse. 
Okay, the game looks substantially worse, but that's okay. What? Pinkie Pie looks horrible now. Okay, maybe White Run works now with the lower graphics. Okay, we're still locked out of White Run. Okay, we gotta turn this off. Wait, it's been an hour and 20. <laughs> okay. White Run is officially banned. And we are now up to five cheese wheels every second. Okay, okay. Uh, White Run is not cool. We go to... Riverwood has a store? Yo, what up? Divine smile on okay. We go into the shop. Do I, did I pick up cheese wheels? Let me grab some. Let me grab this chicken. Grab a few eggs, and then we are good to sell. Yo, you guys looking for cheese? Um, I have got 97 cheese wheels. Cool, thank you. And we're out. Doug, you should buy a lithography machine from ASML and make your own CPUs so you can spawn more cheese. We go back to the stables. Download a mod for potato pieces, maybe that will help. Or maybe make all cheese invisible. It still has to calculate it. That wouldn't help that much. Okay, and now we're off to Markarth. Markarth is a clean, fresh slate, a fresh plate, if you will, to Warrant dump our cheese onto. Absolutely loving this Mario 64 playthrough. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look that good, okay? But I assure you that you are watching one of the best computers that money can buy. Doug, the game has it so much cheese it's getting constipated. Its keto diet is not used to this much cheese. Okay. It looks like Valheim. It looks like I'm playing Valheim. This person is being jammed Doug, into a doorway. This is your because computer. He's... I want a divorce. Okay, okay, okay. This is a clean this is a clean city. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh god, it just loaded the cheese. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on. So it's still rent. You must pay the cheese tax. It's still processing shitloads of cheese. It just doesn't render until I get close to it. That's not helpful. That means it's still calculating all of the physics, which is the hard part. Okay. What do you hide? I'm not the cheese tax. What are you talking about? It's better than rendering it. I guess technically, yeah, it is a little better. I'm watching this in 480 just to help you. Yeah, if everybody could turn your graphics down. Um, okay. Oh, wait, this isn't the right spot. I'm dumb. Hold on. Oh, oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Wait, clip that. Clip that. Clip that. That was it, right? That was 21. That had to be 21. That was massive. Somebody clip it! Holy shit! That doesn't count? What are you talking about? That dude has been training his entire life for that. Okay, 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 okay. No way. The current record's 20. It, like, loaded in late. Okay, where's the break? There, there's the break. Hold on. Let's make sure. This, this is the, the farthest it went. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Holy shit, new record. Wow. 
This guy's nuts. Dude, you fucking did it, bro. That's what he's still flying. These guys are crazy. Fuck yeah, bro. That shit was wild. Oh my god, huge win for believers. I didn't think it was possible. I didn't think a 22 or higher was possible. Okay, all right. There's no way that you could... Oh, what's his name? Brother... Yo, bro. Bro. <laughs> Verulus. Yo, oh my god. I can't even talk to him. He just goes out of frame. <laughs> okay. The, okay, this bro is crushing it. Do, but no, do you actually think, believers, can anybody beat Bro's 23 record tower. Before the game becomes completely unplayable and we have to stop. That's a wild bet. I mean, I look, it may not be this may not be a smart thing to bet that it's gonna happen, but I wanna believe in a world where a 24 tower is possible. I want. I would. I would lose my money just so I could live in a world where I believed it was possible. You know. It might even. Maybe the low graphics are helping. I don't think so because even though the the lower half of the tower rendered in late, it, the game was clearly still processing him moving up on a tower cheese. So the rendering doesn't affect it at all. I mean, I don't think this is a smart bet. This is a bet that makes you feel alive as a human, you know? I, I, like, I really did not think, like, 22 or above was possible. Man, what a tower. Bro was 24 for sure? What are you talking about? Bro, no, bro. One, two, no, no, no. You're saying before it breaks? I think it's broken here. I think this is... Even that, I would say it's broken. It's like here. That's before it's broken. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah, that's a 23 record. That's 23. At the top, it's 24. No, this is the 24th broke it. I, I, think, I think we count the tower before it's broken. The 24th... The top is two. Can somebody enhance? Oh, wait, I can enhance. What am I talking about? <laughs> I'm the only one who can do that. So you're saying, you're saying this is 20, I don't know. I, I think that's not clear enough. I would be hesitant. I mean, this isn't, they're fused together. Hold on. Can I like go? But at this point, it's already broken. I don't know, man. I, here's what I would say. Here's what I would say. I think it's 23 because even if technically a 24th is in there, it's not it's not pushing him up, right? It's not actually extending the tower. If it if it basically looks like 2, I think we say the tar, the tallest the tower has gotten is 23 cheeses, even though technically there's a cheese like fused into another one. It's like kind of I cuz I think you're right, but I like the t I mean, this is definitely two different ones. Was that what, not what I was counting? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. I'm counting 23, even with this being a second. I think it's 23, dude. I think it's 23. You skipped one. No, I didn't. 1, 2, 3... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
23. You're saying this is two? No, I it's 23. It's 23. I, I'm, I'm making the executive cheese call. So the record you have to beat, you have we had we need a 24 tower um to beat Valurus Bro. Oh shit, the timer's been going this whole time. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, uh where I think I need to come back in here later, right? For one of the kills. That's fine. Okay, where's my target? Wait, what? Where's the Hag's Cure? Why do the shopkeepers buy cheese? They can just take a shit. <laughs> That's true. It's in the city, right? It's in the inn? What? Oh, the Hag's Cure is the inn. Got it, got it. Okay. Hey, Dig Dug. What if you spawn the cabbage every second? Very bog. <laughs> it's just rendering in shitloads of cheese everywhere. There might be thousands more cheese that we can actually. This is the bad. Cheese tax must be paid. Oh, you. You, you, you. Let's talk. Okay, Dark Brotherhood. Always right, tell me what you need. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurry, 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 hurry. I'll need more than that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Invisible cheese. Excellent. But we just hit 69,000 wheels of cheese. No Alright, and we are up. Hey, Doug. It's your computer. I'm severely lactose intolerant. Please stop spawning cheese. You're going to hold out a little I don't bit longer. Know how much more I can take. This is where you go here. Got it. And that's why they call Markarth the cheese towering capital of Skyrim. True. Okay, I thought it was going to crash there for a second. I think we have to donate so you can buy a new PC because your PC will literally burn after this stream. It's going to be fine, alright? What is- what are the- 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 The top scientists over at NVIDIA have toiled for years so that we could watch a chicken shit out 69,000 wheels of cheese. This is what a 4070 was built to do, chat. I was motherfucking here. I can't believe the 23 tower. That is fucking wild. We skipped 22. Okay, 70,000 cheese wheels. Those were some performance dehancing graphics. Why is there just one? I'll take this. Wait, do I even have cheese wheels right now or do I sell them all? Like, what? <laughs> Thank just... you for being you, Doug. No joke. You are an awesome entertainer. Only you hey. can code awfully for two hours and bet on people standing on cheese okay, towers we... and make it funny as hell. <laughs> That's my streamer. <laughs> Thank you, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I feel like like Han like I'm following Hansel and Gretel. This is probably just leads to like a rabbit or something. Okay, the graphics are making this hard to see what's going on. Can I turn the graphics back up? Like you guys have to admit this looks terrible. Uh-oh. Bro, can I let me get up? Yeah, let's go. It looks great. This this tree looks like Minecraft. Can we get 480p? I mean, 480p might make it crash less. I don't think that's where the bottleneck is happening. In fact, I'm quite positive it's not. I love. <laughs> hey, Doug. The day I doubt is the day I die. My man.
Whoa! What the fuck? Okay, we're fine. I'm not- I'm gonna ignore all these people. Dude, the graphics it's are making it so people appear right in front of me. Do we enhance question mark cash? <sighs> Dude, we only have five minutes till more cheese anyways. Brother Verilus is the ultimate cheese bender. <laughs> When the Fondue Nation attacked, Brother Velorus went to hiding for a hundred years. These days uses instant replay. I remember the days when referees had to make cheese stack judgments on the fly and we had to accept the call. <laughs> Video review slows the game down too much. <laughs> Look, we got a review. Okay, we're going I down. I think we've seen enough cheese towers to have a decent intuition for the width of a cheese wheel. Okay, we're going. I propose that we adopt it as a standard unit and start measuring length by cheese wheels in this community. Okay, we're going to like a 420p resolution. As an official representative of the World Cheese Wheels Stacking Association, I can confirm that it was 24 wheels of cheese that Bro was standing on. Wait, do I need to change the aspect ratio? This is the best graphics I have ever seen, Doug. Will be less to render. Well, hold on, let me pause. Well, then it won't fill up the whole screen, though, right? I guess I can stretch it. Doug Daddy embraces modernity as a refillable string that captivates the senses. This modern and Four sophisticated by three. string combines aromatic notes of bergamot, lemon, olive tree blossom, guayac wood essential, and tonka bean to create a unique scent that lingers through. Okay, we are now on the lowest possible graphics and memories. resolution. <laughs> this looks like Valheim, and everybody's popping in randomly. This is not good. I, everything, <laughs> dude, this makes it way harder. I actually okay. work at NVIDIA. You'll be happy to know I appreciate that okay. my work made a chicken prepping cheese. <laughs> I'll let the rest of my team know that 50 series cards need dynamic chicken cheese rasterization. <laughs> okay, good. That guy is who I need to kill. He's standing on a cheese pile. Come here. Come down here. Dude, I'm going to fly. Okay, I actually need to eat cheese. This is a hard fight. I need to finish it in the next three and a half minutes before more cheese spawns. Wait, no, I need, I need a uh, fire. I need fire. Skyrim, but every NPC spawns random items every second, but no weapons or armor. Just food, ingredients, and useless stuff. Okay, he's dead. Uh, sure, I'll take that. This man needs at least 20 Twitch Prime okay, to need replace his fuck out of here. computer after this stream. If you already have an Amazon Prime subscription, you can link your Amazon and Twitch so accounts to get one free Twitch sub every month. so many cheeses VRO. appearing everywhere! The brothers from Discord oh, you can tell somebody VRO was taking a nap here. 23 cheeses, bro. You got this, bro. Oh, thank you, bro. None of these guys are even trying to set the record. Who? Wait. Douglas, the day I There's like false the trails of cheese that are going in the wrong so direction. I guess I am dying today. Got him. Okay, and we're out. Oh, I can level up, yeah. We're now at... Oh, let me out, let me out. What if instead of excrement we had cheese cans? A little squirt of cheese was if you Jesus Christ. you to say otherwise. Okay, alright. We're good, I'm saving. Okay, we gotta get away from the guys. No. No, I have to go back to Dark Brotherhood. I need to go there before we add more cheese to the count. If I can get away and fast travel in the next, like, two minutes... Okay, we're good. Oh, I have to talk to- No, I have to talk to her? Uh-oh. Okay, we have to go back to Markarth. We gotta talk to the woman. And then go back to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Hopefully we can do that in the next two minutes before Douglas we go to six cheese wheels easy. a second. You should combine it with the door randomizer and the voice recognition program. Unless you're a coward. Okay, we might have lost Markarth. <laughs> how do we... How do we do this if Markarth is not loading? We are at 77,000 wheels of cheese in Skyrim.
Um... Wait, hold on. Maybe instead of warping in, we can go back, we can visit our bro Valerius, and then go into Markarth from the back? Maybe that'll work. I have 45 seconds to get into Markarth without it, without it crashing. Okay. Go, 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 go. Uh, load. Yeah, this is outside. Okay. No, 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 there's wolves. There's wolves. Can I still leave? I can't. What? Oh, I forgot I have a laugh track if I run out of mana. Ten seconds. Understone keep. Does this load? <laughs> Hold on. Does the keep even load? Okay. Dude, the keep only had like 300 cheese wheels in it. How long is this going to zoom in on this low res Falmer? Let it cook. Dude, I'm trying, man. Oh, because it takes me outside of the keep. So it's still trying to load Markarth. This is bad. Hey, Doug, can you please publish this mod so I can also play it? It looks very fun. Another funny thing you could do is turn ever NPC into sugar art and make them spawn 10 cheese a second, but the cheese despawns after one second. I think that would break Praise the game, though, Jesus is the problem. Christ. Uh, yeah, I can try to upload this at some point. Um, oh, with the global variables, it'll be a little hard. Okay. We are officially locked out of Markarth. Your only choice is to walk there, Doug. <laughs> we might be able to get into the city if we enter from the outside, from the gate, rather than trying to fast travel in. Maybe? We are, like, right at the limit of what the game can handle. And the run is dead if we cannot get into Markarth. And the only thing to do in a situation like this is to go ahead and increase this. To 1.66. Now it's six cheese wheels every second. Okay, theoretically, if we warp to the stables, it should be able to handle that. Stables is fine. And then if we load the city from the doors, maybe that'll work? Try getting arrested. Good idea. We'll go to jail. That'll be our way into the city. But how do you get out? We'll deal with that. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Theoretically, we do the entire Markarth jail quest. 
Okay. Uh, I submit. Take me to jail. Please take me into the city. Please. Okay! We're in the city, kind of. Uh oh. There's no resting your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. Okay, they're talking about me being in here a while. We're 80,000 cheese wheels in Skyrim. When do I get out? You'll pay off your debt to the Reach. Just work, and you'll earn your freedom. It All right. Open her up. Mine silver ore to earn your time. Okay, um. Can I get out this way? Okay, I have a question. If I... Is that direction back to the city? Because we're going to be in... This quest chain is like 20 minutes in the mines, and I think we're all going to asphyxiate from cheese. If I get through this gate, do I go back to the city? You don't need to do the quest, just mine silver. You can just serve your time. Okay. You just mine the ore. Okay, all right. All right. You stealing anything. Dude, it's already lagging. Okay, we got it. We got a mine. We got a mine. Do I have a lockpick? Or do I have a, a pickaxe? Where's the pickaxe? It is so laggy already. Oh, look at how much. Um. You... There's. What are you in for? No, no, no. no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh. All right, pickaxe. What are you doing that for? What do you mean? I took a bit. Okay. We gotta find ore. We gotta find ore. Okay. So, the game crashed. If we can mine enough ore to get out of jail in about 30 seconds, then we're back in it. I think it's struggling with the 82,355 cheese wheels throughout the game now. You've go to be the very best, like no one is wrong was. Can you lock pick out? It was on the wall by the pickaxe. All right, let's try it again. Hey, the egg. Do we have an answer why every bit message starts with hey, Doug? We certainly don't. How big is your save file? Yeah, <laughs> save file is probably really big. Out, Doug. It's so blurry that I can't see anything that's going on, but I'm sure you're doing great. Hey, thank you. The giant is so blurry. Doug, Doug has flown too close to the cheese, son. It's not even loading the... It's not even loading the prison anymore. Okay. Um... Wait, can I... Hold on, can we, can we get out of jail this way? Time to play the best spunk of your life. Is this the exit? Maybe we can run to the exit. Is it over here? Is this correct? If Doug has one million believers, I am one of them. If Doug has five believers, I am one of them. If Doug has no okay, believers, Okay, we run along. Okay, the exit's there. We, we No, let me out. Where am I? Wait, is this... Wait, did I escape? Hey, no, we're still no, we're still in it. Hey, Doug. Wait, this is the exit. Hold on, we actually glitched out. Okay, load, 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 load the city. This is the only other way into the city. We like dug a hole underneath. Let me in! Let me in! My name is Yo Chicago Cheddar. I'm 33 years old. My house is in the northeast section of Cheese City, where all the cheese makers are, and I am not married. I work as an employee for the Cheesy Delight department stores, and I get home every day by 8 p.m. at the lake. You can wait 30 in-game days for Doug, it to respawn. The speedrun is supposed to be glitchless. You don't qualify. <laughs>
<laughs> Look, I didn't do anything. That was the game working. I'm pretty sure that's how. I haven't done that quest in a long time. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Do we have any other options here? Um, Doug, you should probably let Parkson know you're counterfeiting this much gouda. I heard he's a food law expert. You can use the open cities mod to get rid of the loading screens. Won't that mean it has to load in all the cheese all the time? <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I wanna try turning up the graphics and trying that. What's the mod called? I think that I think that should be legit. It's going to make it worse. Here, I'll pause the timer. Uh open cities mod. Okay. Is it in the workshop? Let me see. Um <clears throat> Please hold. This is it, right? Yeah, doing this on old Skyrim and not new was not a great call. It's a little easier for me to mod the, the old. I don't know if the new has, like, increased RAM or something. Um, okay, well, this is it. It's maximum 4 gigs of RAM. Oops. Uh, well, it'll reset the cheese in the cities. I don't know if it will. I mean, old is 32 bit, new is 64. It, why would it reset the? Waiting 30 days for everything to respawn feels bad. The city cells are going to be replaced by new ones. Hmm. It's basically just resetting the cities. It makes new cities. Got it. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what the best way forward is. I mean, one option is just give up. It's done, which is kind of correct. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Cheese, 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 cheese is cheesing, cheesed. Cheese, cheese, cheesing, cheese, cheese. Hey, Doug, why don't you just use all the mods? Some are bound to cancel others out. God, I like the cut of your jib. Um,. I at least wanted to go back into the Dark Brotherhood Sanctum one more time. I just want to get this one done. Resetting the cities is okay. It literally takes five seconds for it to respawn. That is one argument. Um, look, I don't think this is doable. I just wanted to get done with this quest and get back to the Dark Brotherhood. If it's going to crash, I want it to be in the Dark... If, if it's going to be totally unloadable, I feel like it should be the Dark Brotherhood Sanctum, right? I want to push for well, that as the goal. It. it brings me no pleasure to do this. But the chatter must always go down with the nuts. Therefore, Doug, do you like Wendy's? These nuts in your mouth. Got him. Uh, See you in a week, Beef Dad. 07 chat. 07. I will personally ban you myself. Captain always bans his own ship. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What's the best way to get around this? I could. This is super cheating, but I could warp into the inn where she is. Can we say that I get one warp? 
It's like obviously cheating. I don't know if that's more or less cheating. I want to give myself like one, one thing to make more progress. Um, doubters would win, by the way, because this is in the original rule set. We are completely fucked. The game is done. <laughs> we cannot progress. Um, or I, or I warp her to me. Imagine if all the cheese was camembert, which is known as one of the stinkiest cheeses. That would be like a chemical weapon. Well, I could I could fast travel out of the inn. If I warp into the inn, and then I fast travel out, um, you can fast travel in a building, right? I'm blanking. Yeah, well, it's it's clearly cheating to do this. Um, don't warp. Don't warp into the inn. It'll get your speed run disqualified. That's true. Okay, we just need to not. We, we need all that. Everybody's got to act cool. Okay, warping into the. You can only fast travel outside. Hold on, let me just see if this would even work. Maybe it won't even let me into the end. Or she won't even be there or whatever. Um Does anybody know what the maybe happened to everybody, have everybody, 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 everybody fucks. Thank you. Very cool. Does anybody happen to have the uh, warp code for the inn? Markarth Hag's Cure. So then if I do warp in here... Dude, everything is taking so long to load. Hey, Doug, can we get out? Have you thought of upgrading your graphics card? I think the problem is I have a 4070 instead of a 4080. Markarth is just completely fucked. I think we need magic hat. Mark Arth is lost, boys. <laughs> Bros. <laughs> uh, it's totally lost. We've entered Mark Arth from four different locations, and it's completely frozen. Um... We can't even go hang out with Bro Valerius, who broke the 23 stack record. Alright, what's the best option here? I think I have to warp her out to me. And then if I make a YouTube video out of this, I just... We just cut this part out that I cheated. <laughs> Man, I hate cheating! What's the what's the way I least break the rules while being able to get through this quest? I think I think spawning her to me, or we do open cities. Open cities is probably fine, right? I will know. You all will know, and you'll never you'll never forgive me for it. Eat all of it. I can't get into Markarth to eat the food. Oh wait, or I wait thirty days and it despawns. But that means all the cheese everywhere will have despawned, right? That's just a bummer. That even to means... Open cities, I want to see the cheesy chaos. Because then the counter is going to be off too. Okay, open cities or... or wait 30 days. Waiting 30 days is hey, definitely Doug, the least just cheaty. Just download more RAM into Google and click on the 273rd link. Let me, let me try it and see if that is even going to work. Hold on. Let's, let's test it before we make a decision. I think we do that. That feels bad, but but I like that more than just bleed. But it just means like I could at any point in the challenge despawn all of the cheese, which feels like a bummer, right? That's like that 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 is the challenge of the cumulative amount of cheese. This looks like an N64 game. Okay, so we are here. Um 
I am going to double check the number. Uh, how many days to despawn items Skyrim? 30 days. Well now, it's time for some real content. One. Two. Wait 30 days and reset the counter manually. Three. Four. Yeah, that's just a bummer, right? I heard Five. the CEO of NVIDIA pitching the 4080, saying you can see as much cheese as Six. you want, especially if you want to mod a 10-year-old video game to endlessly spawn cheese. Think of all the new gaming possibilities. I literally lost track. I've... Wait, wait, hold on. Uh, in the VOD, in the VOD channel, can you guys write comments that are like, gameplay starts at 5 hours 25 minutes? <laughs> Hey everybody, so this is the start of the Skyrim Cheese Wheel Challenge. We are just getting into it. We gotta wait 30 days uh, just to make sure that the game can handle all the cheese stuff. But we're getting it started right now. It took us a little while to get going, but excited for everybody to, to finally watch this. Hi, YouTube. Is anybody counting? Oh yeah, is there a console command that does this? Well, no, we have to give YouTube their content. Uh, also, I think I'm like halfway. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you're watching over on the VOD channel, be sure to hit that uh, like button. It really helps out the channel. And by the way, there's like a virus on the first uh, five hours of the video, so don't scroll back. I had to get a new graphics card because of it. It's been 30? There's no way I've done 30 already, has it? Waiting 30 days in a speed run is really funny. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's a new month? Well, what day was it in the month? You're on the 18th day. Oh yeah, I could've just looked at this. Oops. The timer, right. I guess this is kind of the run, if it works. Add 30 days to the timer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I done it, it's, I have to have done 30, right? These cheeses aren't even respawn despawning next to me. You've done 50. A lot more. That's 50. Okay. Hold on. Let me add to the timer. I went forward 50 days, right? 50 times 24 hours. So 1,221 hours. Or 1,201 hours, 48 minutes. Uh, 49 minutes. That should do it. <laughs> Uh, 
Wait. Is there a max? Or do you have to have 50? Okay. 50 days. Is there like a days thing? One hour. One minute. No. It's capped at 20 hours. Add another colon? Do I have to? Why wouldn't it? Wouldn't it have been 1,200? You missed seconds. Is that why? No, isn't this correct? Am I crazy? What, what should it look like? Day, hour, time. Okay. So it'd be 50 days. One hour, 49 minutes, dot zero seconds, right? Should be that. No, that's 50 hours. It's currently at 50 hours. How do I set it to 50 days? I don't know how to get it higher. But it doesn't seem to let me go above... Does it cap at 99 hours? That seems off. I put 1,200 hours, but it, it capped it. Oh, wait. Look, it's like cropped, though. It just doesn't have enough space. Do I have to, like, change the settings? Like, the, the, like the, does the layout need to be different? This is, uh... Taking way too long for this joke. Layout set, set size? Do I just need to make the width bigger? 600? There we go. Oh, but it should be one... Th hold on. And one hour, right? 49... 9 minutes... Yeah, it should be that, right? Why'd that go to only 20? Am I getting this wrong? Clearly I'm getting this wrong. 1, 2, oh, 1. Colon, 49, colon, 0, 0. Oh, 49, colon, 0, 0. That's what I was missing. Okay, cool. We don't even know if this is going to work. <laughs> Seeing the time move up is really funny. <laughs> like, okay, now it's worth it. <laughs> like, if somebody comes in. <laughs> Look at the fucking timer. <laughs> okay. Alright. No, that was worth it. You were right. You were right. Okay. We have waited. The cheese is still here. That's not a good sign. We have waited 50 days. Theoretically, the cheese no longer exists in Markarth. Can we warp there? I forgot to save. It's not looking good. I think we just totally fucked the game. It is completely broken. And unfortunately that means that officially, no, it is not possible to beat the Dark Brotherhood if six cheese wheels spawn every second. And the official final record is 23 cheese tower by Brother Valerius. I can't even minimize out of the game. Let me out. Where's my mouse? It's broken everything. The mouse is not on the screen. 
I can't. The mouse is not working. There is no mouse. Um. Okay, there's the mouse. There's the mouse. I had to do task manager. It was the new graphics card. If only I had a 4080! Congratulations, Doug. You did it! You're incredible, Great Doug. job, Doug. You're amazing. I want to be like you. Wow. Doug, that was so cool. What an amazing He's gamer the in best. person. He's Doug the best Doug gamer. Wow. Oh, my God. You're incredible, Doug. Wow. Um, I'm curious if we warp the, the woman to us, can I get through one more part of the Dark Brotherhood quest? Is the coffin coming up? I'm curious if we can get through the coffin cutscene. Also, <laughs> according to the, to the rules, for every 10 minutes that has passed, no, for every 20 minutes that has passed, we're supposed to do one more cheese wheel get spawned. Coffin's the very end. Yeah, that's like way later, right? How fast can we spawn cheese wheels? You know what? The speed run might be over. Technically, we are locked out of Markarth, right? The speedrun itself is dead because we can't complete this quest. And we're perma-stuck. But we can still visit our good friends, the orphans. Assuming Riften loads. Oh, cool. Oh, am I in trouble? Wait, hold on. Is it going to allow me to go to jail without breaking? <laughs> hold on. Okay, yeah, we're good. I'm going to turn Hi, the graphics Doug. back up. Brillapad, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Appreciate it. Thank you. Doug, you were correct. At the beginning of the stream, you had like 10, 12k people, and now you only have 8k. See? People are also, just here for coding. finally, the gameplay starts. Code is gam palpe too. Sometimes it's just a sick game. Boom. Ultra high quality. Here we remember the yeah, citizens of mind Markov. Blown. They were lost in the Great Cheddar Storm of 2023. We will never forget the lives lost among <laughs> which Doug's computer was one of the casualties. May we get Fs in the chat. Doug will not time skip their memory. You started on first of heat fire. Oh, sorry. I had the alerts pause. Ah, my good friends. I've returned. And I have a present. Wow, I am so excited that we are finally starting the challenge right now. Love that five hour coding, but woohoo time for some Skyrim. This will spawn a hundred cheese wheels every second. And it's just enough hey, Doug, to get these orphans through the winter. I'm your stream and I want to say I love your vids and the streaming environment is very nice. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Doug, you have practically wiped two cities off the map. This run is becoming apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. This. This is the way Skyrim was meant to be played. Jesus Christ. Uh, these kids took some uh, diuretics, man. All right. I think Grelod slipped x lax into their soup. Okay. A couple more seconds of this. And they'll finally make it through the harsh winter. Oh, okay. Well, goodbye, orphans. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I leave? <laughs> this is a problem. Uh. Wait, go! Go! 
Oh! Dude, I thought he might beat the record! Hold on! Go, little Timmy! Go for 24! Oh, shit. There's one the tower record fears. He is Timmy! Dragon Orphan! Go, Timmy! Go! You're doing it! Oh, shit! There's a hundred a second! He might be beating the record! We've already got like 80,000 cheese wheels! I can't believe the game is still working. Timmy! Go, Timmy! It's like a hoverboard. Wait, Timmy. Damn it, Timmy! You broke my 4070! Timer. Right, <laughs> right, yeah, thank you. We gotta make sure the timer's paused. Why didn't you just get slash make a mod that lets you wait for more than 24 hours? Sometimes you gotta sit there for... I mean, it literally would have taken as long as it took me to set up the timer to do that. If get made into a video, start with the opening scene with the cheese activated, then suddenly jump to the waiting of 30 days with no context. <laughs> and that's the whole video. Um... Hey, Doug. Can you set a 50-day timer for my cheese pizza in the oven? Thanks. <laughs> Transgender pride. Um... I have a question. Now that the are orphans are well fed... to allow for more memory allocation for the Skyrim engine? I don't know. I mean, whatever we did to Markarth really fucked shit up. It's great to imagine that Special Edition would have handled it better, but I don't I know. I went away to go shopping for two hours. What did I miss? Nothing of importance. What I'm wondering is... Is there any... So, run is over. We're done. Is there any situation... This is for the mods at speedrun.com. This is a totally legitimate run. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about the discrepancy between the stream length and the number of hours that the stream has been going for. I do expect you to watch all 1,200 hours of this. Um, Can't believe we wasted 30 days on this speedrun back to day zero. It, is there any situation in Skyrim where we could find a person or an animal who could beat the record? Right? If we just try for a little bit. We, I think we could beat the record. I think we could get to 24. Who might, who, like, who, who, who might beat it? I think we got, we go back to, like, four a second, right? We go back to the bear? <laughs> no, no, the bears will attack me, so they'll run off. It's got to be somebody who doesn't attack. We need, okay, we need an infinite sky. Well, a sleepy bear woke up when I got nearby. We need something that will just sit there. The chickens aren't working well. The sleepy bear wakes up. Sleepy bear wakes up. It can't be a bear. The bear won't attack because it's sleeping. The bear literally woke up because I walked near it. That happened in this stream. Nazim walks around. It's got to be somebody who's going to... The gray beards. No, no. The ceilings aren't high enough. I don't think. Nazim and Fondle both walk around. It's got to be somebody who, like, stands still, right? Like somebody won't move for a long period of time. Fondle constantly walks around. He does chop wood. Maybe Fondle when he chops wood. Honestly? Maybe Sonic. Alright, hold on. Let's try it. I gotta turn down the amount. I'm going back to four, uh, four a second. I think that was when we hit our record, right? I think four second is our best. It's like a good mix of speed, but not like breaking things. Doug, 
I can hear your computer's fun from here. Heimsker in Whiterun. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, Heimsker. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Doug, does the five second rule apply to soup? Please hurry. Yeah, just get a straw. You're good. Shopkeepers are in like low roofs, though. Wait, can I even go into Whiterun or is that freezing still? Orcs, also known as Orsima, the natives of Orsinium, a small mountain kingdom between Hammerfell and Skyrim. It has been sacked and rebuilt many times. Uh, okay, no, Heimsker is not hey, an Doug, option. I just joined to see that I am 50 days late. I might need to check my notification settings. It sounds like you need a new graphics card. The Solitude Execution. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, we cannot go to Whiterun. I see we went from White Run has a had a cheese, cheese speed run to the portion where we simply bring about the cheese death of the universe. You either die the hero or live long enough to see yourself become a no good a villain. <laughs> okay, that was good. Love your vids, Doug. I've just seen the Rosa donation one. Did you ever got the tattoo? No, I ended up changing the tattoo to like three other things because I was a coward. Doug? Put that guy's pizza in the oven, or else he has to get Domino's, and I'm not paying. Uh... We got a wind helm? Exclamation mark foot cam. Is the tallest cheese tower even possible without pizza tower playing? God, that is such a good point. Because we need to just, like, set up a good environment. Here's what I think we do. Hold on. I turn off the mod now, right? And that way we set we set up to beat the record. And then we can reload it a couple of times, right? Rather than rather than being just, like, porked from the get-go. I think that's our play. I think, we, I think we can do 25. I honestly think we could do 25. I know you guys have called me crazy, but I think Rift we can do 25. Front gate guard might be enough to beat it. Frank, well, I think they're underneath the little arch, right? I don't think it'll work. I'm tired of donating. Just put the damn pizza in the oven, Doug. I don't even know what you're referencing. I don't remember what you're referencing. Okay, we save. Uh, no, no, we don't save this. We just, we find a spot. And then we play pizza tower. Uh, I don't think- Riften doesn't really have anything that's good. We could go... We could go to Solitude. We could do Solitude. Solitude would be good because there's a whole bunch of people who are all at the beginning, right? During the execution. Um, Solitude might actually work really well. Because then we have what like five ch or like ten chances or something. Watch on that one of the gates or something. Yeah. A, a guard is a good idea. First time to solitude? Take Fondle as a follower in order to stand in one place. Yeah, that's a, that's a decent option as well. Um, let's see if this works. Okay. So the mod is currently off. Hold on, also let me update the title if people are confused. Cool, that'll be way less confusing. Yeah, telling a follower to stand still. I don't like this because he's on sloped ground. Okay. I just want it to be daylight. Hold on. Shit. Are they still going to all be there? I think that's the right... That's what we want. I want, to, I want it to be, like, in the middle of the day so we can see really clearly. Are they all going to be gone? Okay, they're all here. I think this is our spot, right? This is where we try to break the record. Hey, Doug, did you know it takes 10 pounds of milk to make one pound of cheese slash cotton? Does it?
And to the speedrun moderators, Long this is part of the speedrun. First time Twitch viewer. Hi, chat. Also, I guess you're cool too, Doug. Thank you. I just wrote Cheese Tower into YouTube instead of Pizza Tower. Tower. Death equals delete permachis cheese tower italics chat plays tower. Much simpler. <laughs> yeah. We do need death equals delete in there. Okay, okay. The current record is 23. Go, 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 go! Okay, here's the current record. Whoa, whoa, we got two contenders. Oh, right there. That didn't break it, did it? No, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. No, let's reload, reload, reload. We can go higher. We can go higher. Wait, oh, oh. Dude, this is so hard. I don't know if we're ever gonna be Bro Valerius. Every time you crashed Skyrim by feeding orphans with cheese. You have one nickel. Wait, no, two. Wait. Wait! No, he broke it! Whoa! Whoa, what was that? Was that it? Was it? Do you know about the Orc War Boss Gazgulfocker? Slash slash Gazgulfocker. I don't. I don't think so. Map. It might have tied. By chat, I'll see you in the week oh seven. Rewind Bye, Lava. Somebody get the. That was only twenty one. I don't think that was. Did it tie for record? I knew it. Homeless guy for the win. <laughs> Somebody clip it. We need the clip. That could be the record. Death because I delete myself. Please, I can't keep going on. He was wearing a magic hat. I don't think it was it, but he might have tied. Do I even see the bottom of it? Okay, I say it breaks there, but right before that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20. I was tied! It was tied for the record! What an absolute cheese of a time. Okay, we could break She's it. Nuts we mouth. could break it. We could break Five, it. Seven, we can get one. We can get one above that, dude. Bro! Bro! We can do it. I just joined. How did we end up at the point where we are watching a homeless dude shoot cheese out of his backside? <laughs> That's content, baby! No, he's got it. Wait, wait, wait. He's got a bad foundation. Homeless guy's screwed. I think old lady is actually doing good. Old lady could crush it. Wait! Wait! No, that's not it, right? That's not it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. No, he only got 22. Dude, it looks like he's having diarrhea on the way to the... I know we've made a lot of poop jokes today, but, like, there's there's times it really is not a stretch. Okay. Um, I guess we run Storyteller. That's... Oh, I always play the best when I play Storyteller. That has our best chance of beating the record. Oh, Ultra Kill. No, we're doing that. Give the bear a chance. The bears will attack me. With this, we get five chances every run. This is the only song that matches the intensity of what we're doing. That is a good looking tower right there. And homeless guy. Dude! This could be it! They both broke, same time. That's not it, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, it wasn't even close. That was decent. No, that, that one was not high enough. It just looks like it because he's so high up.
We have to beat 23. 23 is the record. Two streams ago before ending, you said you would play Nickelback. Maybe that's what we need to get this to work. <laughs> Duke, Duke, Duke. Wait. Wait. No, he fails it. Dude, are we... Are we, like, not in a good spot? Maybe... Maybe... Is this not good? I mean, Bro Valerius fucking annihilated it, and he was, like... I don't know what what caused that to work so well. Up the cheese speed. I mean, we could just... We could send the cheese just way, way higher. Hold on. That's looking good. Cheese jet packs. <sighs> Both of those look so good, and then they just broke. I've got all sorts of errands to run. We get up to... Wait, hold on. Does anybody know what we had... In in Understone Keep, which is where the twenty three record was originally set. Did you know that my mallet, the cheese with a rind formed by was that at five? Nights, we were on five. Was okay. once banned by the FDA for having bugs on it. It's like banning blue cheese because it's moldy. Subscribe for more cheese facts. Thank you. Uh, hey, for people, don't please don't spam giant walls of dance frog or dance emotes or whatever. Just do a couple emotes. You don't need to do like thirty. Um, okay. We're doing Storyteller. We're actually... Okay, another song that would really fit the, um, the intensity of what's going on. Perhaps we consult the great Oracle chat GPT on how to construct the greatest cheese tower of all time. I think it'll tell us what we already know, which is that we bash our head against the wall until we win. Do you know you feel like chat looks better when each person has like one or two emotes rather than a, a shitload. Okay. This is now five a second. Go, man. Go. Beat that record. Noster. You can do it. That is looking really good. No, it's starting. It's starting to bend. Oh it's starting to bend. I sure I'm looking forward to a nice speed run of the Dark Brotherhood quest line and being able to go to my cousin's wedding in 49 days. Anyway, Doug, what are we doing today? Dude, I don't know. Don't worry. Nothing to do with that. We certainly won't be frozen this song in time. Is literally what I listened to driving the Long Island Expressway in my lifted F 150, making sure single moms never see their kids again. Hey you. That is pretty really big. Catch your streams. That so is I'm pretty so big. One, two, to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. He's at twenty-two. Oh, it broke. No, I think that's tied. One, two, three. It, 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 it's already broken though. I think he got twenty-three, right? He only got one more in. He only got one more in. That was not twenty-four. The back eyes. Wait. No way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Does that count, though? It's broken right... Wait. Did he get that before it broke? We need the clip. We need the clip. We need to confirm this. It was at this length before it, before it broke. It's broken right now. It's not broken yet? No, look at the gap right there. I think this is the break. Okay, we need to enhance. Bro. Dude, he is... This is a perfect line. To a this is the dream. Is trying to suppress our this is the dream. Rights. We, the people of the Republic of Chad, will fight back against this tyranny. Long live our emotes. Oh, do we? It's slightly too short. But I didn't realize TTS equals delete, but I had a dream last night that all chat redeems were locked with physical keys, and to make sure chat didn't get them, you put the keyring through my septum piercing. What does this mean? It's slightly I've heard too short. Of cheese stacking, but never cheese hovering. Longest time cheese hovering before touching the ground. Okay, this is where he's currently at. A T 
team and Zach team this is connected I think with Doug the fascist. one two three four five six wait hold on I need to enhance we have to enhance I would say this is where it's breaking like it's connected right now but it breaks after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four! That's the record! Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. Wait, hold on. I, I enhanced too much. Okay, here's the full tower. Here's the full tower. That's the fucking record. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Bro! Bro, let's go! That's huge! Oh, shit, yeah! Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, my camera broke because of this. My camera's frozen. God, what a hype moment. You were here. Uh oh, now OBS is frozen. Am I still streaming? <laughs> uh oh. Well, we also broke my camera and Skyrim. Okay, I literally don't have a camera. The camera's not working. That's the power of the fucking cheese tower, dude. Literally broke OBS. We can't stream anymore. It's done. This is the perfect endpoint. OBS crashed at the perfect time. Fuck yeah, I was here for the 24 cheese tower. Well, great stream, everybody. We did it. I can't believe it. And what an unassuming guy. He was just hanging out the back. In the new graphics card now. Yeah. Now that we've used up this one and tossed it out like a piece of trash. Um. Bro got 24 first. I, I don't Doug. agree. This is Guinness World Records. We wanted to be the first to congratulate you on yes! the largest cheese tower yes! ever. Oh, the timer. Right, right. And time. And that's it. Speedrun mods. I uh, hope you enjoy hey, Doug, it's watching. Your I told you I would die from the cheese. Oh, what a rush! Best stream ever. Well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, my camera is completely frozen, and unplugging and replugging it back in did not do anything. So, it is uh, maybe ruined, but there's no other way I'd want my camera to break. Oh, by God! Great stream, y'all. Very fun. Um, I am taking a break next week. Uh, to do some personal stuff as well as just to chill for a bit because it's been a very, very, very busy couple of months. So I won't be streaming next week. I probably won't stream for a good chunk of the following one. Like, hopefully I do, like, a stream or two the following week. Just depends on how caught up I'm, I'm with things. Um, Because I do want to take several days and just play games and stuff that I haven't had time to, like the Jurassic Park game or some more RimWorld or uh, various others that I have on the docket that I've been meaning to try. Um, plus some coding things, plenty of other stuff. Lots of things coming up I want to do and, um, I'm excited for, but I will take some time. It's, it's hard to find the time to prep, to do things like just playing a video game, Enjoy you your know? Time and the last few years have been fun. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah. No, uh, it's not a Doug podcast, but yes, but I will try to catch up on some gaming things. Uh, yeah, a lot of ideas. Off, Doug. Um, coming up that I'm excited about, including D&D stream. It will be fun. Okay. This is my favorite podcast. Yeah, I guess this is kind of a podcast. I don't, is it a podcast just because there isn't a camera? I'm pretty sure it's still a Twitch stream. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think the camera break, it not working, um, changes that. Oh, wait. Hold on. I know what we can do. I have a fix for this. Goodbye, beef father. See you in a week. Test, test, test. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> now, um, now it'll work. Yeah, it, I, it might be Enjoy like... Enjoy your retirement, Doug. So sad that you're dying. Yeah, but I'll be back soon. Um, yeah, I mean, everything's working except the camera, so uh, we're good otherwise. I, I assume when I restart OBS, it'll be fine. Hopefully, maybe. What is your streaming setup, Doug? Uh, I can't show you because my camera's not working. So, <laughs> I don't know. OBS? I, I don't know what you... If there's... St stream Deck? Uh, end the stream so I can watch the VOD. It's you... like we can still hear him to this day. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. I'm going to leave now. Thanks for hanging. Today it was fun. Um, I was trying to think if I had anything else in mind. Doug what do you mean your camera isn't working? Like a rock band breaks their instruments D after dude, a things, concert. things like enjoy the big dude. This was a technically incompetent stream. It was two and a half hours of making a global variable, followed by tw Skyrim breaking constantly, followed by my camera Doug, shutting Doug, down. I love you. <laughs> it's good timing. All right. Um, is Point Crow streaming now, or did is he? Do he literally just not get to stream? What do you mean this looks normal? Oh, you can't see it. I'm looking at the other camera. Normally you can hey, um, Doug, see me. It's revolutionary main senator Amos Norse. Congratulations what up, on this profound achievement. The stars look down on you. All our believers. Everyone rejoice. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll read Sam. Um. Sam, which? She's throwing, she's literally throwing a divorce party. The one year anniversary of her divorce. So maybe I'll go to that. She said she'd print out uh, d her a certificate of her divorce that I could have if I if I go to it. It is in L.A., which I need to travel, which means I need to travel. But it is very funny. Okay, goodbye. Uh, see you all in like a week and a half or two weeks or whenever it ends up being, and then lots more streams and stuff and things and doodles. All right, goodbye, 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 goodbye.